Good morning to everybody. My name is Cameron. I was finishing up an avocado for breakfast. That's the end of the story. Let's play Genshin Impact. Very quick intro there. Hope y'all appreciated it. Short, sweet, and to the point. I got tea this morning too. It smells like echinacea. I don't even know what echinacea is. But it's in a tea bag in my cup. So I'm gonna drink it. Because I found it in my drawer. I think it was part of that one of those uh, detox tea packs that you get at the store. I don't remember when I bought this. It was probably a while ago. It might have been over the summer. Like, last summer. Which means it's been sitting in there for about seven months. Well, maybe not in my drawer specifically. I've only been living here since September, but I definitely bought it sometime in July or August. What am I doing? What am I starting today with? There's something going on called Wind Trace. All my friends keep telling me, did you try the Wind Trace? And I was like, I don't know what the Wind Trace is. I'm gonna figure it out. What's with the events? Good morning, Game Fist. How are you? How are you, Dennis? What is this Wind Trace? What is this? Who are you? Aphros Delos. Eula. Oh, Eula's a character. Oh. I was searching through the Genshin Impact streams this morning to get an idea for a title, and everyone kept talking about the end user license agreement. I was like, the hell does that mean? Eula, it's a character. <laughs> I didn't know that. What can I confirm about this? Oh, okay. That's a story quest. Very wonderful. I want to go to the game. This wind trace is apparently what I need to do. The timeless cast classic. Gygax. What a name. All right. I guess I'm going to Gygax. Sounds a lot like this company that made anime called Gynax. They made shows like Gurren Lagann. And they're very known for their animation style. Or rather, their animation practices, I suppose. I'm watching a slideshow right now. What's happening to your Wi-Fi? Oh, is in the slideshow is the is the stream. I don't know, dude. My Wi-Fi's doing pretty well. I gotta say, Comcast is a pretty uh, I'm not so good internet company, but you know, you know, they they hit me up with that modem modem upgrade, and uh, I'm doing all right now. I'm happy with that. Needs more fire. These little totems say, "Fire me up." And I say, "I'll fire you up." <laughs> fire you up. I'll, fire. I'll fire you up. Fire, fire, fire up. Fire, fireworks. I don't go out yet. I have more fire to give you. Give more fire. There we go. Did I unlock them all? Is that all? Yes! There's a chest! I like it! For a second, when you mentioned you were watching a slideshow, I was like, what, for, for class or something? Like, or work? I didn't get that slideshow. Apparently. Hi, Aunt Kyo. What's with all this iron? Nice! I like that! You look weary, child. Why not rest? Can I even rest here? What are you doing? Oh, just helping out with the stalls as well as an old lady, Karen. I know all the vendors here very well. The ones who sell cups of tea, leaf tea, tea eggs, and apparently rocks. When something comes up, they all feel safest asking me to watch their stalls for them. Okay. Thanks, um, Aunt Kyo. Sounds good. Any more rocks over here? <gasps> fruits! Fruits and all kinds of things. You know, avocados are fruits. So technically, I had a very fruity breakfast. And whenever this tea gets not so hot, pops Joe. And a chest in the bag. What, are you watching people's stalls too? Watching them, but th just doing that? So how is my stall today, Papa? Well, this young lady came by and opened up that chest that you have in the corner. I suppose you keep your valuables in it, but... I just let them go. I didn't want to bother them. But Pops, that was my merchandise! Eh, you know, you'll get over it. That's how I imagine the interactions would be with, uh... Assuming that... So, maybe maybe Aunt Chow is watching the stalls and Papa Joe is like the assailant who's gonna come by and steal all the goods. He's just sitting there plotting. I was thinking about stealing all the goods from those sales of stalls over there, but there's this... Hot piece of lady just standing there. Hello, toots! And then and then Aunt Chow just waves like, Hello, honey! 
This is how I imagine that interaction would go. Creepy old folk. Or perhaps not so creepy old folk. Perhaps that's just the way that they talk. Ah, the downstairs Wi-Fi giving you troubles. Troubles and wobbles. Anybody I know? <gasps> it's Mizuki! Yes, Mizuki can come on in. Absolutely, I'm just kind of running around. Why, hello there! How do I click the chat button again? Oh, I can click this button, right? Yes, hello there! Oh, where's the X button? Ah. Enter message. Where's the enter much? I need to... Nope, I need to enter the message. There we go. Good morning. There we go. Oh, gotta click the leave button. There we go. There we go. Thought this was a mobile game? Nah, it could be for the can. It could be for the PC too. Let's see. I'm gonna head it over. I should say my thing. Do my thing. There we go. X button. Just figuring out how these things work. Try for that win trace. If you ever want to trade tactics, I'm always ready. Hello there, and good morning to you, Uchiko. Welcome, welcome back. Oh, did I accidentally switch, like, team chats or something? Oh. Oh, I see. Current team versus... Ah, oh, I didn't realize I could do that. Nice, nice. Absolutely. I spelled that wrong, but we're going for it. Yes, let's do it. Let's go. Friends go with friends. Friends, friends with friendo. We're going, we're going, we're going! Um, yes. There's this wind trace that everyone's been talking about. Even, even my, uh, my buddy Final Rhapsody was like, Have you played that wind trace yet? It was like, I had never got around to it. I thought it was gonna end with that fruit shards event thing. But, uh, no, it's still here. For at least a couple more days. So I had to, I had to plan this out, right? I was like, I need to play the wind trace. And I think... It only goes up until a certain point in the week. And if I play it on Wednesday, I'll be sure to snag it. So I'm hoping to be able to snag. Here you go. Are you already up? <gasps> leave no friends behind! You... There you are. We leave no friends behind around here. But well, we collect sweet flowers along the way. Onwards to Mondstadt. Onwards to Mondstadt, we're going to Mondstadt. We're gonna mess up some of the hurdle trails along the way. Yeah. Hello, everybody! It's time to die! Okay. For some reason, I've forgotten how to control my character. There we go. Ah, jeez! Oh, ho, 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 We're going, we're going. Killing all these hurdle trails. What a wonderful state of the way to start the morning. Murder. Murder is how I like to start a wonderful morning. There's no better way to start. Oh, hello. You over there? Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. Sitting in the corner. Oh, you're a little lonely one, aren't you? Well, it's the lonely ones that um, I suppose don't like being alive the most, I guess. Bye-bye. That's a terrible thing to say. <laughs> well, they're all, they're all gone now. They're all gone from this earth. Anyway, let's not start the morning off so morbidly. Let's, uh, I don't know, let's talk about happy things. Like avocados. Avocados are happy. I mean, I think. Ah, an exquisite chest. Exquisite things are also happy. Chilies. Jueyu and chilies. Also very good. The chilies are lovely. Chilies are a wonderful, wonderful thing to eat. They seem to be in short supply at the various different shops over in Liwei, so best to get them now while we can. Oh, don't don't fall off the edge faster than I can kill you, or else you may not die on the way down, in which case this combat will never end. Combat time will never end! That was positive. There we go. Easy, easy, easy. Open up that chest. And then continue with our adventure. We must talk to Gygax. It's a long ways away. A thousand meters. 
Is that really a long way away? A thousand meters? That's a kilometer. Yeah. I mean, it's not too bad. It could be worse. Oh, what are y'all doing up there? You caught us. You caught us amidst our journey. So now we will take you down. How dare you shoot at me while I'm in the air? You wouldn't shoot at a plane, would you? I certainly hope you wouldn't. You wouldn't point a laser pointer at a plane. Like, this that's a, basically the equivalent of what you're doing here. You kind of shooting your magic bolts at me in the air doesn't really do too much, but, like, it feels like, you know, like, maybe you're just interrupting the pilot, so to speak. I was always warned about that when I was younger. I was always told by my parents, like, never shine laser pointers or any sort of lights into the air. And I was like, why is that? Like, you'll send a plane down and kill a bunch of people. I was like, I don't want to kill people. Not with my laser pointer. And so then I decided instead of using the laser pointer to cause uh, domestic violence or domestic um, terrorist attacks, instead I would use it to uh, annoy my cat and or cats. Yeah, Mizuki does a lot of damage. Yeah, look at the high levels. Let's see what level? What level is everybody at? Oh, that's the wrong button. Let me see. Let me see. Let's see. I always tend to forget. I can't remember which friends are the high levels and which ones aren't. Oh, ain't too bad. Ain't too bad. Probably just um, got all those artifacts all up and good. I'll admit, not a lot of my artifacts and weapons are all like, all like up to the proper level. I know there's a certain way to like, I guess, min-max your characters and whatnot. And I've never been much of a min-max person. Just don't have the... I, I was going to say I don't have the time to look into that. I just don't want to. I'm too lazy. I'm too lazy to put all the good goods on my character. That's why I stream the game to the rest of the world so that anybody else who pops on by can be like, Hey, did you know there's a better upgrade for your character? And I'm like, I guess so. Like Beto's weapon here. That's something I made based off of a recommendation. I like to act upon the recommendations. <laughs> I have a life. We're not going to play games all day. Oh, wait. But I do play games all day. Well, I won't be playing games all day today. I actually have a meeting to go to at 3.30, so... I can't be here all day. Although there was at least one occasion when I did play a game literally all day long. And that was on Saturday. I played Super Mario Sunshine. A meeting, how interesting indeed. Yeah. It's for my senior project. Whoops, I'm climbing up a tree. It's for my senior project. We're so close to done. The poser presentation was done over the weekend, and that's all over now. And now, we just need to kind of uh, walk through the rest of the project that we have up for the next week. It's funny. I think we've made more progress on our project in this past couple, two to three days than we have in the past nine months. Or at least that's how I feel about it. But I feel incredibly accomplished about it. But there's still more work to be done, so I must work on that a bit more. I streamed a little late on Monday for the same reason. I was working on stuff all day in the morning and then streamed at night. And then Tuesday, I worked on things all day long and during class, kind of ignoring my metagenomics lecture slash bioinformatics lecture. Sorry, professor. I had other things I needed to work on. And now I also need to work on... Uh, let's see. I also need to work on that other project for that same bio slash genomics class. But uh, that's a little lower priority. Because... Uh, well, I mean, it's due a little later. It's due in like two, three weeks. It's due by the end of the term, which is after I graduate, technically speaking. And uh, come to think of it, I don't think I need to turn in that project to pass the class. Oh. <laughs> Bullying you for having 3,400 hours in Gary's mod? That's a lot of hours in Gary's mod. Now, are any of those idle hours? Because cause I'll admit, one of the games that I've played the most on, at least on Steam so far, is, um, let's see, it's this idle game called Clicker Heroes, and I'm not, and I'm very ashamed of it. I'm ashamed of the fact that I spent so much time on it. But, like, that's just because the game has been running in the background. Honestly, if I, if there was a way to track how much time I've played my modded Minecraft client, then it probably have a lot, a lot of hours on it. At least over a couple hundred hours on it. But I don't know if there's a way to actually track that. I don't think there is. Unless my computer tracks it. Which, I guess that's cool. But I also played on another computer for it, the most of my existence so far. So, I don't really know. I spent a lot of time in Minecraft. More so than idle time. Though there is a bun there has been a lot of idle time in Minecraft too. Ooh, pollen. 
pollen good. And apparently there's a there's a little animoculus over here somewhere. Where are you? Where are you, Animo? Are you up here on the mountain? Are you perhaps up high? Your altitude greater so than mine? Maybe. Animo, where are you? Anna, Animo. Yeah, where where is it? That's where I want to know. Where's that thing? I don't know where it is. Maybe if I jump off the edge. Oh, maybe if I defeat these guys. Don't we all have a shit ton of time in Minecraft? I mean, we, you know, it just seems to make sense. You know, being that uh, we offer a bunch of hosting services and whatnot. Like, uh, I feel like it would make sense that a lot of us are all like Minecraft fanatics. Or maybe not fanatics. Maybe not even experts. Maybe not even savants. Just Minecraft fun timers. Okay, where is this little... Where is my little animo? Oh, it's probably down here. There you are! Right inside this little rock step. Nope. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, you up in the tree? Where's the animo? Where's the animo? Is there like a little thing in the wall somewhere? Hmm. Where did you go? Oh, I'm over here. I'm looking for, I'm looking for an animoculus. I can't spell things for shit. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, I just noticed my little character is Sucrose. Game Fist can't seem to enjoy vanilla Minecraft anymore though. Yeah, I feel that. Honestly, I haven't played vanilla in a while. I'm just, I don't know. I really enjoy modded Minecraft and whatnot. Or like, I mean, I've been told that the mini game servers are really, really fun. But I just haven't wound up playing those yet. Where is this thing? Where is this thing? Where are you? Are you down here? Nope, you are not down here. Where, where is it? Where is this thing? I know not where it is. I'm gonna try one more level up here. And then I'm gonna just make my way onwards. At least there's a... At least there's a radish up here. I like some radishes. Apparently, these types of radishes are daikon radishes. Why? Because of the way that they're shaped and whatnot. The radishes that I buy at the store do not look anything like this. Where is this silly animoculus? Maybe it's up in the air. Perhaps I just missed it. Perhaps I'm silly. Hey, look, a chest. I'll come back down in a moment. I'll be back down in a moment, I promise. Oh, get on top of the house, please. No, okay. Maybe it's over on top of here. Or perhaps... We're all looking in the mate. We're all living in the matrix. Therefore, that's why I can find the things. There it is. Oh, it's right up here. But how do I access it? I need a larger surface to grab myself on. Are there any wind currents? I would need to get a wind current. I would need something that allows me to get up there, but I can't. Alrighty then. Well, I can't get up there. So I guess we're going to continue onwards. Guess we're guess we're just gonna keep on going. Anyway, anyways, we're gonna move onwards then. Onwards to the city. A little too high for me to grab, so I'll just keep on going. Do 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 do. -do. Oh, maybe I should go grab them first, actually. Oh, there we go. Oh, like, I can't leave them behind. I don't know where they went. I'll just fly my way ever so carefully over the river. And to be honest, I don't know if I've had a... Actually, you know what? No, no, no. I have had radish. I have had radish. I was going to say, I don't think I've had a radish either, but I have. But they're the tiny little red radishes. I'm okay with those radishes. They're, they're a bit like an earthy, bitter, almost... It's like spicy. It's a little bit of spice to it. I like it. I could munch on those for snacks. I really would. If I if I had radishes. But I do not. I have no radishes. Speaking of things that taste weird, I bet it's time for me to drink my tea. It's echinacea. And clearly something else in it. It's almost menthol -y. It's got that air of, like, mint to it. But it's not minty. And instead of... You know what I mean by like a mint air? It's like it's in the back of the mouth. This is more like in the front of the mouth. If that makes any sense at all. 
like that feeling when you when you bite into a piece of gum and you're like wow except it's not all the way back there it's not very wow oh my dearest has texted me what does she see it need we need to do a fun a, a fumigation oh no oh gotta fumigate the apartment apparently and it's got bug bites all right all right all right all right that's unfortunate <laughs> how it comes to feel choose five stimulate your stimulates <laughs> oh. oh hi down there that's at least a small portion of all the um videos i see on tiktok it's like how to feels the choose five five count threes letters and <clears throat> however it's supposed to go i must talk to gygax gygax is up gygax is up what a name gygax i like it it's cool because it has an x in it Oh, you know what it just reminded me of? I don't know why. Other characters that have X in their name. I was wondering the other day, apparently the because of the fact that Genshin characters have... Oh, I'm on the wrong level. Because of the fact that the characters in Genshin have birthdays, they have astrological signs. And apparently, there's one other character in the game that's a Scorpio, just like me. And that's Zhangling. Polearm girl. Hello, Gygax. Hello, you. Hey there! Fancy trying your hand at Windrace? What's Windrace? I'm glad you asked. Windrace is a game that's all about Mondstadt's history. I suppose you've heard of the aristocrats who once lived in Mondstadt City. No. <laughs> they were tyrants, and their rule was brutal. Words cannot do justice to the way that people suffered at their hands. Uh, to fight back against their oppression, a group of brave citizens came together and formed an underground resistance. These valiant rebels engaged in operations throughout the city, becoming a major thorn in the side of the aristocrats. But the aristocrats retaliated quickly training up their own team of henchmen to suppress the rebels. And so the rebels fought duel after duel with the aristocrats lackeys all across Mondstadt. Windrace takes its inspiration from this thrilling chapter of Mondstadt's history. And it used to be quite popular too. Used to be. Sadly, yes, young people these days don't seem very interested in the game. That's clearly not true. But I can't let Windrace fade into obscurity, so I tweak the rules a little bit to make it easier to get into and more fun. I'll also hold out a whole lot of brand new maps in. Hopefully this will help attract more people. Oh boy! Oh, those are cute. During the Wintrace event, players may will be split into two sides to play the Rebels and the Hunter. The Rebels must avoid the Hunter pursuit and hold out until time expires. Join me. The Hunter's ask, on the other hand, is it to capture all the Rebels within the stipulated time? The Rebels can use their Wind Word arts to disguise themselves, oh nice, as designated objects within the current map. Oh my god, it is like prop hunts. During the game, favor is going to be descended upon, I can get coins and stuff like that, that's cool. Is the X silent there too? No. Why don't I join the media team at Spark? You could listen to me doing tutorials all day. I am a part of the media team, actually. I'm actually waiting on things, though. I've corresponded with Eric a little bit. I'm waiting on a test server for myself. Uh, but I haven't been able to continue with my videos. But, uh, but I've been waiting. I've been waiting. I'll have to ping him again. I gotta ping with that. Current Wintrace coins! Actually, hold on one moment. There was a chat message that I must respond to. <laughs> am I gonna... Gonna pull for? Gonna pull or Yola? I don't know. Maybe. Perhaps. 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 I'll try this game out. I'll try. Uh, I don't know. Is this game multiplayer? Join me. I'll give Wind Trace a go. We could play. We could all play together. <laughs> Want to play? <laughs> it is. It is. Perfect. Let's do it. Good morning to you, Synergy. Divination is about precisely for Oh, Dennis, you'll set that up for me? You want to you want to set that up for me? Embellishing that fate only leads to misconception. DM me. I'll uh, I'll I'll throw a I'll throw my email your way. You can get that set up for me. I just kind of need that going. I don't know. I had asked for um I had asked for some ideas and whatnot. I'm like, "Hey, do you think this is a good idea?" and I just kind of didn't receive any response. But uh things have changed now. So, I'm wait I thought maybe it was the the lack of response but because of the whole uh, thing that we've been changing up around here. I can't speak too much on it. Wouldn't want to break that NDA. Co-op mode. Invite my teammates? Absolutely. Let's play a game. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. Honestly, that first sip of this Echinacea tea is a little like, but afterwards it's, it's cool, calm and collected. 
current disguise in the contested zones are Deadwood and Scarecrows. Oh, oh the current disguise of Deadwood and Scarecrows. The battle between the Resistance and the Nobles. Oh, so I am the rebel. Oh. Uh, disguise. Yes! I'm ready to go. I bet I'll have a hard time figuring out what button I need to click the disguise. I hope it says it on my screen. Ho ho! Here we go. Prop hunt. Prop hunt wind trace. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, look for a good place to hide and prepare my disguise. So do I not want to be in that danger zone? Oh, I need to stay within the danger zone. Oh. Do you want to... No, wait, wait, wait. I want to face in this direction. Oh, but that's not perfectly in line. I think it has to be perfectly in line. Does it have to be perfectly in line? Yeah, that's that's off. That's going to be easy. I feel like this would be very easy. If I just hide, I'll be okay. Where is that hunter? I do not see where the hunter be. Oh, preparation phase? Oh, should I have just... Oh. Haha. <laughs> Do I dare move around? Avoid capture and hold out until the time expires. What does that B button do at the bottom? Ooh. I was turning the phone off that way so you don't see where I am. That's a, that's a smart move. Smart move. That makes sense. <laughs> okay. I hope like the chat bubble didn't just like pop up over the top of my character. That would be silly. <laughs> That'd be very silly if, like, I all of a sudden shout that it is. It's like, you're good, bro. You're good. Like, no, now I know where you are. That'd be unfortunate. Do, 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 do. I hope I don't get caught. I don't want to get caught. Or do I want to get caught? What's the benefit of playing the Wind Trace game? I wonder if they're, like, they're, like, fun things that can happen. Oh, here we go. Here we... Oh, oh. Oh, uh, you got you got it. <laughs> I'm the camera with the two MC servers and renew annually. <gasps> How'd you know? Yeah, it's the one. Actually, one of them doesn't renew annu annually. One's biannually. You got it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Currently playing at a custom co-op party. Nice. Very fun. I want to try it again. I want to try to be the hunter this time. I wonder if I can set that up, actually. Let's try it one more time. GG. GG, bro. GG. Let's try it one more time. Or uh, at least at least enough time so that we both get the chance to be hunter and hunted. Now you know where to send the subways if you remember the last time. Y you see... Actually, probably not. Although, although, I will, I will say this. If you do send the subs that way, my parents will be happily surprised. They'll be like, Cam, something came in the mail from you? From a Mr. Game Fist? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm ready for that. <laughs> Imagine that. Honestly, what winds up happening is anything that comes to me from my parents uh, wind up... They, they just kind of put it on top of my bedside for when I come home. And I'll be like, oh, look at that. Mail came for me. I like that. Like, here, I don't, I don't, I'm going to turn around. I don't want to know. I don't want to know where you are. I won't look! See, on the other side, I can't stream snipe you. Because uh, it's not like uh, I can see it from your side. Four month old Subway sandwich? No, it won't be four months. I'll be home in like a month. My youngest brother's birthday is in June, so I have to go home and see him. Plus, I, I, I graduate a little later than that, too. But I'll probably see my brother first to that. Okay. So how do I do the thing? What can they... What can you, dis like, disguise yourself as? Make it this way. Barrels? Can you describe uh, Can you describe as bar- No? Okay. I'm convinced barrels are the one. But maybe it's the vineyard. Poles? No. Not poles. Maybe the little... Maybe the little, the little, the actual, the, I keep calling them vineyards, the, the vine, the vine vines. The vine vines? Vine vines. 
No, not vine vines. Oh, there's a lantern down here. Are there lanterns elsewhere? Lantern? <gasps> no. I guess not. Not the lantern. Are there other lanterns? What would the lanterns be? Are there lanterns on the ground? Hmm. Well, this is interesting. A favor has descended over some of the contested zone. I'm sorry. Wait, what? Oh, what does that mean? Favor? I must have forgotten what that is. I didn't read it. I've obtained a favor! I don't know what that does for me. Oh no! Uh, oh no? Oh no? I've used insight and the locations of all, all rebels will display- <gasps> You're over there! I'm gonna get you! I'll catch up. I'm going to find- Oh look at that! And there's the big ol' um... I'll, I'll allow it. As the hunter chases after the hunted. I've got you! Oh, no, maybe. Get up. Do I have to? There we go. <laughs> I got it. Final countdown. Capture all rebels with the... Oh, so close, but so far. I guess they're like, if you had a bunch of people, you could like play wind trace with everybody. That's cool. <laughs> that was cool. I didn't realize that the fervors could do that. Honestly, if I hadn't found that, GG, man. If I hadn't found that, I probably would not have realized that you were e where you were even hiding at. I want to do that. Two more times, maybe two more oscillations, and then I'm gonna try to do some mission things. Sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. I just wanted to make sure I give this thing a try. Participate in the game and earn those coins. Oh, do you not earn the coins in co-op mode? You will be unable to obtain the Wind Trace coins while playing the custom co-op party. Eh, whatever. That's fine. It ain't about the coins. As a rebel, you can set up, like, fake props. Oh, that's what you were doing! That's what that lantern was. What's up, Des? Good morning. Or afternoon. Or whatever time it is. Y'all have tea? I got tea. Tea's good. Tea's good, my friend. Transparency. This Windward Art will replace your normal attack. The Windward Art will replace your elemental skill. Transparent. I don't know. I don't know. If anybody else drinks tea, I'm curious as the- Oh, there's a different map! What? Oh, I'm gonna run. Here we, here we go. What do I transfer? Nope. Turning off phone, part two, electric boogaloo. Uh, what can I disguise myself as? I wonder, do I disguise as... I can disguise as a barrel. Oh, I can just move around like barrel. Haha, <laughs> afternoon. I still got about, like, a couple hours before that. Can I, like... Ch oh, I can change what prop I'm in. Oh, it's either barrel or not. I could be a glowing barrel. Nah, you know what? Oh. There we go. I'm gonna go with that one. Three barrels. Three barrels. Three barrels. Get a preference on location? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with, just so it's easiest for me, probably a New York. Like a New York location. That or Dallas is probably fine. Or I know there are the two Texas locations. I don't know which closer to me. Dallas or the other one. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Absolutely fine. How we doing? We doing pretty well. It has been such a productive week so far. I'm like, I'm probably at my happiest when I have been productive. Like, if I'm actually getting stuff done, I feel awesome. And I've been feeling pretty awesome this week. I have managed to very, very prioritize, like, very timely be able to split up the work stuff. Oh, you got me. I didn't even see you coming from over here. Oh, well. GG. GG. Let's do it again. Edit showcase. Can I edit things? No. That's fine. Let's do it one more time. But so yeah, I've been incredibly productive this past couple of weeks for my um for my senior design work and whatnot. And I have this other final project that I need to work on. I just haven't touched that. Lack of motivation. But uh I've said it before, but like the feeling of accomplishment. Or the feeling that you've made some progress in whatever it is that you're working on, I think is one of the best feelings in in the world. It's one of my favorite feelings. So, but yeah, I was able to do work work stuff, homework stuff, project work stuff, and stream stuff. Which I would consider to be hobby stuff. So I've made progress on all those fronts, and it feels really, really good. So can I like, I can switch my different arts around, or no? Mysterious, what does that do? Scout a fixed area around yourself. You will be notified if a rebel is there. 
Oh, that's the thing. Oh, I guess I get that stuff. Insight dispels the disguises of all rebels and briefly marks their location while showing the position of nearby ones. I like that one. That sounds spooky. You got the sensor ore that you use. Yeah, I like that one. That's what it seemed. That seemed to be the cool one. All right, well, I want to turn around so I don't don't see where you place your. Uh, oh, you know what? You can place the 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 fake ones. Ah, how do I do that? How do I place the fake ones down? I don't know how to do that. And <laughs> there's a little dude over there looking like he's just hanging in the grass. Nice. Well, we shall see. The hunter versus the huntress. The hunter versus the hunted. We'll see about that. And... Here I come! I wonder what the disguise are this time. Something struck me out about this box. Something did strike me out about that box. Oh, that was that thing. Yeah, no worries. Oh! I used the ability. What did that do? Ooh. That's different. So I guess I can use that? So if I do that, what happens? I forget. I forgot what that did. Maybe it's got something to do with it. it shows somebody around me if I'm in the right area. I need to use that to be able to wean down the locations of where you could possibly be. There are too many other anthropomorphic beings around here. I get confused. I'm like, I don't know who it is. Also help if I knew what the disguises were this round, too. Maybe it's hay bales. Hay bales? Hay bales? Hay bales. No, not hay bales. What about more boxes? This seems like a suspicious looking box. Or perhaps that suspicious looking barrel in the corner. No. Hmm. The rebels are around here somewhere. Barrel? Nope. Someone needs assistance. Someone does need assistance. It is I who needs the assistance to find the assailant. Or maybe it's a cart. <gasps> I've forgotten. Perhaps the cart's the one to find. Box. Box. I don't know. <laughs> no box. I feel perhaps hay bailey. I'm feeling so inclined as to hay bale. Nope. <gasps> Favors in the contested zone! I could use that to my advantage. I wonder if I see any boxes moving towards it. If I... If I lie in wait. Yeah, no to see the boxes move. <gasps> Here we go! I'm gonna use it! So that just restrains you. I changed that ability up a little bit. <gasps> I see... It was a hay bale! Or, or rather, a box. It was a box. I, uh, <laughs> nice. GG. GG, 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 G. And the G stands for... Good game. That was fun. I understand the, I understand the, uh, the funness in the wind trace. I'm glad, glad I got to give that a shot. <laughs> but alas, what the? Oh, yes. Apparently, I was able to switch that ability around. That was pretty cool. I didn't realize I could do that either. I was like, I should switch it. All right. So I think what I want to do now is I'm going to work on some. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to do boss hunts. We're going to do boss hunts. That's what I think we're going to do. Boss time next, if anybody's cool with that. We're popping in. Bo bosses? Bosses? Okay. All right. I never know which one I should. Which which I should say it to. Either this side or that side. Let's do it! Alright, uh, where to go for bosses, though? Uh, let me see what characters I need. Honestly, I just need to get my adventure rank up. I'm kind of adventure rank locked out from, uh, certain quests. I can't see the quests on my map. Right, because I'm in co-op mode. But I can see them if I go this way, which is weird. Yeah, I need 35. Adventure rank 35! So to do bosses. Or actually, let me see how many Primo Gems I got right now. <gasps> I could pull for Eula! Actually, you know what? I'm gonna try pulling for Eula first. That's what we're gonna do. Everybody's uh, everybody's gotten all up and happy about that end user license agreement, so I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna see if I can get some Eula. 
Wow, no Eula. Wow, no characters at all. But I got that fancy thing. Cool. The flute. Well then. I'd say that was a pretty spicy pull. Spicy in terms of... Well... Not necessarily pleasant. And I guess I'll look at my achievements too in the meantime. In the wonders of the world, what is the world? What do we have? Have four party members in the full state at the same time. When did I do that? I've definitely done that before. Full state, like full up on the, the meters, I guess. You'll pull as well? Okay, cool. I will, in the meantime, plot out a course for a boss. By searching my... I think if I look at this little journal up here, I can find what bosses lie around. Enemies! Hemispite, hypostasis, hypostasis, regis fine, lupus boreas. Oh, there's a treasure collecting co collection cost that's a little farther downward for the lupus th boy. Have I ever fought the Oceanid before? I, I definitely have. So many options to choose from. Are these actual bosses? Or are they just regular enemies that you can get certain trinkets from? I see, I see. <laughs> Plenty of different enemies. And treasure hoarders. That's good. Oh, this is where you can go to see, like, where your other... Like, if you need to fight enemies, where you can find them. Cool, cool. Well, uh... Well, perhaps I'll search based off of which character I want to see. Which character needs an ascension? Who needs ascension? Ascension impact. Genshin impact? More like ascension impact. <laughs> hey -o. I'd like to ascend you, Xiangling, if I can. Oh, I need more of those Zhui uh, Yun chilies and fire things. I could also try for Beto, who needs more of those purple ones. Or Noel, who needs more of the yellow ones. Or Sucrose, who needs more of, you guessed it, the green ones. Well, whatever. You know what? I'll just go with whichever one I find first. Look at that. Anima hypostasis. I think that's the one. We're heading towards over there. To the animo hypostasis first. Anything good? Did you pull anything all right? How'd your polls go? How did your polls go? I yearned to find out how your polls went. Oh, I didn't wind up teleporting. There we go. Now we can teleport. We could walk over, but when we're trying to go for bosses to bosses, I feel like it's better to teleport. Do, 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 do. Nothing good? Yeah. I'm pretty broken, the primos, too. Every single time I get up to the level, I try to wait until I have, like, uh, enough for the 10 pole. But that's, the, yeah. I didn't get very much good either. Although there was a special weapon there. Special weapons are good, I suppose. I'm not sure what I can use that for. Hmm. I'll have to take a closer look at it. It was the flute. The flute was the weapon I pulled. Uh, maybe I should... Let's see, what, what characters do I want for this? It's that swirl ability. Oh, and for some reason I don't have the other character. That's pretty odd. Uh, I'll go with you. And, uh, you've already got a jungling. So I'm gonna go with, uh... You know what? I like this. I feel that this is wonderful. All right, let's do it! Hollow hypostasis. Beth? Can I call you Beth? Clearly I can. It says Beth. I love how they give the bo- the go- Blech. I love how they give the bosses, like, names. Or at least that's what it seems to be. Give him a little swirl. A little bit of that swirling around- so That's the distinction is- There's the swirl elemental ability. And then there's me just swirling my sword around, which I would also consider to be rather swirl-like, but... Oops! Run there, Animo Hypostasis. What will you do about it now? You won't do anything. Give it a little bit of that electric ability. To match up with the fire ability, too. Oh, hello. Oh, you're doing your... Ah, uh, you're doing the Cyclone ability! That's that's not difficult. Cyclone ain't too bad. Cyclone ain't too bad, ain't too bad, ain't too bad. And your Cyclone abilities. 
I'll give it a little bit of a lightning so we can overload. Take as much health down as I can. And then, uh, I don't know, grab, grab that. Grab that? Grab that? Can't grab that. Okay. Can't jump high enough for that one. What are you doing all the way over there? Oh, I missed. I missed the whack. There we go. Oh, dear. <laughs> there we go. I'll take the other direction. Oh, hello. Oh, sweet. If I'm not on the ground, I can't be hit by that. Sweet. There we go. And then can we... I'll save my next lightning ability for the next time that thing comes out of its shell. Hey, pal. Hey, what are you, what are you doing? Nope. Nope. If I just stay far enough away, I can't be hit. Oh, you're going to hit me anyway. Whoops. There we go. If I just run away, I'll be okay. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, where'd you go there, buddy? Oh, I don't think you can. I don't think you want to. I don't think you want to. I don't think you want to go and do that. Come out of your shell. It's not very good. Okay, we can we can wait. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I thought if I was up here, I'd be okay. That was true. Okay, awesome. If I was up there, I will be okay. Oh, you went back into your little cube shell. Why go back into your cube shell like that? I'm defended. I've got my shield on. I can just swing this around as much as I want to. And then do that. And then, uh, oh, tornado time. It's tornado time. Tornado time with your friend Genshin. Hmm. No, no. I'm going to kill you. Fire ability. Fire ability. Fire ability and overloading. That's what we can do with the electric ability. Electric powers. Powers of electric. Boogie woogie woogie. Coming on down, I'm gonna come over here and I'll grab you with that fancy, fancy electric sword ability. And I'm gonna get all your funny. Oh, I was gonna grab your funny air particles. Whoops, that wasn't good. That wasn't the right place to be in. I wanted to be in the right place at the right time, but sometimes, how do you know when the right, where the right place is or when the right time is? That may be a column problem for everybody and everything. What are you, what are you doing just sing, sitting over there? Oh, I see. If I just, if I just hang over here. Party time. Okay, there we go. Now we just run on in for the cur kill, kill. Kill, kill, I want to kill these bosses and... There we go. That's not going to do too bad. That won't do too bad. Where are all those things go? Oh, they were chasing after you. Aha. Whoops. We could use electric for everything that needs to be overloaded. We're almost there there, pal. Almost there. Must defeat the crystals. Where's my thing? There we go. Oh, there's one more. Yes. Perfect. Nice job. Nice teamwork. And that will just get the rest of you. If you want to come out of your little cube shell, I get a cube shell of impermeability. No. Oh, dear. See, I don't like that. Me not like. No like that type of ability. All right, nice. Very nice indeed. Let's get some of that original resin, or, or rather lose some of it, I guess. Get some adventure XP too. Wonderful, wonderful things. Awesome. Well, I suppose next one we'll try to do is... Who else is up and hungry for a fight? The Regisvine down here. I don't think I've ever actually fought this Regisvine. We can go down there. I like that move. Let's go fight the Regisvine. That's where I think we'll go next. I'll get some of my own fire powers up. Do 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 do. What else is good against ice? I guess Geo's can be useful against ice. 
Let me change up my character build a little bit. I mean, oh, actually, well, and even even uh, Electro is also good. Let me do some heals too. Couple of little heals for a couple of little friends. It's a good thing I have all these beautiful dishes. Like delicious grilled tiger fish. Yum. All right. Here we go. We're gonna get you. There we go. And if I do this too with the crystal eyes, we will take down this enemy. Enemy Evercold Ice Flower. <laughs> I love that. Evercold Ice Flower. I mean, they're technically just big, overgrown, like, flower things. So, like, it totally works out. And I'll save this one for next time. Whoops! Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to allow that to occur. Unstable elements have, co have to converge near its Corolla. W what? What's a Corolla? Corona? Corona? Corolla? I don't know. I know not. Why don't you put your big old face on the ground again? Very much appreciates that. Oh, not like that. Like in a non-aggressive manner, perhaps. Oh, I see your thing up there getting all... I see your little shield up there. Getting all annoyed. No, stop! <laughs> like, let me slam my face on the ground! If I slam my face, everything will be okay! I'll we'll swing like this for a little bit. Oh, yes. I think that was a pretty- that was pretty good. Pretty, pretty good indeed. Woo! Don't get hit by the thing. Watch it. Is it even a face? I was gonna say, it's slamming its face against the ground, but it's not really a face. The core has formed near its roots. Where, where's the core? Oh, there's the core. Keep on swinging like this and we'll break the core too. Oh, goodness! Well, would you look at that? Well, would you look at that? Do, 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 do. You got it! You got it! By our powers combined. Just me, you, this guy. I couldn't read that achievement. Whatever that was. That wasn't very difficult at all, actually. I just kept taking ice damage. <laughs> nice. Not a problem. Not a problem at all. That's correct, Noel. I completely agree. I got a whole frost core. Specifically two of them. And some Shibata Jades. Lovely. A tool might help you to complete a myriad of tasks to a satisfactory standard. But it no, well, costs nothing. I, on the other hand, feel a strong sense of achievement every time I do something for you. Oh. I don't think I've ever heard you say that, Noel. Alright, where to next? Where's the next one down the list? I see an electrohyperstasis hanging on over here. Feels good to me. Feels all right to me. We'll just make our way around the map until I run out of resin for the day. When I run out of resin, then we'll do. Want to do Primo Via Gia Vishap next? Yeah, we can do that. Or could we do... Let's see. How many... How, how do I check how much original resin I have? How do I check that? How do I check that? I know there was a way. But I don't remember how to check. Was it the map? I think it's the map. I can check on the map, maybe. Yes, I have 80 left for today. So we could do this one and then that one. Electro Vengia. Perfect. Awesome. Oh, I, I continue to forget. You can hear me on the other side, too. Silly me. Anyway, we continue onwards. Perfect, perfect. Continue onwards to the Electro. I should leave a switch out, Beto. Beto is needed for this one. Electric versus electric versus electric? Hmm. Let's see, who else do I have that's up there pretty well? Electro and uh could use some sucrose for this. Or Venti. Or um or you know what? Changyun's a little lower level, but ice is good. Ice is good, so I think we'll go with it. 
And Noelle's my boo, so. One of my boos. She's one of many boos. The other being Sucrose. Sucrose has a time and place, though. Noelle can heal, though. That's wonderful. That's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And here we go! Hello, Aleph. What a nice name. Aleph. It reminds me of, um... Oh, what other names remind me of Aleph? Um, Alphonse. Just Alan. Al. Yeah, that's that's all I got, really. Ooh! Big old drill ability. Then drill and punch and scissors. Oh, it's a rock, paper. Oh. Rock, scissor, paper. Rock, paper, si rock, paper, scissors. Rock, scissor, paper. Paper, scissor, rock. Oh, we were just killing it. Damn! Oh, it got you. It tried to poke you in the eyes. And this is going exceedingly well. Probably because Overload does so much damage, I think. With the fire ability. Oh, not a fan. Whoa! Not a fan of that one. Oh, okay. Wasn't able to avoid that. Oh, right. Is the goal to get towards the middle? I guess the goal is to get towards the middle. Hm. We got whacked right out of the center. Zwa! Alright, alright, and what are you gonna do next? Oh, don't. No. No. Oh, dear. Oh, my. Oh, mizo, mizo, my. Go on shooting all those things at me. I don't know what I'll do. What'll I do next? So many bad things coming from so many different angles. Do -do 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 -do. And then we'll do Geovichap next, and then I guess after that I'll probably be out of resin. And I know I have items to like replenish my resin, but I I don't know. I don't feel the need to use those now. I could, but eh. I got other things that I can do for more uh, adventure reg points. Like um, I'll need to do the daily missions, the daily commissions, or the more um. I wonder how much experience I can get from actually raising my reputations in the different uh, uh, jurisdictions. I really haven't attempted to focus on that before. So that might be some good. Oh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? We'll find your electro. Destroy the revival prisons! Okie dokie. Nice, nice, nice. And then this one, and. Woo! Nice! High five! Nice! Tiara of Thunder! Is one of the various items that I have retrieved. Alright. Vishap next. And I think I'll probably keep Chongin for this, because I know, I believe Ice is good against uh, Geo. And then I'll switch out Noel for... Beto. Beto, 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 beto. All right, to the Vish app. Gonna my way all the way over here. There you are. Do I have any other well? Nope, that's the closest teleport waypoint. Here we go. That seems to be the closest, so that's what we're gonna go with. Bum bum ba dum bum 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 ba dum bum dum bum ba dum bum bum. Uh, that way. That's where we gotta go. Oh, there's the direction I must go. Down in that direction. I always seem to lose my bearings. Not in the real world. Not IRL. I've actually got a pretty good sense of direction in the real world. But uh, I tend to get lost in video games. And maybe that's just because, like, currently in my local area, it's, the streets are numbered. So, like, how do you get lost with numbers? I mean, I, I understand people will get lost with numbers nonetheless. But, like, I feel like it's a little more difficult to be lost with the numbers. As opposed to anything else. But that's only in the east to west direction are the numbers. The north to south direction, those those can get a little weird. I understand why those may get a little misleading. It's a bunch of trees over here. Like, the streets are all named after trees, like Chestnut Street or Poplar Street. 
some stuff like that. I don't know if the spring garden is a type of tree, but that's the street that's right outside. Spring garden. Here in the kingdom of spring garden, we, we're with the spring gardens. Primo Geovishap, Geo Dragon, who once raged with the king. Who's the king, though? Who beeth the king? Oh, wow, you just killed... Well, okay, Chang is dead. Alrighty. I was not expecting that to die as harshly as it did. That was... That was pretty bad. That was pretty, pretty bad. Wow, that was... Wow! Okay! Looks like we need some heals in here. Wow! I, uh, you know what? I've got, I've got ways to combat this. I've got, I've got things to heal. Got things to heal. I've also got things to up defense of, which I was meaning to grab before closing out of that inventory. That for attack, and yeah, you know what? Let's increase our electric and ice. There we go. Now I'm coming back into the battle. I'm coming back. Use a shield to counter the, I don't have it. Oh, I didn't have a shield. I didn't have a shield, but oh well. Oh, no, 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 no. Oop! Don't slice. Don't slice me with your claws! Slicing with the claws. Oh, you're going underground. Mm, I'd rather you not. I would seriously suggest you not. There we go. Oh, I don't have a shield. I don't have a shield! Unfortunately, Noel doesn't have... I, I don't have a shield. However, Noelle's is shield. So perhaps I should have kept with Noelle. Probably, uh, probably should have. If I hit you with the ice ability... Oh, now you're iced again. Yeah. Forgot about the shield. Should have used the shield. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's, that's gonna kill me in a moment. More food, more food, more food. Food, food, food. Food, 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 food. What's this thing here? Can I break that? I cannot. Oh wait, this, this, can I break that for a shield? No. Okay. I thought perhaps I could break it for the shield. I was wrong. Oh dear, as dear as me. Shooting your laser at me. I don't like the lasers. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 oh no. I really wish I could use a shield, but I cannot. Okay, or I can run. Uh oh! More death! More death in the party! Death will happen. Wow! Death will happen! Death will happen! Death can happen with a thing like that. Oh! I wish I had my heels on me, but I don't. Oh, run! 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 Oh, ah, uh, yes. That was good. <laughs> this will be uh, one of those uh, slowly but surely boss matches. A perfect way to close out boss matches for the day, though. Oh, dearie, dearest me! I've been super conducted. Whoops. Alright. Mm. No, no. And we were doing, like, barely any damage at all. That's my B. Actually, do I have my attack buffs? I do have my attack buffs still on. Whoops! Slice me with that claw attack. No, you won't. Oh, you will. You will. You always will. I can't guarantee that you won't. I can't reason that you will. Ah, you smacked me with a direct hit. Oh, but that's okay. We're just gonna run over here for a moment. And then, uh, we'll just come on back. We're like a third of the way there, almost. We're doing just fine. Oh, you're coming on the ground again. Come after me. Yeah, do that. And then slob down to the ground. Whoops. Slicing ability is no good, too. You know what's interesting? Even the Geovishep seems to have like a little flower on the back of its tail. I mean, it's it's certainly not a flower per se, but it, it's flower-like. 
More like, uh, I, I guess, geode more than anything else, I suppose. Because rocks and stuff. Whoa! Of course, you get the new spin attack. No, no. Oh, you've done it again. Oh, you little botch. You've done it again. Are you going to do it again? Well, you almost did it again. No, come back. Hit me instead. Take me with you. Oh, dear. Oh, it looked like you were going to do something. Oh, you're going underground. Meaning you'll come after one of us. <gasps> no! But this gives me time to use a couple of healing items. So, oh, you can't heal. Oh, you're too full there. You're too full, Beto. Oh, okay. Unfortunate. Whoops! You're doing that thing with the laser again! I don't like the laser! Me no like the laser. Stop. No, don't. Oh. oh. You got me. You got me. Can I heal you? Of course I can. Crab row tofu. Crab throw tofu. Shield to shield to counter. I know if you, uh, I mean, I, I can't do it right now because I don't have the shield. I don't have any shield ability. But I know if you have the shield on, like what I can do with Noel, you can actually send the beam back to the Geo Vishap. But uh, I can't do that right now. Oh, it's it's icy. Oh, it's icy, baby. Okay, more heals, more heals. Heals for Beto, heals for Beto. And uh, power ups, power ups for everybody else, maybe? I don't know, let's see about that. Let's do it. Oh, where'd you go? Oh! You killed me in one shot. That doesn't work. I wish I had a shield, but I don't have a shield! Ah! Nope. Oh! Nope, okay. This doesn't feel like it's gonna end very well. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, dear! It's okay. <gasps> I see a shield over there. I see a shield that's been generated. But... It's not gonna help me. Not for that, at least. Unless. I mean, I have the shield. I have the shield! Shoot me! There we go. We sent it right back to you. That worked. <laughs> ah! Oh, I have no doubt you're coming back. I figured you didn't leave for any weird reason or anything. Were you doing a little switching? I might, I might do a little switching too. No, stop! Oh dear! Okay, we're good. We're fine. Chang, you come back to get life yet? Nope. Oh no! I couldn't survive. We'll arrive at the most recently visited teleport waypoint of the Statue of the Seven. Well, I guess we're both coming back. But in the meantime, I will change out my loadout. Oh, where would you send me? Oh, I get. Oh, okay, okay. I'm gonna change my loadout. Going back to Noel. I need that shield. That shield is way too good not to have. It's way too good not to have, so I'm putting that back on. I thought maybe Geo vs. Geo. Nope. Geo vs. Um, I did pretty well with Sucrus coming in last time, so... We're sending them all out. Okay, um... Give me the map. Give me the map. I'm coming back. Give me the map. Map. Yeah. Alright. I'm coming back to... Slowly. I'll get there. Promise. I hope there's a chest over here. I may get a little distracted along the way. Eh, uh, it's not worth my time. I was gonna think, if that, if I can do that, if I can kill that, if I can go for that chest without having to get into a fight, I'll do it, but no, it wasn't about to work out for me like that, so, oh well. Deet, 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 deet. Hello! It seems we come back again. Well, here we are again. Oh dear, I fell in. Oh, he's still here. Well, alrighty then. Well, uh, I guess while I'm falling, I will uh, take this opportunity to uh, get, my, get my defense back up again, get my damage back up again. He's apparently icy right now, so I'll resist my ice res. Oh, he's healed since the last... That, that makes sense, honestly. All right, okie dokie. We'll do this better than we did last time. Much, much better. Now with Swirl ability. 
Swirl? Swirl, baby. Yeah. I see fire over there. Fire and ice is good. Yes, it got all fiery. That's perfect. Yes, exactly what I was hoping for. Oh, d don't. Oh, you swall. You swung. Okay, what are you gonna do? Okay, underground? Underground? We can take care of underground. Who are you come after? Ma? You wouldn't. You wouldn't. Go ahead and, yeah, use your beam again. There we go. Shoot it right back at you. How could I forget the shield? How could I possibly forget the shields? Whoopsies. You guys, sorry. Didn't mean for it to be like this. I did not mean for it to be this way. But it was. Oh, oh, come, come back here. Come back in the frame. Come back into the frame. Oh, I see the shield. Go ahead. Yeah! The shield's where it gets it. It just goes to show you, if I thought about perhaps not having Noel in a fight, I should always check myself first. Yeah, fire. Can we get some fire in there? Yes! Fire, fire, fire. The swirl is strong with this one. Oh, oh, oh! Whoops. There's a shield. I can use that. Oh, I didn't mean to... Hmm. Apparently, I used my own shield a little too soon. But I've got five seconds left for the next one. Uh, okay, I don't know how long that'll last for, but I will stand in the line of fire in hopes and wait. It did work! Perfect! Haha, <laughs> perfect. Do -do 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 -do. Ooh, back from dinner, you say, Game Fist. If I may so inquire, what was for dinner? Last night, I had what apparently Anna calls, Anna and her family called the poor man's meal, which was potatoes, chopped up hot dogs, and whatever else was in there. I do not remember. I do not quite remember. Oh, that didn't work. Sucrose is almost dead, but that's fine. But it was delicious. I like, I like, hold that whole thing down. I love potatoes. I like hot dogs. Actually, they weren't even hot dogs. They were what I call not dogs. Because they're vegetarian hot dogs. But they taste just fine, honestly. They're great. Set me up with a 4 gigabyte enterprise for my tutorials. I'll see you in the pterodactyl. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I can begin making some more tutorials. Um... That'll be wonderful. That'll be wonderful. I did at least make one tutorial, but I don't think that one's been uploaded yet. It was for the malformed JSON exception. Because I know what a JSON file is, and oftentimes you can just fix that by just deleting it. Coming it back again. Potatoes and schnitzel. Lovely. When I That reminds me, when I was hanging out with a, with a buddy of mine, um, it was me and a couple other pals just kind of hanging out at his apartment down south. And we were like, well, what are we going to eat? A bunch of guys living together for like a week? We got to figure out what we're going to eat. And so we went to the store, specifically to, I think, Costco, and just bought a bunch of meats and a bunch of breadcrumbs and specifically steak meat. Big old red meat. And so for a good week, we just kind of ate what we would consider to be schnitzel, just cooked up meat and breadcrumbs. Meat covered in egg, covered in breadcrumbs. And it was... It was lovely, but like when you're on, it was basically an all meat diet. And when you do that to yourself, things don't get very pleasant. Things are not very pleasant pretty fast. On the on the digestive sides of things, I mean. I won't go into any more detail, but it was a little. Could have used some fiber in our diets. Could have certainly used some fiber. And then I think, did we wind up having pasta too? I think we wound up having pasta too. We were like, we've had too much meat. We need to, we need to switch towards something that has a little more substance to it. And we were like, pasta. Pasta will be the one. Pasta and noodles. Almost gotcha. We have gotcha. Nice job. It may have taken a couple of tries, but all is well that ends well. Juvenile Jade. Some Shivata Jade Fragments, and Prithifa Tupaz Silver. Oh! Was that because we fought him with the ice? I guess, what is he? I guess he determines, like, a particular element in the very beginning. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Awesome. Well, I'll explain more on this end, because I feel like everyone can hear me. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over for those purple commission quests. 
or uh, commission quests, um, like these things, all around. That's what we're gonna do. Um, I see one here, one there. Um, there's one over there, and I know, and there's one back in Leeway Harbor. So I guess I'll wrap my way up and around. So that's where I'll go my navigation to. I wonder, can the co-op players also see the navigation? I'm not, I'm not sure if they can or not. I suppose you probably could. If you mark it on the map, I suppose everybody can see it. If you'd like to so join me, you are more than welcome to. But that's the next goal. The next goal is to try and try as I can to get up an adventure rank. It's interesting, like, in the beginning, when uh, I wasn't really playing this one as much as I do now, which I still don't play too, too much, but, like, I play it more than I did previously. Like, my friends were like, oh, yeah, like, I got to level... I got to adventure rank, like, 50 in, like, week, like... How? Like, you must spend literally all your waking moments to be able to get up into venturing, because it's taken a really long time for me, but perhaps it's just because I don't know the ways. AFK for a few minutes? No problem, no problem. No problem at all. Typical students eat something else over there in the Netherlands, but can't begin to describe it in English. Oh. What are its components? What goes, what goes inside, then, I guess? Perhaps what the components are more easily translatable than the actual meal itself. I wonder. Perhaps it's cooked in an animal fat? Maybe a bunch of oils? Which I know animal fat technically is, just oil, but... I am curious. Well, what's actually, what's the name in your native tongue? I could always just Google it. That's the beauty of Google! I mean, not like Google Translate. I'm sure it doesn't really have, like, a proper translation, so to speak, but... There might be some other English speaker who's more familiar with that particular diet who would be able to describe it in English. I know not. I am curious, though. It wouldn't be the first time I've gotten, like, suggestions on this show for things that aren't in my native tongue. Like, for example, there's something in Germany, I believe, called Kirsch. Kirsch, I think is how you pronounce it. And I think the way it was described to me was like a, like a beer and soda pop type thing. Um, but yeah, I don't exactly know how that go. But I want to try it. But I can't see that, like, Google doesn't have, like, Google does not have the answer for that particular, like, interpretation of it. But supposedly different, like, jurisdictions and whatnot in Germany have their own version of Kursch and stuff like that. But Google doesn't seem to know about it. Or at least not from the Google that I'm searching on. They don't seem to know. That Google don't seem to know. They're not privy to that type of information. Like, unless it's, like, wildly popularized or, I guess, properly tagged on Google, like, it's not gonna... It's not gonna show up. Oh, you healed? You ass! I can't believe you healed yourself. It's like pasta noodles cooked with, like, herb butter. Butter that's put on bread normally, like, at a barbecue. Okay. So you could make the butter with different types of herbs in it. Like, uh, I think we often do, like... We can do, like, uh... I know garlic isn't an herb over here, but like oftentimes I've seen places do like a like a garlic and rosemary butter or something like that, which is technically herb butter. Oh, you like you just buy it at the store? Oh, interesting. Hmm. Interesting. I love to try new things, so like that's at least something that I can go off of. Or even a phrase that I can type into the internet to find. Maybe they have, like, a consumer version that I can, like, get shipped over. <laughs> Can't find the translation. Guess you just guys don't have it. Probably not. I guess not. Oh, well. Yet another thing that I can't have by nature of my location. But if I ever find my way over the Netherlands one day, I'll definitely wind up reaching out. <laughs> like Stroop Waffles. Yeah, I don't think there's a really... We have a strip waffle maker, actually. So, uh, I'm, I'm more familiar with that, more so by the fact that I, I know... Like, I, I'm able to make it. Love me some strip waffles. A perfect way to... I am dead! The Knights of Favonius are dead! Oh, it seems that everybody's dead. Oh, except for Noel. Noel's back! Love how we pronounce it. I'm pretty sure it's a strip waffle. But... Oh, I didn't mean to click that button. That's what I go off of it as. Well, tell me, enlighten me, then. What is the proper way to pronounce it? 
Because if I know that they're, I, I, I prefer to be the kind of person who pronounces things the way that they would be pronounced in their native tongue. If, if, you know, if not to be able to like kind of get it all up and whatnot. What do we got over here? I do not know who you are. So I will stave on that for now. But we shall continue towards more, more, more things. If you're coming along and whatnot, come along and uh, let us know first. You can at least introduce- I like to think that you introduce yourself first before, like, popping on and whatnot. Exact same, but except for the pronouncement of Stroop. Oh! Isn't that Stroop? Is it more like Stroop? Stroop, yeah. Or Stroop? Stroop. Stroop? More like that U sound or that, like, Stroop. U sound. Like the, the long U, but it's like a long U. U? Stroop? Stroop waffle? A strip? Oop. I'm gonna try my- like, I, I hope you know I'm purposely embarrassing myself to try to- try as hard as I can. <laughs> Not that one. Oh, damn. So, strope. Strope waffle? Strope. Oh. 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 Where they use it? Oh, they, like, strope waffle. Strope waffle. Uh. Stop the slime balloon from reaching its destination. We'll shall kill it. Like, strope is in rope, I would think. Yeah, that's the more like it. Strope waffle! Nice. What about the waffle part? Is the waffle part right? Man, I hope so. Strope waffle. Strope. Strope waffle. Or does it need that little, like, that little back air to it? Like, strope. Strope waffle. I like that. I like the way that, uh, rolls off the tongue. We just keep on whacking it. We just keep on whacking this slime balloon. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get it. Pronounce the A a little bit better. Okay. But if you say it like that, then any Dutch person will understand it just fine. Oh, nice, nice. Pronounce the A. Strope waffle? Or like a affle? Like affle or effle? Strope waffle. No, that just sounds weird. Or effle. Strope waffle. <laughs> I'm trying. I hope you know that I'm trying my hardest over here. Again, like, I'm trying to figure it out off of, like, pure only reference alone. Only word of mouth. And I'm sure if I just heard somebody pronounce it, it'd be like, yeah. Like I did two minutes ago. Strope waffle. Strope waffle. It feels so basic, though. On to the next mission. Moving right along. That's the closest I'm gonna get. I'll take it, then. I'll take it. Strope waffle. And I hope to be able to share that with my... The, the next time we whip out the strope waffle maker, I hope to be able to promptly be able to say it just like that as we create more. Oh, let's kill you all. That's the best way to do it. Absolute kill. The next time someone says strope waffle, you can feel like, no, no, no. Stroop waffle. Strope waffle. If anybody ever mentions it. I feel like I've talked... Like, Another thing is, too, I gotta wonder whether my brain will actually remember even having this conversation, but I feel like we've talked on enough about it that it'll be hard to forget. We've kind of ingrained it into my brain. It'll be hard to forget. Oh, well, you really got me, didn't you? Oopsie doopsie. I want to revive you. Let me revive you. Let me revive you. Coming you back to life. Oh, okay. I guess you're... I guess I'm throwing my shit over there. And while that happens, I can uh, heal up my heal up my Noel for more. Heal, I say. You're the one who wins. Dun, 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 Help me with my homework next time. Woo! With my Dutch homework. Homework of the Netherlands. Lands of the Nether. Lands of the Nether and all that stuff like that. I always appreciate learning new things, so thank you for at least enlightening me in one way or another. At least to enlightening me the way how they would do it back in the homeland. I didn't actually have a chance to write that down, though. Like, I will write it down, therefore I won't forget. But not right now. Only after the battle. After the battle, I will try to write it down on my... Oh, look, a viewpoint. Commission complete on. I'll do that viewpoint. And let me write it down on my little thing over here. So I, I don't forget. So, Stroop Waffle 
more like strope waffle. Hey, oh, got him. Just thought about it. The O in stro uh, strope waffle is basically how you pronounce hello. Strope. Yeah, strope. Yeah. Oh, hello, Whopper Flower. Where did you get here? What did you get around here? Yeah, hello. 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 Strope. Strope waffle. Strope waffle. Oh, strope. My brain's in like two places at once, so like if I get hung up on one thing, like for example the pronouncing of O and Strope Waffle, then I apologize. <laughs> My brain's like attempting to process so many things. So many things, so many things. There's really not that many, it's only two. I haven't yet found another latch for me to continue the conversation off of. That's what I noticed. Sometimes I have to, sometimes I like to think about how in the world I wound up talking for so long. And I think it, yo, you okay? You okay, Whopper Flower? And I think it's that I wind up finding one thing in what, I, like what I'm talking about kind of goes off on a little bit of a tangent. And then in that tangent, I find something else that I can go off of. It just kind of continues. And stroop in English is syrup. Oh, like you would put on pancakes. Oh, nice. Ah, so they're, they're waffles for syrup. Except a lot sweeter. Honestly, I think like a, a strope waffle is, from what I've tasted so far, at least with the particular like ingredients that we wind up using, are actually a little more sweet than a regular waffle on its own. Oh, let me go get this geo keyless real quick. Just go grab that. Grab that geo. That's cool. I've learned about a translation. And technically, that's translating from Dutch, I believe. Correct? That's That's the language of the Netherlands, I think. Right. Hope I'm correct on that. I wonder if it's similar in German. I am more familiar with German than I am with Dutch, but yeah, strope is Dutch for syrup in English. Nice. Oh, let me mark on the map where this other one is. This other little mission of mine. This little mission of mine. That's over there now. And then the next one will be at Leeway Harbor, which is perfect because I gotta go that way to be able to claim the rewards. So we shall go in this direction. Do 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 do. You know, come to think of it, that is actually really, really cool, the fact that we've got that... I've got some people who speak, like, other languages over in that area in the chat. Gotta go, but you'll be back on soon. No problem at all! Thanks so much for coming around. I appreciate your presence, nonetheless. Happy that you were able to pop in. Honestly, I probably wouldn't, uh... It's always nice to have more people. Woot woot! You got a Founder's Badge bat for the channel? Is that the first? No, 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 it's not the first. There are a couple other people as well. I actually just I actually just ran out of Founders Badges the other day. I think there's 10 to give out in total, and there have been 10 given out. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. I never thought it would go away so quickly, and it only took about, what, a month and a half? Maybe two months? That was really cool. And hello to you, oh, by the way. I saw you putting your little uh, wrench up in chat. <laughs> You're very, very welcome. So very welcome at all. I always love being joined by peoples and whatnot. Don't get me wrong, like, I'm not one to be taken, like, like, for example, those random co-op requests just come on into the world. But, like, again, like like I said before, like, if y'all come in, maybe introduce yourself a little bit, kind of break that ice a little bit, and then I'll be more than happy to have you come on in. That's how I feel about things. Like, you don't just, in terms of the party, you don't just, oh, hello, treasure hoarders. You don't just knock the door open. Like, you don't just barge into my apartment and say, like, hey, is there a party going on? You knock, and then I open the door and say, hi there, how are you? And you're like, oh, good, how are you? My name's uh, Jamie, and I'm from down the street, and I was wondering if you were having a party. And then it'd be like, well, I'm Cameron, and I am the host of this party, and yes, we are, in fact, having a party. Would you like to come on in? Yes, indeed, I'd like to come on in. Like, that's that's me inviting you into my house. I like that. I'm doing rather well to answer your question, Or It's been a very productive week so far, and it's only a Wednesday. That's very, very good. I like the feeling of productivity. My tea's been nice. I had an avocado for breakfast. Probably in a little bit. I'll uh, make myself a sandwich. We've got sandwich making ingredients again. I love it because uh, we went to the store. And when Anna came back. Make a great car salesman. Oh, goodness. Make a horrible... I, I mean, I think... I mean, yes. I think I would make a great car salesman. 
Oh, I'm back with my regular character again. I didn't realize that. I would make a great car salesman in the way that I can just kind of keep talking about the car. More so, more so, more so about the car and whatnot until, you know, eventually, you know, be courteous enough for people to be like, you know what? Yes, I do want to buy this car. But like, I like to think that, I mean, I'd like to think that I'm a little more sincere than a car salesman. If I had a car, if I was a car salesman, I would more than likely be like, yeah, I know you're looking at that one over there, but that one actually sucks, like in my personal opinion. And I'm going to give you my unsolicited personal opinion because I'm going to make sure that you know exactly what you're getting yourself into and whatnot. Because that, that's how I do things if I was selling a product. That, that's honestly, that's what I would do. Like, I give my personal opinion in everything, for the most part. I just can't keep... Because I feel like, if you're a salesman on anything, I feel like your your personality is totally a part of it. I mean, there, there's people who are just like, you know, you keep your work life and your personal life separate. And I suppose in the same way, your work demeanor and your personal demeanor is separate as well. But, like, I don't want to feel like I'm talking to some lifeless soul whose one goal are the commit to get as many commissions as possible from sales. Like, nah, I want to feel like I'm talking to a human being. That's what I want to feel like. Though I suppose there are other people in this world who feel differently. I'm sure there are some people who are just like, I want you to sell me on the car. I want your unbiased opinion on it. That's all I want. And I want you to give me as much details as possible. And to those, you're you're totally your own type of customer. I'm just not your kind of salesman. Man. I would not be the salesman who would be able to get you to buy. Because I'd probably ask you about, I'd probably be like, well, let's break the ice a little bit before we, we sell on that deal. Tell me about your life. You want to share about your life? No, you don't want to share about your life? That's fine. I'll talk about mine. I can do enough talking for all of us. Clearly. And I've just woke up. Not too long ago. Wonderful. Wonderful. I hope your rest was well. I had a really hard time getting up this morning. I think by the time I actually opened my eyes, it took me about an hour and a half to get out of bed. Like, my alarm winds up going off at 8.15, and then I snooze it. Then it goes off at 8.30, then I snooze it, then it goes off of 8.45, then I may or may not snooze it, but then I get up around, like, 9, like, 30 or 9.15. Yeah, right? I'm just like, yeah, I have no clue. I've never seen this car before. It came here by bike, but it looks cool, right? I wind up doing that anyway. Because uh, for one of the things that I wind up doing to, um... To help out this company that I work for, Spark Toast, maybe you've heard of them. But uh, oftentimes we'll get chats that come in and whatnot, and sometimes it's on a topic that I just know nothing about. And I'll be perfectly upfront with you. I'll be like, I have no personal knowledge on this. We apparently don't have any tutorials on it. I have not been able to find Google tutorials on it. So I'm going to tell you to make a ticket over here, and uh, somebody else who's better than I will be able to help you out. And uh, I, I'm on, I honestly expect to get like like uh like more negative responses like I, I, there was at least one occasion where the reaction was more along the lines of what do you mean you don't know what i'm asking you work here you should absolutely know everything and be prepared for every single question i could ask you and i'm like I, I i'm sorry dude like i don't know what else you want me to do for you but uh that was a very that was a very swift conversation oh i don't want to be in contact because i don't have my proper party ah! it's okay just been waiting for the banner. Yeah, I want, I want that. Uh, I'd say I, I want the, uh, the banner character, but uh, I tried for it already. I tried for those poles. Those, those poles didn't really work out. Are you bubble dude? Oh, I don't like you. Oh, you're ice dude. Okay, good. You're not bubble dude. Bubble dude can't. Bubble dude can heal. I can ask in staff general as well. No, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I, I totally could ask in the company chat. That's true. That's true. I'll probably, I, I've been trying to do that a little bit more. Like, I get a little, like, I, I'll admit, I get a little uncomfortable feeling like I'm pinging everybody all the time. And I just don't want to be annoying. But I, I mean, I've been told time and time again, like, it's not annoying. Don't worry about it. You're just as much, you benefit just as much from the question as everybody else would. And so I, I shouldn't feel bad about it. But yet sometimes I do. But I'm working on that. I'm becoming more and more comfortable if things go on. I've got D Luke on the, on the Asia region. Aww. Honestly, I'd like me a bit of D-Luke. It'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> and then Jake goes by and thinks it's fun to at everyone on a daily basis and whatnot. I'll admit, I have those suppressed. I don't get notifications for that. <laughs> I think I have that entire, um, that entire, um, server mute, or that entire particular channel muted. Just because, like, there are a lot of messages that go on in there, and I don't, I just don't need my phone going off and whatnot. 
I just I just don't need it. There's a lot of Discord servers. Yeah, 95% have it muted. I believe it. Don't get me wrong. I pop in and I see the mentions. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Cool. I'll respond to them if I can. I like it. Feels very feels very friendly. I like the friendly environment. So let's switch you back out with Beto. Nope. And then you go with Zhangling, who's apparently also a Scorpio. Very cool. Not that I really care, but... It's something worth mentioning. <laughs> we don't need more Diluc. We need more new characters. Yeah, I want more new characters. I did like my uh, my ten pole thing from the banner this time of the the newest one for for Eula or however you pronounce it, Eula. I'd say Eula because like Euler in mathematics is pronounced Euler. But anyway, but uh, I just got weapons, just a bunch of weapons, which are cool and all. Like if I particularly cared about getting. Like all, like a bunch of new characters and whatnot, I'd probably be a little heartbroken. But like, hey, it's it is what it is. It's all random chance anyway. I, I get what I can wind up doing. Hopefully, I can just wind up using those things in the long run. Honestly, in the one in the one regard, I guess I'd rather get weapons because at least with weapons, I can like use them to make better my other weapons. But like, if I don't use a character, like, I just don't use the character. I can't like. I can't level up all my characters all the time. It's crazy. FYI, the tutorial server doesn't show up in the client area, only on the panel. No, yeah, I, I figured as much. Yeah, just so I don't get I figure sub user. That makes that makes sense to me. That's what I figured you were talking about. I got you. I got you. Let's kill these enemies. But first let's heal everybody, because everybody needs some heals. And, and by the way, if I didn't thank you enough already for that, thank you again for that. Because that, that was something like, it's been, it's, it's been a little bit, I, I'm sure like, um, you know, who I'm cor corresponding with is probably just busy and whatnot. But I, I've been waiting on that to be able to get things more. Because like, the first tutorial I made, I had to put in a little extra effort to like, hide IP addresses and whatnot. Because it was an actual server that I use. And I'm like, I know there was a way around that. And somebody had mentioned like, oh, you could just get a test server. I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll just do that then no need to go through the extra trouble i'll just do that and so i haven't made anything since then because i've been kind of waiting on that because i thought i thought it wouldn't take too long but it has taken a little bit longer and again i'd ping more but i don't want to be annoying for people so i try not to be but alas you know sometimes sometimes you got to be annoying to get stuff done sometimes you just got to be annoying that's what I've found. I, I learn more and more and more at every position that I wind up working in is that you gotta be annoying to get stuff done. Like, yeah, yeah, I know. You gotta be annoying. I know, at least at the first place that I wound up working up, working at, I was like, hey, I made some progress on my project. Okay, how much progress have you made? Oh, I've made a lot of project in the pa progress in the past week. And they're just like, why don't you tell us when you make any progress at all? Then we can talk about where you're going. I'm like, oh, I just don't want to be annoying. And they're like, you should be annoying. You should be very, very annoying. That should be your goal here, to be as annoying as possible. Always slow to get go through all the channels and whatnot. Probably forgot. Eh, no problem. No problem, no problem. I even tried to be sly about it. I tried to, you know, like, started up a little bit of a conversation. And then, like, I tailed it in at the end. But then the uh, chat just went dead. I'm like, eh, whatever. That's yeah, okay. I can ping all I want. If I, we find it annoying, we'll just mute you. Exactly, right? Right? That's what I imagine it to be. Or DM, you don't mind either. <gasps> you don't mind either? Uh-oh. I've got DM permissions again. Honestly, if I ever needed to get in contact with anybody specifically, I... You know, I caught myself on that. I was going to say... I was going to say... If I needed to get in contact with anybody in particular, I would... I would DM them. But... I tell myself that, but I don't actually do that. Instead, what I wound up doing is I ping them in one of the... The, the the things and then if I don't get them I just kind of ask somebody else which I suppose is not necessarily the way to go about doing it if I need to get contact with somebody right now you should DM them and if they're online then naturally they will respond because it's in your DMs that's how you slide into those DMs and of course on the other side as well like feel free to DM me anytime and that's addressed to both the people I work with and the people who are just kind of hanging around as well. I mean, naturally, y'all don't have my Discord, but my Twitter's out there, and I enjoy having conversations with people. I like to be able to converse. Honestly, I'm the kind of person where 
if somebody initiates a conversation, I will feel bad not continuing the conversation. So I will continue with it. I will respond. Even like if it's not necessarily something that I should be doing. Like every once in a while, I wind up getting DMs com uh, concerning work stuff. And we're really not supposed to DM work related stuff towards people uh, if they ask us about it. But like, nonetheless, aside from the, hey, you know, this is not technically what we're supposed to do here. If you keep asking questions, I suppose I'll wind up answering them. That or they'll be like, here's the answer to your next question, but please, we're not supposed to talk over here. Oh, how about this next question? Not supposed to talk to you over here, but here's the answer to your question. Like, I'll, I'll say it every single time. Or that's how I would imagine I would go about myself doing it. I haven't exactly needed to do that at all. So I haven't done it yet before, but if that occasion were to happen, that's what I would do. Good to know. Keep me up all night. Oh, no. I'll be so preoccupied. I mean, naturally, if it gets too late, I would wind up saying, like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm going to bed over here. At the very least, I, I, I am honest. For the most part. Not perfectly honest. Get my fiancé jealous. Honestly, if you slide in my DMs enough, you might make her jealous. There's another person, there's a, another friend of mine who uh, I used to stream a, a lot with. Um, and so I, you know, I offered all my attention. We'd be like DMing in, in chats all the time and whatnot. She's just like, we don't give me enough attention. I'm like, oh, I can give you more attention if you want to. Then Anna and I started streaming together. And everybody's happy now. Everybody's happy now. I'm happy. She is the jealous type, so uh, I'll have to... It, it'll be up to me. It'll, it'll be up to me to be able to kind of juggle all of the attention I'm getting over here. I mean, when you're as popular as I am, you have to make sure that, you know, all of the lovelies get their time equally. Or at least in proper proportion. So to speak. Says the man who says he's popular. That's just the ego talking. Don't worry about the ego. The ego comes and goes. I like to use my ego for self-confidence. You're so full of shit. <laughs> You're absolutely right. I'm not the popular type. I don't think I was ever... I mean, Anna says that I was the popular type. I, I don't think that I am. I would say I'm the notorious type. Notorious in the sense that I was a really, really weird kid. And I'm still a weird kid. And so... People wind up finding out the weird out about the weird shit that I do, and they're just like, "Wow, this kid's really weird." But I like to be weird. In high school, it was actually in middle school. In middle school, it started with me chatting with all the upperclassmen and just kind of making a fool of myself in front of them. And while those upperclassmen, those eighth graders, were just like, "Dude, you're so stupid. Like, stop talking to us." I'd be like, "Stop talking. That gives me more reason to talk to you because clearly you're getting annoyed, and I just want to annoy you." And so I'd do things like find objects and scream into them. Or I'd take my shoe off and I'd put it against my ear and pretend that I'm talking to my mother. This was this was young middle school of me. I've since refined since then. I no longer use shoes to talk to people. I use bananas, like most people do. I use my cell phone to talk to people, like most people do. I no longer attempt to annoy people who are older than me just to annoy them. Instead, I just kind of get their attention. And attention's enough. We don't need bother. But like, if you've pissed me off, I will bother you in retaliation. That's my that's my defense mechanism. That's what I will do. My wit and ability to, I guess, I, I say ability as, it's, as if it's something that not everybody can do. I, I mean, everybody can do this if you just, I guess, practice it a bit. I had a I had a whole time in my life where it was all about if I don't learn to use my words as a weapon as much as it is as a defense, then people will continue to use their words against me and make me feel bad because bullying is not very fun. So while everybody else was using their words as daggers, I was attempting to like make my words into shields, so to speak, in that analogy. Although they're not just shields for they're not just shields for defensive maneuvers. They're shields for offensive maneuvers, too. Like, they're shields with the spikes on the end of them. I like to call that wit. That's what I call wit. I'm not sure if other people call it wit. Some people would just call it me being an asshole, I guess. But, uh, to, to each their own. To some, it may seem like that. But, uh, you know. 
When somebody's du when somebody's duped you in life, don't you want to like get your way anyway? I don't know. If somebody's conning me, I'd rather con them back. A little bit of retaliation, or just let things go. I don't know. I think there's a, there's a lot more context that I'm leaving out of the situation here. And I would say like, oh, for the most part, but no, not really for the most part. Oh, I need to get them real close to each other. Oh. Again. Did I get them both? I did it. Yeah, like I feel I feel it's got a lot to do with the situation. Like like I, I, let's do a very oddly specific example, right? If somebody were selling me or trying to um, convince me that they're a celebrity. Let, let, let's say you walk into a bar and you find this one guy, right? And this one guy is just like, hey, I am this person who's really, really powerful. Like, I am the top dog around this town. And me being a newbie to this bar might be like, oh, okay, well, I guess I'll just take your word for it because I haven't met anybody else who's calling themselves the top dog. So, uh, fine. For the purpose of this conversation, you are top dog. But for all I know... Let's take another scenario where I actually know who Top Dog is. I know who Top Dog is. Like, I know the owner of this bar or something like that. So I could be like, oh, oh, you're Top Dog, all right, are you? Okay, well, clearly. Um, so you own this place? Yeah, yeah, I own this place. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, really, and maybe I know about something that's going on. Like, I've used my knowledge of the situation to kind of, like, kind of make them seem like a fool of themselves. I guess this example wasn't really that good. I don't really know. Or uh, maybe I'll say something like, uh, I don't know. Oh, I heard you were selling the place. Selling the place? No, I'm not selling the place. Like, oh, then what's this What's this under new ownership thing? I don't know. This this in example is kind of falling apart. Um, anyway. But yeah, kind of calling somebody else out on their BS, on their, on their bullshit. Like, I feel like I could do that. Yeah, just mess around with them. That's how I do it. Yeah, exactly. See, I, I like to think that, see how they would respond. And obviously, like, this is, this is as a defense mechanism. This is not something that I would use, like, I wouldn't just, I wouldn't just, like, dig up dirt on somebody just to mess around with them like that. Although, maybe I'm trying to, like, tr maybe you're trying to, like, sample the waters a little bit. Maybe you want to know, like, oh, like, you don't know enough about this person and you don't know whether or not you can talk politics for them. So maybe you'll drop something political as you're talking to them and they get really, really, like, antsy about it. Then you can at least know, like, okay, politics, not something we talk about with this person, for instance. Like, I would imagine is, like, using that as a way to test the waters. Which, I don't think that's inherently, like, I don't think that's defensive. I don't think that's offensive. That's just informative. I guess it's a little bit of sleuthing work going on there. Uh, it's more for your insight of, like, how you talk to this person in the future, if you talk to them in the future. Maybe to be able to influence the conversation going forward. And I suppose some people would call that... I don't know. I just feel like some people would call that manipulation, but I feel like manipulation has a really, really bad, like negative connotation to it. So I wouldn't consider it manipulation unless you were actually trying to do some sort of harm or attempting to bring some response out of somebody that they otherwise wouldn't necessarily do. But then again, how is that not like persuasion, for example? Have I done anything new in the game? Eh, not really. I did the, um, the fruit shards events that just happened. And I did, I tried out Wind Trace, the, uh, the prop hunt game, which was, which was pretty cool. I like that. I'm just trying to get myself all the way up to, uh, um, try to get myself up to rank 35 so I can, adventure rank 35 so I can continue on with my, uh, world missions. Aloha, Fatui, man. Yeah. When you talk about, huh, an all, and she doesn't back off immediately, you know that maybe something she's interested. Exactly. Exactly. No. 35 is the is your favorite quest. Uh, which one is that? Actually, I could probably just look at it. But I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. I think I know that the version 1.5 came out with like a new uh, story quest thing that I want to say that was really, really cool. And I think the level for that might have been 35. I don't remember. I was talking with my friends about it and I don't remember what level they mentioned it to be. I know the... Ooh, yeah, I, I don't know the quest spot number. <laughs> I certainly don't. The Zhang quest. Uh, can I open this? Do I have the right things? I do not have a Shrine of the Death's Key. I need more. Making my way to Li Wei. Zhang quest. I know the last quest that I did, I think, was... Um, the last quest that I did was uh, the one with uh, Zhang Li, where um, you're kind of... I might be getting two of them mixed up. I know you meet Zhang Li for the first time, and then there's another one, maybe the same one, where you're talking about... Um, 
basically buying up the, all the core lapis and whatnot not for Chang the Ninth. And the only reason I know the characters is because I literally just did this, like, a couple weeks ago. That was the last main quest that I did. So, um... It's a story quest where you use the purple key for it. Purple key. Alright, cool. Then I don't know that one yet, I guess. Because I don't think I have a purple key. Or do I have a purple key? Dust I have a purple key. Well, let's check. Dust I have the purple key in my inventory. I don't believe I do. No. Okay. So I'm not there yet. That's level 35, I guess. That's the next one. But yeah, I've just been trying to find, like, what's the best way to gain, like, adventure rank levels in this? That's what you get for commissions. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Because I've been trying to figure out how to go up in adventure rank as much as possible. And it seems like doing your daily quests, logging on daily, obviously. Um, let's see. Doing missions and quests, as well as fighting bosses and stuff. It's, I, I'm guessing also, like, the bounties or the reputation in the cities as well. We'll probably do it. Oh, are you treasure hoarders? Yeah, you're treasure hoarders. Yeah, I was meaning to come after y'all. I was needing that. If you go to quest, then the bottom should say story quests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's in the quest. It's a uh, thing of above. In there. Are there story quests other than the... Hold on one moment. Let's check that. I see world quests. I think my... Oh, oh, archon quests are at the top. Unlocking quests? Oh, these are... Oh, not those things. Yeah, I'm not... Oh, you have to get the key. Oh, I have them there. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I haven't yet gotten that one. Ah, uh, okay. I forgot about those. I was gonna say, I thought I was adventure rank locked out on those. I completely forgot those were the thing. Well, now I know that. Well, I'll just do that after I do my, uh... I'll do that after I do my purple quests. Gosh, thanks for reminding me of that. Nice, I completely forgot. I think I was under the impression that I wasn't at the right level for that, which is why I just never checked back, but apparently the level I needed to be at, I think, was 32, I guess. It was probably 32. Nice. I'm gonna do that next. Sweet! I can't wait. I can't wait for more fun. More fun and more missions. Getting, like, a little hot in here. I feel like it's getting warm in my apartment. I don't know. I can never tell if it's, like, actually me getting warm. Like, just me. Or if the actual apartment is getting warm. Because I genuinely can't tell. Or you know what it actually might be? It might actually be that I'm hungry. Because my tummy is getting a little growly. So I think I'll do that. I think I'll complete this quest. I'll get my daily commission stuff. And then I'll make a sandwich. And then I'll do a world quest. That's what I'll do. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And just like I did last time, I'll just make my sandwich. I'll just go grab my ingredients on quick break, make a queue up some more tea for myself, and I'll just make, I'll just make it on camera. That's what I'll do. There's no need to deprive y'all of the beautiful sandwich making. A sub sandwich? No, not a sub sandwich. I don't have the right rolls for a sub sandwich. Let's make dishes. This one is a wonderful dish. Universal, universal peace. Beautiful. Let's make a bunch of those. Perfect cooking. Let's cook, cook as many as I can. Oh, I can only cook three. Oh, because I don't have as much uh, lotus blossoms. I should buy some more of those in, uh, some more of those in Liwa. Uh, this one needs... Oh, I ate bow, but I, I need to save my chilies. I need to save my chilies for my, up, for my ascension. Same thing for that. This one's fine. Northern apple stew? Northern apple stew. Yo, it's great. This character, Diana. Diona? I don't... I haven't checked yet, but uh, she's a bartender. She does the shaky shakes. Love it. I'm enthused about that. Uh, more healing items. Uh, it needs more chili. Uh, can I have more chili? Yeah, yeah, jelly. I like jelly. Da 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 da. Give me some more jellies. Gimme, 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 gimme jellies. Gimme, gimme jellies. Gimme, gimme jellies. Gala gala la la jellies, jellies. Which is weird, cause like I don't know how you're making jelly from this, cause I'm pretty sure with jelly, jelly you need gelatin, and there's no gelatin in this dish. But I, uh, you know, let's not be a stickler about actual game mechanics. There's no need. I thought I switched to you already. Cook manually. That'd be an easy one. There we go. And I should probably make some more ingredients in the background. Oh, look, I made flour. That's cool. Oh, no, no, no. I want to obtain. <laughs> Big follows For real? Oh my god, there's a ton of them. Whoa, what? That's crazy. I've never seen two at once before. 
Uh, dun, 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 dun. Get out of here, y'all. I don't want your follows. And let's do the other one. <laughs> Get out of here. Be gone, bots. We don't need you. I don't need you. I don't even want you here. If you're not going to contribute to the chat in a constructive manner, I don't want you here. If you're not going to contribute to the good vibes, then I don't want it. I'm not into that. I made some more sugar. I made cheese. Oh, cool. I have cheese. Let's make more uh, sugar. I wish it were easier for me to, like, click on a name and just, like, get rid of, just ban the peoples from the chats, but I have to type it in manually, which is kind of annoying. Oh, have a wonderful night there, Game Fists. Thanks again for the server allocation, by the way. I appreciate that. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. La 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 la. A little, a little sing song you riff to send you off. Oh, hey there, everybody. Little, little rock slimes. Little rock slimus. The ones who do the slimes and the slimus. Uh, let's just swirl them. Swirling's always a wonderful, wonderful thing. The wonderful thing about swirlings are swirlings are wonderful things. Perhaps. Oh. You're without my we're within not within my pole arm range. And that's unfortunate. Come be within my pole arm range! I'll slice you. I need it. Oh, that's a big old chest. I would fight you, dear slime thing. Uh but I won't. I'm not gonna touch that. I, I don't want it. I don't want it. Don't want to fight big old slime monster. Ooh, but I do want to fight the treasure hoarders. This one I'd like. Hey, you notice me too. Notice me! Come down here and also notice me. Oh wow, you set fire. That's pretty cool. Let's do this and everybody- No, why'd you throw it that way? I mean, I guess that's okay. Oh, that's not as fire as I wanted it to be. I mean, everybody's swirling, so it's it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And then we stab you. Stabby, 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 stabby. Okie dokie. Continuing on to the commission area. I have to talk to Shito. Shito? Shito. That's what I have to do back at, uh, at the harbor. I just gotta talk to someone? Alright. I hope it's not like... I was gonna say, I hope it's not long and drawn out. <laughs> but even if it is... <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. Whether it's long and drawn out or not, I am still going to do it. I am still going to participate in the in the daily quest. Do, 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 do. Actually, you know what I should do? Um, let me go back to the quest menu. Quest menu? Oh, quest menu. That's not... Yes, it is. Uh, unlocking quests. I want to claim my key. Claim my key. I have three keys. I can only have three. Oh, okay. Completely forgot those keys were purple, too. And that they were keys to begin with. Oh, wow! Nice! I just got a YouTube notification for, uh... There's this guy I also watch on YouTube. He's the unemployed wine guy. He's pretty funny. He does, like, short, like, reviews on things and whatnot. But he just released a video on reviewing a liqueur called Mr. Black. And I am a big fan of Mr. Black, actually. And uh, I actually just recently bought some more the other day, so I'm happy. I want to see what his kind of review is. I'm very curious to see what other people's opinions are on it. Very, very good. I know there are a couple other notifications I got, too, from uh, my buddy, my buddy Lycos Lore. Just released another video today, which is actually wonderful. Speaking of which, my bo both my buddies, Lycos Lore and DJez, both are having birthdays today. So, uh, happy birthday to you both. I know you're not here to see it, but, like, happy birthday to Lycos, Laura, and DJs. Good buddies of mine. I can't, I get to see, uh, I know, uh, DJs a little far away. So, uh, I can't really go visit him feasibly. But, uh, Lycos, Laura's pretty close by, so I'm gonna go visit him this weekend. It'll be a good time. Give my buddy his pre- Actually, I already gave my buddy his present. I bought him a microphone. His sexy voice. That's because of me. 
because I gave him a beautiful microphone to be able to capture it. Well, maybe his sexy voice isn't my fault, but but the fact that we can all hear it for what it really is now, yeah. Excuse me, sir. Try your luck on a stone today, sir. This could be your lucky day, sir. Go on, then. Excellent decision, sir. I'm sure you won't regret it, sir. Fortune favors the bold, sir. By the looks of you, sir. You have nothing to be concerned about, sir. Over here, please. Sir. Alright. We have an extraordinary wide selection of raw stones here at the Jade Mastery. One can find oneself a little overwhelmed if one is to peruse the entire collection. So I've taken the liberty of sorting them first for your convenience. Might I inquire as your budget? Um. Big. The most discerning of you, sir. <laughs> Not every new customer appreciates that. One must sow generously in order to reap generously. I suppose so. Over here, if you would, please. Those are the most exquisite stones in our collection. Please peruse them at your leisure. I'm sure they will stand up to scrutiny. Once you decide which of them you are most partial to, please inform me and I will be delighted to do the honors. Okay. Oh, they just kind of warped. Each person has their own method of assessing a raw stone's value. Some rely on pure intuition. They know the stone they want as soon as they lay eyes on it. Others prefer to examine each stone in detail. Far be it for me to presume which message will work best for you. It is up to you whether to take a closer look or simply go with your gut. Um, I want the blue one. I like that. And you're back! You had to step away for a few seconds, but that's okay. It's only a few seconds of the whole grand scheme of things. It could have been years. In which case, perhaps I'd miss you. You led me to believe there was the... Indeed, I did all our stones are responsibly... Oh, bad stones? Are there bad stones? Promising looking, ultimately disappointing stone once in a while. Please don't lure heart. Let me take a look for you. If you like to keep trying, we can continue on. I'll calculate how much you're owed at the end. Go another round? Sure, I guess. Whatever. I want the red one. Now I want the red one. 600 Mora. Yes, again. Let's let's do it. A little nice quality stone. Nice quality stone for your pal. I guess they're all random now, so I guess I want to take a closer look. Oh, wait. A oh, one of them looks the shiniest. Oh, I feel like it's the red one. It looks the shiniest to me. That's what I feel. That's my gut. Open the one on the red white cloth. Of course. Yes. It's shiny. My goodness, there's Jade in there. Is the trick perhaps to find the one that's shiniest? Because that's what it seems. That was pretty good. How exactly did I know? Who cares? Give me my thing. Take this. Until next time. Lord help me. How could I have missed that? Did I do it? Oh, friendship levels increased with sucrose. Yay. Awesome. Now I can go collect my uh, adventure rank rewards. Uh, it's over here. Probably. Yes, there you are. There's the adventure guild. Adventure guild thing, whatever. Person, peoples is... Hello, Catherine. You get an achievement for getting it on the first try. Well, I'll have to get it again next time. Next time. Next time. Why can't I talk to you? Oh, because my co-op mode's currently on. I, I should, uh... That's what I gotta do. Uh, I gotta leave. There we go. Now I can talk to Cat. No, can I not? Come on. Oh, that was the leave button. Oh, I click, click in. Yeah, return to single player. That's the button I wanted to click. Back in single player mode. For now. Catherine, hello. Adventurous Gill. Commission rewards, yes. Thank you, Catherine. And 500 adventure experience. Coolio. Yeah. Okay, so I've done that. So now I'm going to take a quick break to fill up my tea. Um, grab some sandwich making things. And then I'll do that. So, uh, break time. Be back in a little bit. whether pyroslime tastes better with salt and pepper or garlic and herbs.
And I'm back once again. I see that my dear is topped in chat. She says I've got this. I've got this. Well, this will be the toughest challenge of all. I'm making myself a sandwich. So what I will do first... It's very simple. There's not a lot of work. It's a very simple sandwich. You see? Very, very simple sandwich. It's a very simple sandwich, you see. First one I'm going to do is take some bread. Obviously. Two pieces of bread. Just regular bread are just fine. Whatever's regular to you, I guess. Um, I got 100% whole wheat bread. And go with it. And go with it. Oh, well, and hello to Neko as well. Hello there. Oh, these are really weird pieces of bread. Really funky looking. A little misshapen. But that's okay. We like misshapen. It's okay to be misshapen. Oh, that's garbage. That's cool. You popped in at just the right time. I'm making myself a sandwich. Keeping myself all nice and, um... I don't know. Nice and fed, I guess. Because if I don't keep myself fed, who will? I mean, Anna makes dinner a lot. But I'm in charge of dinner tonight. We got some pasta stuff that we're making for dinner tonight, and I'm very much looking forward to it. Now I'm going to put cheese on both sides of the bread. This is the, this is the boring part. Y'all probably already know how to make a sandwich, but I figure... There's conversation to be had, so I came back. I came back indeed. I've got Gouda cheese. It's just regular... It's just regular Gouda cheese. It's fine. It's pretty good. Once upon a time, I got myself a nice smoked Gouda from the store. Oh, that was... Lovely. I put my cheese on both sides of the bread. Now our sandwich looks like that. Oh, Anna, you're going out to lunch. <gasps> Where are you going for lunch? Are you going to bring some back for me? You want to bring me back some coffee? <gasps> I love that. And Neko's on the grind for your Alvi Manic Gear. Wow. Does that mean, by by nature of the fact that it's called the the Manic Gear... Oh, AO, AOE? AOV? AOV. AOV. I imagine you have to do a bunch of the rounds on Manic in order for you to get that. I imagine that must be the case. Anyway, now I'm going to put some ham on it. What, what kind of ham we got here? What kind of ham we got? Hillshire Farm. Honey. Low sodium. It's good for the blood. I love the way ham tastes. I also like the way salami tastes. But... It's, you know, Salami and I really aren't on speaking terms right now. Gotta suck up all the ham juices. Alright, and actually, there's one more ingredient that I didn't grab. I want to see if there's any romaine lettuce in the fridge. So I'm actually gonna go grab that. I'm gonna grab my romaine lettuce. You have to do one raid 50 times, another... Oh, in 50? Oh my god, another like 30, and then it's 17. Oh my god. The grind is real! The grind is very real! With enough dedication, I know you will succeed. Do I have the lettuce in here? Oh no, there's no romaine lettuce in the fridge. There's no greens for me to put upon my sandwich. All right, that's where we're, that's the sandwich, I guess. That's the sandwich. It's just a it's just a ham and cheese sandwich. Very classic ham and cheese sandwich. I'll just put the two pieces of bread on top of each other. Bam. Whoa, ham and cheese sandwich. Bam a lamb. Ham and cheese sandwich. Bam a lamb. Ham and cheese sandwich, bam a lamb. Ham and cheese sandwich, bam a lamb. Well, now I have that. Sweet. Your brain's gonna be a little fried. Yeah, I get that. Probably gonna be a lot of patience, <laughs> being able to go through those and do that all of it. Why, hello there, Millie View. How are you this fine, wonderful day? I just made myself a sandwich. So I'm very happy. Yep. That's satisfying. For my enjoyment. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna check that out earlier. No. There we go. Oh, yeah, camera mode. There we go. I take pictures so I can remind myself of later. Bit tired. Fine. I'm hoping I enjoy this sandwich too. I'm really much enjoying it so far. So much so. That I've gotten distracted from what I was doing. Um. So now I'm doing... Apparently there's more quests I can do. Story, actual story quests. Because I'm at the right level now. So I'm going to unlock one of these. Trifolium. Chapter. Act 1. I'll unlock the quest for Klee. I've unlocked the quest for Klee. 
Hangout event's not unlocked for any of these guys. Aww. Unlock those. Oh, unlock criteria. I need two. I need two of those in my thing. Ah, eh, whatever it is. I can do it now. I can do Trifolium. It's so cool. Okay, we're heading, making our way back to Mondstadt. Awesome. Who's Mondstadt's uh, strongest fighter? What is that clip of anyway? Oh, it's of the pain. The three striking goal. Nice. I love watching the clips of the, the streamers that I watch. I, I love watching my clips, but I also love watching the clips of everybody else's. It's just so... It's like those... Like, some streams are really fun, but, like, those clips are able to, like, like, distill those fun moments into, like, a single point and a single little digestible bite. I gotta go that way. Is there not a gotcha system anymore? Oh, there totally is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I do, I do, I do. I have a lot of red notifications. Oh, do I? I never noticed. Oh, I've got some notices, apparently. Oh, let's take care of those. Event notifications. Win trace. I should probably read these sometime. And uh, I got another achievement. Yeah, awesome. Uh, a couple of them. Meetings in the Out Realms. Let's grab. Nope. Oh, oh, okay. Grab that one. Oh, what was that? I, I didn't read it that time either. Jeez. Challenger! Extreme Gardening! Yeah. I still don't know what a Corolla is. But apparently I hit the Registine in the Corolla or something. Whatever that means. All right, let's, uh, let's make our way to this monster. Who knows what we'll find? Eh, actually, I'm going to teleport. I'm going to teleport over the monster. I'm going to do that this time. Not necessarily because I'm on a ca... A ca ugh. Not necessarily because I'm on a time crunch or anything. It just so happens that I do have... Some, I have a meeting to go to at 3.30, so if I want to get as much... Distilled as much action distilled into the stream as possible. I may have to do some bouncing around Oh look at that it is in the top right Probably because I have some um, yeah, I got more profile things Eh, I'll take care of it later Sometimes I can be so bothered by the fact that there are notifications there, but when it comes to Discord... When it comes to Discord, I don't want that red dot there. But, like, I guess I don't really care in this game. Hey, pal. What's up? <sighs> Shame I only get to listen in from the other side of the window and don't get to join... I recognize your voice, Patton. To give my two cents. Oh, what are you... So, what's going on here? Paimon does. Recently, all the customers at the tavern have been debating the exact same topic. Who is the strongest fighter in Mondstadt? Well, it's me, obviously. The strongest fighter? Yeah, I'm the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Must be someone who can floor a whole gang of hilly turtles with just one punch. Yeah, probably. Wow. Oh, is that Mizuki coming back? It is. I wonder, can I allow them to be here with the... If I accept it... Maybe after the dialogue happens. There we go. We'll try that. to come to a swift and straightforward consensus in the city of freedom is like expecting fisherman's toast to drop out of the sky. Would fisherman's toast not pop out of the sky? Are you implying perhaps that they it wouldn't? Information. But let's be honest. That's what makes the discussion so Cuz I would think it would pop out of the sky. If somebody were to drop it. With most people supporting one of two candidates. One is the Dandelion Knight. Dandelion Knight? Is the Dark Knight hero. It's one of these, Diluc. I, I feel like I feel like one of these is definitely Diluc. I think he was the Dark Knight the last time. Juicy Juicy Gossip. I do envy your life of leisure. But don't mind me, of course. I guess I'll just Get back to work. Get back to work, then. Mm. Oh, it seems that they were able to successfully join. Why, hello again! And then things happen. Now things happen. Okay, so now... Can I still actually talk to you? The Dawn Winery Recruitment Guide. Oh boy, look at this. To the battle-hardened connoisseurs of fine wines and fighting arts, the fine wines meticulously brewed at, brewed at the Dawn Winery have always quenched people's thirst for the finest liqueur. Furthermore, the tax revenues generated by the winery alone amounted to 11.4% of the annual expenditure. Why, why am I reading this? 
I don't want to do this. Uh, I guess I can't do this one in co-op. It seems not. It seems not. Uh, allow me to pass on the message and whatnot. Hello again. Hello again. Seems like this story quest. Don't allow this to... Don't allow the co-ops. Allow the co-ops. That's okay. Eventually I'll like wind up completing the quest anyway, so... And then after... Maybe... Probably not today. Probably not today. But, um... Of course, another time. I will always be working on story quests and whatnot. Thanks so much for joining me earlier, though, Synergy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could always... Uh, I, I probably... Like I said, I probably won't be today. I think... I'll see as far as I get with the story quest. And then, uh, then we'll see about that. <laughs> too easy, too easy. We'll see about that. We shall see, we shall see, we shall see. Back to the single player mode. You need any help, I can ask ARP as well. ARP is always there for support. Thank you. Thank you all for your assistance. Oh, I see, I, I see. It just pops me back in, that's crazy. <laughs> It's interesting how as, as soon as the co-op mode is over, it just kind of pops you back into the mission. I feel like the story, like the, the Genshin story quest just looks like, oh, are you two done with your moment? Oh, okay, then we'll, we'll get back to it. <laughs> I'm working on your other region account. How are you being, how are you able to play um, the different regions and whatnot? Is there a way to switch that in the game? And are there different, like, are there different uh, banners for the different regions too? Do you like as a VPN or something? That's how I would do it, if I had to guess. Oh, we already did this one. Mm. Oh, one account for all the regions. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Maybe hey, we already read this. Now time to go to the winery. True treasure. Trifolium chapter. Act one. True treasure. Let's go inside. We'll find who the strongest warrior of Mondstadt is. I feel like the Dark Knight is Diluc and maybe the Dandelion, whatever. Is somebody next? I'm not really sure. Uh, you're too easy to talk to. I'm going to talk to somebody else. Hi, Cyrus of the Adventurer's Guild. This is probably an unrelated quest, is it? When that storm from before had just happened, the knights in the Adventurer's Guild sprang into action. But as we were busy with evacuation and rescue work, it seems as though some treasure hoarders managed to sneak in amid the chaos. These thieves took advantage of that moment when we were stretched thin and managed to steal quite a few things around the city. Carrots from the Dawn Winery, Philanimo mushrooms from Springvale, a stack of silverware from the Goth Grand Hotel. Huh, they even stole some of the food stock from the Good Hunter's Larder. If it's not nailed down, these bandits will take it. Why, if this storm hasn't hadn't subsided so quickly, I doubt there'd be anything left to monster to steal. We've got enough hands on deck again, but looking for those who may those things may be proved very difficult. The speed at which they flee with their loot is only surpassed by their visibly defense it. Still, we must make them pay. Honorary Knight, if you're willing, would you like to have a little chat with those treasure hoarders? Sure, buddy. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Fine answer. Yeah, alright. Thanks, Cyrus. Oh, for example, if your main is North America and you want to play on in the European Union, you just have to exit then switch region, but you will have to start from the beginning again from level one. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense indeed. Who? Message board for employers and job seekers? What's on that board? Applicants will leave a short self-introduction, career interest, and contact information and write down stuff like that. Every recruitment message posted here for the Mondstadt brand is for the Adventurer's Guild. <laughs> nice. You play on EU, Asian, uh, Asia, and twi Taiwan. Awesome. Is there certain benefits to playing on the different servers and whatnot? Oh, guess there's nothing. Oh, I want to talk to you, you Jack. That's who I want to talk to, you. Hey, Jack. I'm doing some adventurous training. I gotta wonder. Like, I think you mentioned something about the banner characters. So I'm guessing the banner characters may be different, or perhaps some of the drops. Who's the strongest fighter in Mondstadt, huh? And I don't know, can you actually... You can't exchange, um... Items between accounts, right? I don't think you can. So they're all in the same banner, okay. So then I gotta wonder what the difference is. I don't think you could move things between accounts either. Huh. The heck is a Marjavari? It's a beast. I'd beat it for a pulp. 
I beat it up. Pam pam. Hmm. Good point, because with the time zones and stuff, you can experience things sooner than other people would. Hi. Uh, the strongest. Like, how early did you get access to the events and stuff on, I guess, the other servers? That's pretty cool. I don't remember exactly when I got access to any of this stuff. Grandmaster Genus Oh my god, Bruce, you're drunk. About the three hilly trill tribes at Dada Upa Gorge, all by herself. Dada Upa. Honestly, I would not have expected to pronounce it that way. Dada Upa. I'd be like the Dalpa. The Dalpa. The Dalpa Gorge. Meanwhile, this guy is drunk as a skunk. Maybe Gene is the dandelion knights. Maybe Master Gene is the dandelion knight. Hey, amigo. What's up, buddy? You want to hear my latest composition? I put my whole heart into it. You guess you get in ahead of time. Taiwan and Asia are like a day or so ahead of North America. All right. All right. I suppose for for somebody who play play excuse me for somebody who plays rather often. It's rather convenient to kind of like kind of you're always on the edge of your seat so any any more information you can gleam about what's coming next is like it's like fuel for your fire that's how i would imagine it to be i i can't imagine jose what happened i witnessed the most powerful destructive force i have ever seen in my life and what was it it completely changed the whole landscape in that part of the mountains an earthquake yeah. I was hiding behind a bush and I saw this little girly in red clothing running into the distance, leaving a trail of destruction in her wake. That's Clee. That must be Clee. I don't know if that's small. That's that small little red girly. I know that from the from the little banner over the um the mission. It's got to be Clee. Has to be Clee. Maybe she's the dandelion knight. You know what I think? I think she has Perhaps it's Diluc versus Clee. Maybe even the most powerful treasure in all of Mondstadt. Like, like powerful treasure? treasure? Treasure, you say? Did Paimon imagine no. that, or did you hear it too? I heard treasure. Just a guess. I mean, just as I didn't really know. It's a bard's razor sharp intuition. Oh, is that what it is? Razor sharp intuition. Is that so? How can you say such a thing? So... Arps also got another weapon and character What's that. Her name? You have not uh, on your I, main region. Oh, interesting. Oh, have... other weapons and stuff for different regions. That's pretty cool. Hey, I'm telling the truth. I did not realize that. Me. Like which weapons, if I may ask? Like I want to be able to find, like, I'm going to wind up going onto the wiki later during my meeting and looking at the different types of weapons that you can only get in certain regions to satisfy my curiosity. What'll it be today? Charles, what about you? Tell me who the strongest is. I, don't pay I bet you're gonna say Diluc. Sort of huh. had some kind of special information sources. Exactly. That's what Paimon was getting at. <laughs> I have no involvement in any intelligence gathering operation. But if you made me pick someone, it would be the Dark Knight hero. Dark Knight hero. I've heard some stories about him. Apparently. Oh, the same the weapons for all the main, the for all the regions. You just, just have it on your main account. Clears things up. That's pretty, that's pretty nice though, I think, the fact that all the regions are actually the same and they offer the same benefits and whatnot, just at different times. Because I feel like, I'd, like, if I were really, really intent on, like, 100%ing things or whatnot, I'd just make myself go crazy if the different regions had different things that you'd have to, like, work your way up towards every single one of them. Like I don't like I don't like the concept of region locking. Not not a fan. I suppose like some things would be more relevant in one region or versus versus the other, but like I don't know. I feel like everyone should have access to it. It might maybe it's maybe it's harder. Maybe app implement something that makes it a little harder for you to get the regional stuff, but not like outright impossible. Unless it's a licensing thing. If it's a licensing thing, then I suppose I have to understand that. But like you got Zhao. And Mona on the Asia server, but don't have them on the main server. All right. I mean, yeah, I guess that all depends. You get more polls over there, I guess. You get more opportunities for more polls, so some of them will get some, and some of them will just get others. I got to go to the Knights of Favonius, apparently. Go tell them about what I've discovered. About the strongest fighters in Mondstadt.
Interesting how, um... I lost my train of thought. <laughs> yeah, interesting how I, tra I lose my trains of thought all of a sudden. I was thinking about something. What was I thinking about? I was thinking of Dawn Winery and the Knights of Favonius. I wish I knew what a Favonian was. Still wish I knew what a Favonian was. Speaking of wines, I was actually just looking at a couple of very interesting wines the other day on the internet. I'm, uh, I'm also, I, I mentioned before, I'm getting together with a couple of my buddies this weekend. And we were looking into what we should wind up getting for each other to uh, to kind of hang out and what kind of drinks we want to imbibe. And we found this really interesting, I think this is an urban winery, I think, have like these really, really interesting dessert wines that one says it's flavored like a lollipop, one's flavored like cotton candy, one's flavored like peanut butter and jelly. And to me, it just sounds like it's not going to be that good but like i want to satisfy my curiosity nonetheless strongest fighter in monster and i think they actually ship here to pennsylvania i cannot help i do not have any relevant documentation on that topic why wouldn't you gene you've got a whole freaking library i was hoping he would at least make the top five oh I'm not one of the top. The I'm not one of the top strongest people in Mondstadt. That That's okay. I can. I can just barely lift myself off the ground. So. I'll take it. The Abyss Order's mages has been active near the city, although he is keeping a low profile. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, let him keep a co low profile. I'm gonna wind up fighting him well, and killing, him, beating him to a pulp. It's just gonna wind up happening. That's what happens with all of these abyss mages. They apparently cannot be allowed to live. I was gonna say, is there actually a ranking table? There's no ranking table. It's a social, it's a social pecking order. If I just keep doing good things, people will just notice. It is infectious, but be careful out there. Sure. Master Jean, are you implying that I haven't shown myself to be capable already to be able to accomplish these goals? Hm. I guess we're gonna go fight things now. Oh, hello. It's Klee. It must be. She is small and red. And has a bunch of scrolls. <laughs> what an interesting insignia upon your thing. <laughs> what a camera angle. I, I'm fine. I'm not hurt. Sorry for bumping into you. Oh, uh, it's no problem, young lad. Hey, look. Young lass. <laughs> hey, look! I uh, oh, I can read that. Explosion inside city wall. Grounded by the whoa. Explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. Monstat be bombed. Klee be doomed. Monstat's gonna be bombed. There's Monstat, there's a bomb threat. Everybody out of the city. No, but apparently y'all aren't taking that very seriously. So. Inside city wall. <gasps> are you? Explosions are you planning for the destruction of Monstat? Monstat be bombed. Cleavy Doomed? Yikes! Mr. Kaya wrote these down for me. Um, they're, um, survival rules. Survival what? rules? Y yeah. Rules that I must absolutely never break under any circumstances. Otherwise, rule number one terrible would happen. Don't bomb Monstan. <laughs> yep. Ah, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Klee. And I am Cameron. It is an absolute and pleasure Paimon's to meet you. Name is... Well, Paimon. I've heard all about you guys. You're the honorary knight who helps Mondstadt. That's correct. Oh. You're absolutely what? correct. Honorary what? knight. Still waking up, waiting on my complimentary Dawn Winery uh, wine bottle. My monthly stipend to continue oh, me going. Oh. Not, not to drink, of course, but to resell to other people. I go between here and Leeway a lot, so it'd be a pretty penny. What's wrong there, young one? Or rather, small one? I don't know how old you are. You could be like 2,000 years old. That just tends to be a thing in anime. Did you say buried treasure? <gasps> buried treasure! Yes, please. Are you a pirate? Mm-hmm. Here, 
here's where the map says the treasure should be. I put a circle around it. <laughs> I also put a wooden sign in the ground at the place where I buried it to make it easier to find. Gonna be a dig location. I'm starting to understand how this treasure went missing so easily. Come right? Because there's a tiny little sign there and nobody's gonna be able to find it. Let's go, honorary knight. Where are we going? Where could the treasure be? You know, it'd be interesting. I'd be interested to see if that sign is up in Dragon Spine because there it looks like there's a dig area up there that can't be digged. No, it's apparently close by. Well, a man can hope. A Cameron can hope, I suppose. Like, there is definitely a dig spot up there. It looks, I mean, it looks like a dig spot. For all I know, it's not actually a dig spot. And, oh, I just remembered. I didn't buy any more ingredients from uh, Liwe. So I'll buy some over here. Hey, well, what are you selling? Can I buy sugar from you? What else can I buy from you? Salt. I have a lot of salt. But I could use more salt. Nah, now's not the time. I'll spend my mora elsewhere. I'm always winding up spending all of my mora on food and stuff. Because I need more items. Was I making anything with you, Wagner? Um... Was I? I'm just checking this. It appears that I wasn't. Can I make anything? No. <gasps> That's alright then. Making our way outside, Mondstadt. I have Changi in my inventory? How did that happen? I didn't mean to do that. How did I get Changi in my inventory? Who was there? It was Sucrose who was there. Why'd you switch? I want Sucrose back. Give me back my sucrose. I can do it. Did I switch that on my own? I don't know if I did that. That was weird. My sound just read really weird. Is anybody else experiencing that? Oh, did one of my... No, I can still hear that. I don't know. Something might have gone odd with the audio just a moment there. And if it did, let me know, because I heard it on my end, but I'm not sure if anybody else heard it on their end. It, like, went a little high-pitched for a moment. If you heard that, my sincerest apologies. I have no idea what happened. Let's see if it's back to normal now. Weird. I have no idea what happened. Oh, I have no stamina. That makes sense. There's still more. That's correct. There is still more. There's always more enemies. Oh, uh, maybe not you guys, but I'd be happy to go after the other ones. If y'all just stay back there, you'll have the esteemed opportunity to be able to survive. Which I feel like would be the favorable outcome if you survive and not die. Clear you. Happy. I was gonna say, like, where, where are you? Well, Fraser and Alfredo seem really busy recently. Oh, you know them. So nice. You must not disturb them. Don't disturb Fraser and, and Albedo. Oh, look, a treasure chest. <laughs> that didn't work the way that I wanted to, but it all came to the ground nonetheless. Maybe if I go back up on the surface, then. Find the treasure tre Oh, I have to find the trove specifically. No! I wasn't on top of it! Maybe th is there a tree up there? There's a tree up there that I can use for a little extra distance. If I climb this tree, I'll have enough distance to be able to go get that treasure. That's not the treasure that they're speaking of, I'm sure, but... It's enough treasure for me. Oh, it's probably right there. Yeah, it's, it's covered. It's got a little sign on it for digging. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's exactly what I was expecting it to be. And there's always time for more lamp, lamp grass, too. Click. Investigate. It was glowing. That's pretty cool. What'd we find, Klee? All these slimes bounce around and bounce away. This is the place. So what's there? This is where my huge treasure was buried. And where there's now a huge empty hole in the ground. Hi, Abyss Mage. Oh, wait. Look, who's over there? Abyss Mage. Hey, maybe he's the one 
Dean was warning us about. Oh, he's got a little cute little what ball thing. Can, is it in his hand? Really? Oh, that's the treasure. Mm, I see the little girl has brought her friends with her. Time for a change of plan. You just gonna drop it? If you think you're so tough, get back here and fight. Wouldn't you take the treasure with you? What's an abyss rage? I play in the <laughs> What's an abyss rage? That thing. Don't worry about it. I'll pick up some shrooms and stuff on the way, like the salamander and salamander. Salamander! I want the salamander. Okay, I was not able to grab the salamander. But that's okay. Game's up. Now hand it over. Yeah, don't make me like punch you or something, because I will. You dug it up from the ground. What else did you do? What did you do? I suppose it's fighting t Oh, I see. We're fighting everyone first. I understand. That's what we're doing first. If I use this ability, I can electrify everybody. Swinging you down, swinging you down, swinging you, swinging you down, swinging you down, spear tech. Swinging you down, swinging you down, swing you, swing you, swinging you down, and then electrifying you. That's kind of what we do. Electrifying you. Electrifying you. Let me think for a moment. What is it I have to accomplish later today? I have two other things that I, there are two main things that I need to work on. And that is, one of them is the senior project, and the other one is the bio project. The senior project just needs to put some, we need to verify the hardware. We need to take hardware and put it onto, or we need to take software and put it onto hardware. And I just got the tool working the other night, which was pretty good. It takes a recurrent neural network and turns it into a spiking neural network. And now that that's been converted, we need to see about actually putting it onto a piece of hardware and verifying that it actually works. That's that's the plan, at least. And I don't know if I'm going to work on that later or work on the bio stuff later. The bio stuff involves me kind of just kind of getting code to run. Wait, did I not just do this? Wait, did I not just do this? Did I run out of time or something? I'm, I'm confused. Wait a minute. I just did this. Did it run out of time? Was there a time limit? What just happened? If it gets more than 50 meters away, the quest will be failed. Okay, I'm over here now. Oh, do I have to, like, defeat the enemies in that certain time limit? I guess I... Oh, if it gets away like that. Uh, okay. I see, I see, I see now. Okay. Guess I should have done that a little bit quicker. <laughs> Whoops! Welcome back. Welcome back, welcome back. Uh, apparently, I need to do this a hell, hell of a lot faster. Here, do this. That works for me. <laughs> I didn't realize that thing got, uh, got away from me. I think I was just defeating the slimes, too. Oh, you know what happened? I bet I defeated the slimes, he started running away, and I didn't run after him. That's probably what happened. Because the scene just repeated itself. I was like, what is going on? I'm pretty sure I already did this. I'll pop your bubble. I'll pop your bubbles. Pop your bubbles. Pop, pop your bubbles. Pop your bubbles. Pop your bubbles. And then do shit like that. And then if I chase... I gotta chase it. I gotta chase it. I gotta chase it. That's what I gotta do. Careful, Clee. Don't be no, 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 no. I gotta, I gotta go. I gotta, gotta run after. Yep. Gotta run after you. Can't let you get farther than 50 meters away, apparently. Or if you do, the quest will fail. Ooh, let me take the... I'm like, like hitting you. Hitting you off for some meat. Hey, Abyss Mage, I'm just collecting some meat over here. Don't worry about it. You won't miss me, I'm sure. N next scene? Oh, now... Oh. Freeze! Freeze! Because <laughs> ice ability... What did you do? Hmm? Oh, hello. Very satisfying sandwich, let me tell you. 
I like me a nice full sandwich. Oh, gotta gotta run. Why'd you warp? Oh, if you could have warped this whole time, like. Oh no. Oh, where'd you go? Oh, he's just in this area. Uh, how about in here? Are you in this set of rocks? No. Are you in this set of rocks? <gasps> okay, you weren't there apparently. Uh oh, maybe I have to do this little fire thing. But that's not fire. Fire. Oh, that did a thing. Oh, okay. I just had to turn on the little talisman. That was it. Huh. A gateway to a domain. The must have snuck inside. Then he has no way out. Assuming that domains only have one entrance, which do they? I don't really know. You good, Clee? Why don't you wait here while we get your treasure back for you? Nah, I want to come inside. No, I'm coming yeah. To you. How dare you let me stay out here? That Mr. Fluffball stole, and it's up to me to get it back. Mr. Fluffball. <laughs> don't worry, Clee is a big girl. Come on, Mr. Honor. Not in size. Let's go. Maybe compared to an ant. Oh yeah. Look at that. There is a little entrance. Huh. Time to uh, retrieve the treasure. It is time to retrieve the treasure. So we shall go inside and do that. La, la, la. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. I'm so cute. I'm so small and cute. My goodness. What kind of things can I do with you? I can throw little bombs. Um, thing set on fire. Okay. Oh, I can also, like... Okay, so I can throw little bombs, but I can also do... <gasps> lasers! Clee's got laser beams! Oh, I love laser beams. Laser beam? <laughs> laser beam. Laser beam, laser beam, laser beam. Oh, heck, it's lolly time! I know, right? It's so cute! She throws bombs and can shoot laser beams! Fiery laser beam! Oh, I can throw this thing over there. What? No, no, no. Throw it at the... No, not like that. Here, do, do this. Explosion. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Also, when she runs, she's like... Her top half is trying to catch up with her bottom half. It's so funny. Very comical. I very much enjoy that. I don't think I've ever actually seen anybody run like that. Maybe they're just, maybe she's just top heavy. Like, I, I guess. Like any accomplished 2,000 year old goddess. I was just saying that. Like, you're a little girl in stature, but like, I don't know how old you are. You're probably like 2,000 years old for all I know. Anyway, I have I have better luck with other characters with me. these kind of guys, so I'm gonna go with it. Whack! Absolute whackage. Oh, my hair is getting really itchy. My head is itchy, and consequently, the hair that uh, lies upon it. I'm gonna get my hair cut on Thursday. Get my hair cut tomorrow. I am. Um, I love long hair. I like I like having long hair, don't get me wrong, but I don't like it this long. My hair used to be a whole hell of a lot longer, and it just the maintenance is just like gah. So uh it's been a while since I've gotten my hair cut. So it's time to get a little trim. I'm trying to go back to short haired Cameron again. Be a little more similar to my um my profile my little sprite profile picture. Who's got shorter hair than I do. I don't look like a profile picture, I have to change that. I mean, clearly, I'm also not resolved in this world in less than 16 bits, but alas, that's that's not the only reason why it doesn't look like that. My world is always in UHD or whatever comes after that, whatever is more, whatever is like real life resolution, like oh, infinite resolution. I don't perceive it as such because my eyes don't let me, but you know. I always like to, like to think, in terms of seeing the world in different resolutions, I used to think, or I used to tell myself, by wearing my glasses, I get to see the world in HD, and it kind of does. Because, like, I don't really need glasses, so to speak, but, like, if I wear them, they do help my vision 
rather considerably, especially for long distances. Like, I can make out the buildings in the distance. It's just like, you know, they're not as... The, the edges around them are a little, little bit fuzzy. And if I wear my sunglasses, they're not fuzzy. They're like, very exactly not fuzzy. Exactly like, like, straight and whatnot. Parallel as they should be. There we go, that could be you. Let's see what your ability does. What did that do? Oh. Oh, I have a little turret. Oh my god, I have little turrets! Whoa! I've got lots of lasers! Oh, I love this character! Hey, it was cool! Break down that wall over there. La 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 How did I get frozen? How, how did I get frozen? There was nothing- Oh, there's ice apparently. Oh, the water is icy. Oh, I'm being shot at. That's probably why. Wow, wow. Secret room. Secret room, secret chest, secret room, secret chest, secret room, secret chest. We got a secret room and a secret chest. Yeah. Anyway, um, time to go take care of you. You over there. Yeah, with the ice. You there, with the ice arrows. Why? Why must you do this? Who encourages you to to attack like such? Oh, you drowned. That's cool. That'll happen. Oh, is there something special back here? Is there? It sure seems as though there would be something special back here, but it doesn't appear that there is actually anything back there. Unfortunate. Hmm. Cabbage and meats. Cabbage and meat in a box. Do I get hurt by this laser? Yes, I get hurt by the laser. Good to know. This realm is all about showcasing laser power. Or rather, the power of lasers. I don't think you can use lasers to make power. Unless, because you need, I feel like you need more stuff to make the laser than you would to be able to extract from the laser. Unless technically you consider like gamma ray bursts to be like lasers and stuff, in which case I guess we can get powers from that. This girl's like 2B vibe in her everything. Oh, Beto? The pirate girl? Is 2B a pirate? Because if so, then yes, I completely agree. But if not, eh, maybe we're lacking a little bit. Lacking a bit on comparisons. I like this girl. I like my Zhongling. She's cool. She's got her pole arm. And apparently we're both Scorpios, so now I feel like this kinship with her. I think her birthday is November. There's another character, too, that's also um, a Scorpio, I think. One of them is born on November 2nd, and I think the other one's born on November 20th. My birthday's November 19th. Lo and behold. It's exactly six months away from today. I know this because it's my buddy Lyco's Lore's birthday, and we are half birthday buddies. Because his birthday is my half birthday, and my birthday is his half birthday. It all works out because six months apart. You know? Oh, can I do anything about that? Yeah, I just gotta, I just gotta hit it enough. Two B is the girl from Near Automata. Yeah, I know who Two B is. I've seen the cosplays and the fan art and everything else that pops up on the internet, and done my research accordingly. I'm familiar. I've been on the internet. I know what you're talking about. I just know what she's like. I don't know anything else aside from what she looks like, honestly. I'm guessing what what is she like a like a cyborg or something like that? Like I don't know. I wanted to play, like if I were to ever do like a story intense game, I'd rather I'd love to play like near Automata, or Replicant, I guess. But I suppose Automata would come first, because it came first. Like, hi everybody. Clean's gonna take care of you with her laser beams. Fox and wow. Floaty sword in the back, run animation, the way she attacks, feels like a mirror. Oh, sweet! Maybe. I don't know what company makes Nier Automata. Huh. I know, uh, um, what's their face? Mihoyo makes this game. Oh my god, and I get to do it again? This is the second time I've been able to do this! I'm already... Oh, that's so cool. That is awesome. Look at these tiny little sprouts around here! Nice. Replicant is the first chronologically. Yeah, yeah, but like not the first like that came out that is. Maybe I could play Replicant first. <laughs> wow, set things on fire. There we go. Uh, carrots. Nice. So where do I go from here? 
Where do I go from here? Oh, look at that. A door open. Ha! <laughs> I forgot that Replicant was considered a, a prequel. Hi, everybody. Time to kill you. It is time to me to exercise my ability to kill. Oh, it's a remake as well? Oh. Cool. Someone needs assistance. May I play that one day? I am interested. Not technically a prequel. Oh. So like does it does the beginning of Replicant start like in the timeline before where Automata starts, I guess? Because you're saying it, it was first chronologically. Unless... But yeah, I thought near... Uh, maybe I'm just getting myself mixed up. Which came out first? Automata, right? I thought. Because I thought Replicant was only recently. Unless it was older. No, but Replicant was the remake, so it must have come out more recently. Oh. I don't know. Oh, well. I could do my research just how I wanted to. I wonder if my computer would even run near Automata. It will. I don't know. I don't own it yet, so I wouldn't play it. I gotta buy the game first before I want to play it. You know, speaking of which, I actually just uh, updated the, the games that I actually want to wind up playing. I updated them accordingly, because there's like, I feel like there are a lot of games in my collection now that I'm like, oh, I really want to play these games. Some of them I don't actually have yet, but I'm going to grab them when they go on sale. You're impressed? Really? This is not really that difficult. Uh, you're confident. I'm gonna call the game developers and tell you that even that you're a hacksaw. <gasps> no. Replicant is a remake of the original game Near. Oh, it was just called Near? I don't know. I, I'm not knowledgeable on it. I shall not spread misinformation by only sharing what I think I know. You know, Mage, you're doing a lot of screaming. Don't touch it, it'll explode! Wait a minute, that's a rocket! Rockets explode! It's cute, it's got like that little bunny ears that go backwards, it looks a little annoyed, and it's got hearts on the bottom of it. You wouldn't touch that, would you? Oh, it's got the clover! That's the thing, it's the clover on the bottom. A flame silk. No! I fall person pyrorules. Explosions can hurt people. Gene can be dreadful. This is it. This time I'm done for. Well, um. Little girl's a pyromaniac. She's, uh, used to the bombs. So her special treasure was. Just a tiny little bomb. Wait, so Clear's treasure is a bomb? <laughs> that was epic. Yeah, I like that. I'm going with that one. He was rumored to be the strongest fighter in Mondstadt. Strongest fighter in Mondstadt, because you're just throwing bombs everywhere. Ever. Hold on. Why is she going on off? Hmm. I don't know. Seems like it. Well then, let's head to the Knights headquarters and report to Jean. Quest goal is in Tavat. Head there to continue. Thank you. This is true. Da -da 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 -da, big old treasure chest. Let's go back to Tavat. When it came out, there were two games with slight differences. Replicant and Gestalt. In Replicant, you play as a brother. In Gestalt, you play as his father. You played Gestalt. I haven't played any of them. I didn't realize there were so many near games. Interesting. Very interesting. So like, I don't know. How many so how many near games are there in total? Like actual separate games. Not necessarily like game modes or story modes, I suppose, if there are multiple choices in the game. I've opened up the rabbit hole. Now I'm curious about Nier Automata. Like that. 
I just know that there are like a lot of um I like to do a bit of cos cosplay and whatnot, and I'm always seeing people showing their off their 2B cosplays. So that makes me think like my idea is that if you're gonna wind up cosplaying a character, it's either A because you really like the character design and you think it's totally within like your, you know, like your realm of being able to make a costume of it, or you bought it, you know, for instance. But that's you know, that or like you gotta like the character, I think, to you would want to dress up as as them. So like there are so many people who dress up as 2B. I I gotta wonder like is it like I guess it must be a really cool character. I suppose that or just th it's got that certain aesthetic that people just like to dress dress up as. I suppose as well. Like uh, dressing up in ball gowns and stuff like that. And characters who have ball gowns, maybe you'd be more inclined to dress up in a character in a ball gown because they just wear a ball gown. If you really like ball gowns. What do I like? I don't know. I like hats. I like props. Anything with anything with props. If I see something that looks like it's a really awesome prop, like I'll make the character, I'll try to do the character around it, and that's so cool. Near is an awesome game. Sweet. I believe y'all. I have nothing to base it off of myself. Of. I want to say like, I probably would have had the opportunity to just watch somebody play it and whatnot, but I just, I just haven't. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like Twitch is all over the place. I can just watch people play near, but. It just doesn't have the same ring as just playing it myself. Maybe I'll put that on my wish list. Maybe I'll grab. Maybe I'll try to snag one of them when um when the price comes down. I like to buy things when they're on sale. It's frugal. Four, you believe? Replicate, Gestalt, Automata, and some app game. Ow. Oh. Okay, I've definitely seen the 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 near uh, app game. I'm pretty sure I have, because I remember seeing like notific like. Uh, advertisements for it on my phone. <laughs> Time to talk to Master J Oh. What's going on in here, everybody? Please? You're here too? Did you come to confess? You came to confess! Huh? Sorry, Jean, I set off a bomb in another dimension. I'm oh, sorry. I broke the rules. I'll never see the light of day again. Yeah, Jean, what are you gonna do? You gonna kill her? To answer me. You said someone was injured. Where are they? <laughs> They're poof! It was an abyss page. Don't, don't worry about it. It was an abyss page. The US only released. Gestalt, since Japan doesn't think we can handle hot boys. What? But, but Mr. I can handle my hot boys. Where are the boys? Raise their temperatures. I can, I can take them. I can take hot boys. I don't care who you are. I can take hot people. People that may have fevers. I can take them. I don't know if my immune system can, but mainly because people will just get <laughs> get triggered, <laughs> and also Twitter will get triggered too. Yeah, right. Lol. Mr. Fluffball was a bad guy on purpose? Yeah, Mr. Fluffball's an abyss mage. They're trying to, like, destroy the whole, like, world around us. Trying to rip our fabric of time and space apart. Like, come on. This was an oversight on my part. <laughs> Those people ruin everything. Oh, that's why we gotta have more. I guess I have more trigger warnings and whatnot. So people know, like, hey, by the way, if you're easily triggerable, like, maybe keep your comments to yourself. Now you got the hot boy in the remake. No, no, da daddy. No, daddy. No, daddy. Daddy's not here. Yeah, that's it. I don't understand. Where's daddy? Guess we'll have to get the Japanese one. I wonder if somebody's done like a fan, like a fan translation. It'd be better than not having it at all. I guess. Get the facts. Facts on the treasure. What kind of treasure? Bomb treasure. Exploding treasure. Treasures that explode. Treasures that are in one piece one moment and then in many the next. Lily Hart passed them? What is that? Mr. Honorary Knight, you gotta come too. What are we talking about? Happy ending! Happy ending! One person explodes and everybody else survives. Yay! 99.9% survival rate! As some would say. I, um, um were what? You trying to blow up the fish in Starfell Lake again? I wasn't. I swear I wasn't. Why are you trying to blow up a fishy? Giving us that look that 
Let's play along. Please. And, and everybody noticed it too. I'll see myself to solitary confinement. <laughs> Paimon bets Klee must get bored of how old are you? herself. I gotta wonder how old you are. I just I have to I have to wonder. Where the Where's the solitary confinement room? There's a solitary confinement room in here? I mean, it's the Knights of Favonia's headquarters, so... Uh, oh, it's up higher. Oh, it, no, it says higher, but this is... Solitary confinement. Hello. Is it Paimon? That's Paimon's voice I hear. Clay, are you in there? Clay, are you okay? Do you have enough oxygen? Oh, <laughs> do, you, do you need help busting out of this joint? Or at least you've got a strong sense of morality. I'm cool with that. Think about what she did. Stop tempting me. Anyway, we want to bust you out. I'm making an extra special new treasure. We've been trying to contact you about your car's extended warranty. When you say treasure, when I say treasure, I mean your car and its shape of a heart and everything. It'll look so. Made it to the hyper. What up? What is a harpist stone? Harpist? Harpist them? You disguise the bomb? Oh yeah, they're gonna love it. You're like a freaking terrorist. What the heck? What are you doing? You're disguising bombs as things. What's up with you? Oh, pyromaniac. Nier is a very not okay thing. Not okay game to play if you're mentally unstable. There's a reason you never finished Automata. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know the car? Oh. I consider myself pretty mentally stable, at least in terms of the, uh, the depressive syndromes out there. Maybe not for other things, but in terms of that, I think I'm all right. I feel pretty stable. I guess it's time to... Where's the next quest area? No, where'd you go? There's another part of it? Oh! Oh, I see. Or maybe I don't. I don't know. I can't unlock that one. Oh, well, I guess I'll go outside. Finished Automata. Fun game, but also sad, too. I need some games like that that'll make me feel... I haven't played any games recently that really made me, like, feel that... That... That feels. Feel that feels. I mean, Valhalla was kind of like that. There was a certain type of feels there, but I had already seen it before, so it really didn't have the same effect on me as it did the first time. Now, where's this other quest? What do adventures do again? Oh, is that... Lon's direction currently in another thing... Provisional arrangement, the Chi of Guyun. Oh, was was that it? Oh, did I actually do it all already? Huh. I guess I'll proceed on to the next quest in the area. I suppose. Let's see. Maybe it's this one. Is it this one? A character is currently involved. Lan Chan Chan of the Adventurers. No, that's definitely something else. Clean up aftermath. Maybe it's this one. No. No. Let me let me check these. UA, opponents, criminal stains, treasure hoarders, Catherine, secret chamber, secret chamber, search for journal. No. Meat of the gay, the big king, greedy assembly, search for fragments, clear the road. Huh. Interesting. Well, I guess I'll do this in the aftermath. I'll defeat the opponents and dismantle their camp. It's another mission. Sad is an understatement. It literally plays with your emotions and makes you feel awful. Grimdark as a genre, grimdark as a genre likes to beat up their characters as a constant near does the same except with you oh i mean not like oh as in like oh cute oh as in like oh but i mean like we can get that from a video game honestly i'd rather have um, a video game beat me down as the character because i'm in control of the video game world as opposed to being beaten down by something that's not in the world of the video game which would make me feel bad because i have less control over that it's not necessarily a matter of control. It's just a matter of, like, uh, could I stop the pain at any time? Yes, I could. Continue it later. That's not the same way with life. Life doesn't always let you do that. As much as you try to remove yourself from a bad situation, sometimes it follows you. This is spooky. All right, time to take care of y'all. What do I gotta do? What do I gotta do, everybody? I'll take this apple with me. Oh, I just had to defeat y'all. Oh. Hey, yo. How y'all doing? Y'all seem pleasant. I'm gonna use my fire ability to do this, and then we're gonna use more fire ability to do that, and then everybody gets whacked on. 
Everybody go get whacked. Everybody do the whack. Everybody get wacky. Wacky, wacky fun. Wacky, wacky fun, bro. Da, 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 da. Maybe I should play it. Maybe I should play the near games. And we're talking about the near game original, not near automata. Automata. If I here, you know, let me ask. Let me ask y'all this. If I should play one of them, which one should I play? Or which one are y'all talking about? Meeple, I know you said Gestalt. I don't, I don't think I caught caught which one Art plays or played. Duh. Maybe it's the same one. Or maybe it's Automata. Maybe you played Automata. Was it a- Yo, Automata. That was it. Yeah. Both. Play both of them. Maybe I should. Perhaps I will. I just know it's always been on- It's on that- It's always been on that list of mine, like, in the back of my head of games where I'm like, I'm interested. But, like, I don't know if I'll ever play them. But, like, what's stopping me from playing any game at this point, really? There's nothing. There's nothing stopping me. Defeat all the opponents and dismantle the camp. Did I not dismantle their camp? Can I break this down? Did I not dismantle their camp? Uh, what else is there at the camp to be dismantled? Look for the object. Where's... H Hello? Any other part of camp to be dismantled? I think I've dismantled the camp. Oh, do I have to... Maybe this thing too? There we go. Ah, there we go. I just had to break that. Patrol the area and clear any obstacles. I guess we're going over here. Hello down there! Here I come! Near Automata Girl, at least the one that reminds us of it. My name's Beto and I like electricity. Which I suppose is relevant. Destroy! There's so many of them! What do we do? What do we do? What am I gonna do? And then we can just like do this. Now everyone's overloaded and unhappy. Yep, that'll do it. That is the way to do it. That is one of, there are many ways to do. There are many ways to get to Walmart, but this is how I go to Walmart, so to speak. Dismantle the camp. Dismantle the camp. Oh, you're getting capture cards soon. So I've got console games you want to stream. Yes, sir. What kind of capture card are you getting, if I may ask? Because you know what I wouldn't recommend? The Roxio HD game capture. Don't do it. It's annoying. Oh, I can break this thing, too. Oh, clearly. I also got it. Elgato? Elgato's the one. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, I gotta go back to Mondstadt. I know um, my buddy Lycos Lore. Happy birthday, Lycos. I know you're not here, but... Happy birthday to you, Lycos. Anyway, I know he uses an Elgato as well. Oh, time to fix myself a little bit. What, what kind of what kind of things should I fix? You know what? That's a good point. Let me fix my microphone a little bit. The uh, the cage, the little wind barrier is not quite where it should be, and uh, just that camera angle. Ah, there we go. Chair feels pretty good. Oh, you know what? I'll use that as ex an excuse to stretch too. That felt wonderful. Oh, you know, that was exactly what I needed. Oh my God. I'm feeling, I'm actually feeling like tired. I had tea this morning. But, oh, you know what I didn't have? You know what? This is, this is why I'm tired. I'm tired because I had coffee the past two mornings and I was like, I don't need caffeine this morning. I needed caffeine this morning. My tea earlier did not have any caffeine in it. Maybe some, maybe I do want a little bit of coffee. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit of coffee. I do have more work that I need to plan to do today, so having a coffee now wouldn't be incre- it wouldn't be inappropriate. It'd be just fine. Now could be a wonderful time for a coffee. How's your progress? You finished clearing the area yet? Yeah, I honestly forgot about it. I've probably been on this mission for months, for all I know. Fantastic! You've been an enormous help who knows how much longer those ugly things would have stood there otherwise. Honorary Knight, please accept these as an expression of my gratitude. What I get? All right. Thank you, some level up materials. That's always good. What other missions are there to do? What other quests can I wind up doing over here? When the trail goes cold. Apparently it's right over here. 
When the trail goes cold and there's nothing on the road, when the trail goes cold, I'm going to talk to Catherine. How's it going? Pretty smooth. Oh, good, in fact. Uh, I've been keeping up with your recent endeavors. I have no doubt that if you continue in this day, you'll become an outstanding adventurer one day. As for the other guild activities, I have some activities that to adventure intel I would like to share with you if you are interested. Yes. More commissions. Ha! Your tone suggests that you're exceptionally familiar with the way the guild handles affairs. Well, that's cool. However, this time I do not have a commission for you. Rather, I simply have some adventure intel to share. What do you got? It's about Dragonspine. We're going back to Dragonspine. The guild campus is set up over there. Station number of adventurers. I've marked a location. All right. I guess I'm heading to Dragonspine. Da 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 la da 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 Love it. Let's go talk to Ira. Oh, I almost jumped into the water. Uh 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 don't jump into the water if you don't have energy to swim. They also say don't swim after you eat. But I've never had a problem with it. I wonder where that can like what is it? Your I guess it'll give you like stomach cramps, I guess. And then you won't be able to swim because of the pain, I suppose. If I had to imagine why that's a saying, I'm sure that's gotta be it. Who knows though? You know what? I, I could feel, I do have more, uh, I need to do more work today. And I feel a little like, my eyes feel a little weary. You know what? Let me get a little bit of coffee. I think I'm gonna grab myself some coffee. Fa -fa. Coffee. Fa -fa -fa. That's what I'll do. Muscle cramps, sickness, all that. That's why you shouldn't, um, swim after you eat. I'm big strong man. I'll swim and eat as much as I want to. Hell, I'll swim and eat at the same time. I got a burger in one hand and the, the waves in the other. Or at least that's, that's what I told myself to do. Yeah, I've decided it. I'm gonna go put some coffee on. That's what I'm gonna do. It's cheap little cur curry coffee. That's what we're gonna do. And there's no need to break for it because I'm just gonna literally walk over, do a couple of scoops and whatnot. That'll be very easy to do. I just need to... Oh, and I need more water in my carry, do I? Okay, maybe I do need to do a little bit. It's okay! I'll just keep talking from over here! What kind of coffee do I have set up for myself? Well, it's a special blend of a bunch of different other types of coffee, all put together in my own personal collection. A lot of it is all just different types of Starbucks and stuff, but that, that's okay, I guess. I need a thing. I need to push that out of there. I need to put that out of dishwasher. I just got another thing. Whatever um, it is. There you are. Exactly I need three is scoops of it. coffee. Don't worry, I'm not gone. I'll do my scoops of coffee on the other side. I'll do my scoops of coffee over here so I'm not leaving everybody. There we go. I'll do my scoops of coffee. I keep all my coffee in this container. It keeps the aromas in because I, I like the smell of coffee. See, this is how it is. I do like the smell of coffee. And I like the taste of coffee. Anna does not like the smell of coffee or the taste of coffee. So what I have to do is I keep my I keep my coffee in this little aroma sealed container such that, you know, when the coffee's just sitting there, nobody gets nobody has to smell it. Uh, and by nobody I mean Anna, so Anna doesn't have to smell it because uh, she no like, she no like it. And I put in a little custom cake cup. I'm I'm you need me, I'm lazy today, so I'm just gonna make it with the Keurig. <laughs> I put this back up on top of the fridge, and then I put this spoon back where it belonged, and then I put the Keurig down and click the button. Now it's dispensing coffee. You know, while I'm over here, I want to show another little trinket I've got. My um, for my birthday, my parents also bought me a a, a French press, and with the French press, it came with this little device. You can't really see it too well here this device and it's a milk frother and it just spins it just spins and makes sounds you can froth things with it it doesn't really hurt i mean it can but like it's a milk frother you put it in liquid and it froths it milk can froth i'd put it in my coffee to froth it too but like you know what's the point of that anyway uh, that seems to be done so i want to go grab my coffee frothability you can froth anything with this thing i think if it's frothable I wonder if I can froth an egg with it. Probably. Don't know why I want to, but I can. Whoa, I almost slipped on the floor. Every once in a while, I wind up slipping around my apartment. That's the thing, though. Nice vibrator. Yeah, as in something that vibrates. 
It vibrates the milk in such a way that it froths it. That's... Wow, somehow describing that in terms of milk actually made it sound even more sexual. Wow! But that's essentially what it does. Oh, I mean, actually, it doesn't vibrate. It spins, which then will cause it to vibrate. But then again, most things that vibrate are usually because something is spinning on the inside of it. If you've ever actually taken a look in something inside of something that does vibrate, like a remote controller and whatnot, it's actually just a motor, but it's got a little, a little thing on it. But think of it like a quarter of a circle. If you attach a quarter of a circle to a spinning motor and it's attached via the center of that circle or more or less the center of that corner, it's off set. It's off balance. And so it spins and it vibrates. It causes the, the thing that it's attached to to vibrate. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it's just in a... Yeah, you can see it on this controller. It's like a little... Uh, you probably can't see it too well, but uh, on the inside, it's like a little half circle. And when it vibrates... When it vibrates, or when it spins, the controller vibrates. That's what it is. Uh, what am I doing over here? I don't need to be over here. <laughs> I don't need to be here! Hi, Pavel and Tsarevich. So that's the thing. So, I, I, like, I really like the smell of coffee. I really, really do. It's not necessarily the caffeine on the inside, although there's probably a, a neuron pathway somewhere in my head that's making me think that. But, like, even just smelling the coffee wakes me up. Like, I don't feel as tired as I did before because I smelled the coffee. I can smell. I can feel the coffee. Oh, it's hot. Oh, my God, it's hot. Sorry. I grabbed the coffee a little too soon. I hurt myself. A little painful. I gotta watch out. I had, again, another occasion where I have yet to check myself. And then I done did the wrecking of myself. Unfortunate. Oh, I need more stamina. Or I can go up this little cliff. Yeah. Actually, while I'm over here, are there any other missions that I'm not aware of? That might be close by? Anything close by? Eh, uh, no. Not at all. I got a sweet flower. Mmm. Sweet, sweet, sweet flower. Yeah. I'd be interested to know if there's a secret in that waterfall. Ah, but there is no secret in the waterfall. I know that because I've checked multiple times. It is at the same waterfall. Classic video game logic. There's a waterfall. Probably put a chest behind it. Or me attempting to exercise that video game logic and being sorely disappointed when there is no chest behind the waterfall. Which is how it would appear this way, because there is no chest on that waterfall. I know that, because I've been there before and there was no chest. I'm sad. Now my controller's kind of falling apart. Needs more electrical tape. I'll have to fix that later. Ugh. It's getting cloudy, because we're close to Dragon Spine. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, Iris! You have something to tell me? I've talked with you a lot before about Dragon Spine and the goings on and whatnot, but apparently there's more. Here's the situation. What do we got? About adventuring in Dragon Spine, I've already done it, but here we go. If you really want to go into Dragon Spine, you must take sure, make sure you're fully prepared. Do not underestimate the dangers of the mountain. I feel like I should have done this quest like two months ago. Dragon Spine is not forgiving towards careless adventurers. I'm not careless. How dare you would call me that? So, so what do we do? Was that it? Oh, that's that's it. Well, I guess new quest? Unlocking quest still? Oh yeah, well none of these are unlocked yet. I'm, I'm, yeah, I get that. No! Why'd you do that? Oh, I wish. Unlock crates here. I just need two of those thingamabobs. Do I already have them though? Oh, I don't really know. Spend two story crews to unlock the cat and the cocktail. Yes! I would love to! Hangout event. Yeah, let's do that. The cat and the cocktail. I love that. It's cocktaily. I love that stuff. What do we got? Okay, I I talked to Nimrod. I have to go back to Mondstadt. I'm not walking back all the way. I'm, I'm warping. The cat's tail bartender. I love that. I love me and my cocktails. Me and my cocktails and my cocktail shakers. 
That and the fact that the co word cocktail is a funny word. And I like that. What sort of work is that, you ask? Well, hey Nimrod, you're a, the local drunkard, so you should make a drink mixing or alcohol themed emote. That's the plan. Been working on some more stuff. That is the plan to have a couple of more things like that, because I love me my cocktail shakers. What I really want to do, I actually just downloaded a small little uh, like a tr free trial program for an app, something called Asaprite. Or Ace Sprite? Ace Sprite. I, mean, I guess that's how you could probably pronounce it. But like you can do like sprite animations with it and whatnot. And I'd love to have like a little like a little like maybe GIF animation or something about like my little character doing like a little shaky shake thing. Because that'd be so cool. Or um, um, if I can get, you know, a proper like a proper photo of me like throwing a cocktail shaker up in the air. Maybe something like that. That could be awesome. That or just a shaker, I guess. Is the cat's tail open? Seem of age to drink yet. I am of age to drink. Well, that How dare you? Problem. Diona will be there. Diona. She's the best Diona. Bartender in all it is Diona. You know, actually, to, to make sure I don't forget about that, I'm gonna write that down if just to be sure. Because no I've thought about it before, but never like seriously considered it. Diona is also pretty cute. Cocktail. Just like a little kitty. <laughs> Mixing. Oh, no. Emote. I did I also, Nimrod, Nimrod, may I please account on how creepy you're being right now? Like, she's very, very small. I don't know how old she is, but I'm just saying, from my first impression, you are being incredibly creepy right about now. I'm gonna go over there and sober up a bit. I don't think I can handle a fifth round quite yet. A fifth round of what? Way too much already. You drink all the time. Just use it to the town drunkard. But we love him because of it. We've all got that town drunkard that everybody likes, I guess. Deals with? Deals with. So I need to talk to Diona. Oh, there's supposed to be the cat's tail. <gasps> it's a little bar in the back! All out of ingredients. And then it's cat girl. Again. Ugh. I really don't understand why these adults love to drink so much. So you are- you must be a child. You're referring to adults as adults. I- adults don't refer to adult as self. Although, although, yes. Because all what the else? You make are so delicious. They're oh, so they good. One sip and they're hooked. Except for Nimrod. He tasted the alcohol and he just I like, <laughs> I need another. What the quality of being an adult? Well, it just so happens that self-control often falls by the wayside when someone's enjoying one of your delicious specialty drinks. Yeah, Diana, maybe you should like cool it down a little bit. I am not gonna say, oh, look, it's a kitty. I am not gonna say, oh, look, it's a kitty. No, don't make me say that. Come on. No. No, I have to. Hey, who are you calling kitty? That's exactly the kind of reaction I thought I was gonna get by calling you a kitty. Oh, hello there. Kit's line? Are you here to visit the cat's tail? I'm here for the kitties. I want to try specialty drinks. That's what I would say. That's what I'm here for. Out of those two options. Unfortunately, we're pretty much out of ingredients. Besides, besides, you don't look like you're even old enough to drink yet. What about you? Uh, a non-alcoholic beverage is a fine too. Alcoholic beverage? There are tons of other places in Mondstadt that serve that. But seeing as you came all the way to a tavern for a non tavern for a non-alcoholic drink, that must mean you have your own views about alcohol, right? Yes, I do. You just want to try a drink because you think it's a romantic thing that adults do. <laughs> I mean, when I was like 15, I thought, yeah, alcohol was that romantic thing that adults do. And I guess it's not romantic, but like, oh, that sounds weird. That romantic thing that adults do. Hmm. Let's not think about that for a little bit. But like, in my mind, I kind of romanticized the idea of alcohol. And don't get me wrong, like, as college came around, like, I learned a bit more about it, but even at the time, it wasn't really anything, like, that was super crazy. And even nowadays, like, it's a bit of a hobby of mine. That's why it's so, I guess, romantic to me. But, like, even still. Fantasizing about alcohol. I just asked you for a non-alcoholic beverage. Are you saying I'm fantasizing about alcohol? Quite the opposite. Also, I noticed the fact that your calico, your Ketz line thing is calico, and that's pretty awesome. Supposedly, I learned in my biology, my AP biology class, that apparently calico cats can only be female because, fe like, biological females can experience microchimerism, like chimera, like different DNA existing in a certain body, and because of that microchimerism, which is like different, slightly DNA on a very local level, which is why they get those calico 
colors to them. The fact that they have three colors on them. I don't know, though. That was a very old project of mine. Drinks flavor? I'd like the flavoring to be more unique. I'd like the base to be more unique. Honestly, I love, like, a nice, unique base spirit that I've never tried before. A drink with a special base, huh? Hmm. Looks like you already possess plenty of potential to become a roaring drunkard. Oh, thank you. I'm I really appreciate that. You with this one. <laughs> I have the potential to become a roaring drunkard, don't we all? I know just the place to find a unique drink base. What are we gonna find? What kind of drink base are we going for? That's another thing that I've always wanted to try that I've I've yet to have the opportunity to, but I've always wanted to like distill my own like liqueurs and liquors and stuff like that. I don't know if I have the space to do it over here, but I know there's at least one friend of my mother's, I think, that actually does do that. And I really want to try some of her stuff to be able to see if I can do anything with my stuff, too. I've heard there's some plenty of cool things that you can... Like, you can essentially distill anything. Like, anything, anything, anything. So, uh, I'm curious. I am very, very curious to see what else there is to be able to distill out there and whatnot. Like, uh, I just found out the other day that apparently you can take, um... Like, maple se maple seeds, like the little whirly gigs that fall from down the tree. Uh, the little spinny helicopters that come from trees sometimes. You can actually pop those seeds open and give them a roast and they taste good. So, like, maybe you can make a spirit out of that. Maybe it's, I don't know what kind of grain it's, if it's a grain, then you could probably make, like, a spirit or a, or a beer out of it, I guess. I'm sure you need a lot of it, though. I probably don't have that amount. But I've always been curious about it. I've always been very, very curious about it. Because, like, at this point, I'm at the point in my hobby where I'm, like, I kind of have an idea of, like, what bottles I need to go out and look for, what kind of flavors that I like, what kind of things go together. But I don't know about how to make it all myself. I've made a few of my own syrups before and other things. Like, I've made my own grenadine before. I've made my own falernum before. I've made various types of simple syrups before. Which is not very de that difficult, but like, I wonder if you could do, like, I wonder if I could be able to, like, actually make my own, like, spirits that have a unique taste to them. That'd be so cool. Just finished the new story quest was nice. Ooh. The one that came out for version 1.5, because I was told by my buddy that that one is a very, very cool story quest. Like, it supposedly changes everything. And I'm looking forward to it. Oh, for Eula. Eula? Eula or Eula? Eula or Eula? I don't know. I haven't heard the name pronounced yet. Oh, I got whacked. Nah, I don't need to worry about you guys. That's pretty cool. You la. Oi la. Oi la? Oi? I would pronounce E-U as oi la. That's how I would pronounce it. Because there's a word in mathematics for... It's spelled E-U-L-E-R, and that's pronounced oiler. Or euler. I guess, depending on your... Math teacher. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually, no matter what. Do, 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 do. Now we're looking for cocktail spirits, or uh, cocktail-based ingredients for uh, the hangout mission with, what's-her-face, Diona. Eula. 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 Nice. Or Eula. 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 If you couldn't already tell, I'm the kind of person where as soon as somebody tries to make me pronounce something a certain way, I'm just like, I'm trying all the different possibilities in my head. They go for it. Just up ahead. You should be able to find a special drink base there. What kind of special drink base? The tavern told me that he once ventured deep into Dada Gorge and discovered a type of drink inside the cooking pots of a hilly troll tribe who lived there. Oh, really? The hill churls just steal their own alcohol. Interesting. Nice. I love I love the fact that she had to like she said like <clears throat> get herself ready for this. So it probably, uh, if it sat around and fermented, it probably fermented in a really weird way. Are you sure that wasn't just one of your other drunkards? 
Hey, that's a disappointing. For more drinks. But whether or not he was exaggerating is not important. The idea of using a hilly churl drink as a base for my cocktails <laughs> is one I'm definitely interested in. That's what I'm saying. Like, if I found, like, a really weird ingredient with, like, a super-duper weird taste to it, like, I would want to put that into a cocktail. Like, yeah. Maybe you said that you want to make a drink from that? Of yes. Course. You wanted a specialty drink, right? Special drink it requires specialty drink. ingredients. No need to worry. This will be one of the, 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 the drinks you'll remember forever. You've returned with salsa and chippoos. Nice. I've got my coffee. I like it. Is it too hot now? Since we're only on the outskirts of Dadaupa Gorge, we'll have to walk further in. It's still a little too hot for my tongue, but it's getting there. I hope when Anna didn't, po when Anna popped on before, and I said something about if you're going out for lunch, give me coffee, that she doesn't actually get me coffee because if she does, then I'm gonna have so much coffee. Actually, you know what? Even if she does grab me coffee, I'll just have more coffee. I'll put the coffee in the fridge, and then I'll have nice coffee, like icy coffee, cold coffee, and I'll just clean it up in the morning. I've always wanted to try cold brew coffee too. Diona, is that you? Huh? Oh, I know you. You're the one that usually goes hunting with my father. <gasps> yeah. You have a father? I do too! Oh my god, we have so much in common. You like to bartend, I like to bartend. You got cat ears, I like cats. You have a father, I have a father. It's uncanny. The resemblance. We should be friends. I wish that were the case. Oh, there's some serious stuff going on here, apparently. Well, he rushed into Dada Upa Gorge by himself. The music is very somber. Yeah, they went go. Oh, is everything okay? These silly humans, they're so defenseless. They have to have these big, strong, otherworldly people with Archon-type vision abilities like us to come save them. Well, add a little to drink. We only drank a little, you know, just to celebrate the hunt. But after celebratory. Drafts, so who? Why do you drink? Drink to celebrate. Yeah, that's a way to do it. Absolutely. It can be a tool just as much as it can a weapon. Instead, he kept saying that but you must be careful. Of the Ketzline bloodline, and that he could come and go as he pleases in a place like this. Before that means he must be a cat man unless only the the female daughters get cat characteristics in which case i gotta wonder why i want to see a cat man i want to be a cat boy if given the opportunity to no just kidding not actually change my dna and stuff like that it's not what i meant actually that sounds weird the more that i think about it yeah cat's cool cat's all right Little, little cat ears. It's too cute. Dangerous for you to go alone, I wouldn't be the weirdest thing I've done. I've done weirder. Let's go find him. Oh, you're a cat's lion bloodline? Really? I honestly couldn't tell. Was it the twitching of the ears or the swaying of the tail that gave it away? I'll go with you. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Uh, yes. It seems that my reputation precedes me. I'll leave you to it. You're coming with There's me. nothing to worry about. Not by my side. Be a lot of monsters not in by there. my side. I wouldn't want to stir them up oh, all at once. Goodness, there so we go. I plan on speaking by the monsters to find oh, my stupid father. Camera was not in the right position. Neko E boys are more common than you think. I wasn't saying that they weren't common. I have no doubt that they're common. So plan to sneak up by the monsters to find my stupid father. What's your plan? Uh, I'll, I'll defeat the monsters head on. I'll take care of it. Take them all head on. Yeah. Well, you are the honorary knight. After. Yeah, cuz I'm super strong. I got the muscles of that. No, just kidding. I really got a really, really big sword. That's what I've got. Them. Let's head deeper into Dadaupa Gorge. I don't know where my foolish father is, but we can start our search there. Okie dokie. Uh, if the monsters are too strong, then just run away if you can. There okay. Are lots of places to hide around here. Okay. All right. Let's get to it. Okay. I marked the approximate locations on your map. Okay, let's get to the action. Let's get action. Okay, I gotta go gotta go that way. Head to the hill at your camp. Let's go up this way. 
I'll just head up over this mountain. I'll just climb this mountain over here. I'll go across on the top and then I'll come back down. It's easy. Easy, easy, easy. Me and my buddy, the cat girl, Diona. Oh, hello, squirrel. Bye there, squirrel. Dada oopa. Oopa, 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 oopa. Oopa, oopa. That reminds me of a series, uh, a game that uh, my buddy Lycos Lore has been playing called Klonoa 2. And I, I can't, I'd lie if I said I know anything about the game, aside from the fact that I know when the character Klonoa jumps around and gets shot out of a cannon, you can swirl around in the air, and all he said, you can make him say, like, Hoopa! 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 I love, like, it can be really, really annoying. But if you spam click the button, it's just like that. Wait a minute, I know who you are! I've seen you before! Some kind of. Ah, oh, nice. Did you taste the? Just as I suspected, Did you taste it? he's completely drunk. Is that your father? Oh, is that you, Diona? <laughs> my beloved daughter. I hope to goodness you... that my children never see me in this type of state. Not at least while they're young. Christ, you, you, you know what? You know what? When my children have gotten to the point where they're of legal age to drink themselves, and maybe we go out to a bar together and have a couple of drinks, then maybe they can see their father in that sort of state. But. Not Just while they're young. You. That's not the image that I want in other people's minds. Flask. <laughs> <laughs> of soup. Or whatever. whatever this stuff is. Oh, it's a good thing, despite the fact that he's a bit of a drunkard, that uh, he collected the stuff we were looking for. Pull yourself together. How much did you have to drink? Yeah, tell me. Not much, really. Just usual amount. <laughs> Maybe this stuff is just incredibly alcoholic. My flask with the herbal safe stuff that you were looking for. I'm going to continue the hunt. You know, I saw something about like something about in-game characters acting drunk and voice acting drunk is like never how I have heard drunk people speak. Huge hilly hog. You don't know hilly hog. I don't know what a hilly hog is. Thank you, sir. Sir, can I get you some water? Would you like me to call you a ride home? You, we've got a place for you to rest in the back if you'd like. Got a little couch. Very comfy. You got a really comfy couch and an even prettier garbage uh, pail that you can just, you know, just tilt right under your head in case you, in case you feel so inclined in the middle of the night to uh, perhaps sober up a bit the forceful way. Is that so? Looks like he's enjoyed himself today. I was looking forward to see something, seeing some hilly hogs and hilly hounds. Hey, keep it together. You're not the one that's drunk. Not yet, we aren't. I doubt he can even walk straight in this state. We're not drunk just yet, but we could get drunk if we wanted to. Good thing I nah, I'm enjoying my coffee. There needs to be nothing else with that. I'm actually, actually, what I could try is I could add some of my Mr. Black coffee liqueur into the coffee to see how it changes the taste. But uh, it probably won't. Samachurl. Draft said he just said found some. Let's just ask him. I can deal with a few monsters. I'll bring some of that back. Yeah, Draft's got some apparently. I wouldn't trust a single word this old drunk says. Okie dokie. Go ahead and talk to him if you believe him. No, no, that's fine. No, I, I don't think so. Okay, I guess we'll talk to you. Clearly you don't like your father. That's unfortunate. Well, that's something we don't have in common. I like my dad. My dad's a really cool guy. To my knowledge, he's also not a drunk. Nor would he go out into the wilderness and drink some random liquid that he found sitting in a bowl out there. So I think, I, I think your father is a little, uh... Maybe not all there, perhaps? <laughs> oh boy, something that smells like soup. It looks like soup. Must be soup. Oh, now I'm drunk. I wouldn't do the same thing. I would put it in a container, maybe take it back, do a couple of tests on it, maybe waft the smell a little bit, get an idea of what it is. I plan on keeping it. Oh. My genius father. I just noticed, does Giraffe have a tail too? Now that you filled your flask with this huh. stuff. I'll just drink straight from the bottle. <laughs> it's not a problem. 
Not a problem at all. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I don't see no problem drinking. For, like, like if it's just you drinking, then yeah, you can drink from the bottle, I guess. But like, if you drink from it and then you close it back up and you leave it for somebody else, like the bacteria just kind of grows. It's nasty, nasty, yucky, disgusting. I don't like that idea. I, I pour mine out into a shot glass first. As opposed to that. Or or a nice pint glass, depending on what the drink is. Can we actually use these to sober them up? I really don't want to sit back and watch whatever it is you're doing with your dad. Alright, it's finished. Here, Daddy, drink this. No, I I can't drink anymore. I can't drink any more of that. My daughter will be very angry with me. No, don't worry about it. It's a virgin bloody Mary, meaning it tastes disgusting and there's no payoff. So here, take it. Huh? Why will he only remember stuff like that now? I don't know. <laughs> Come on, Dad. I know you're drunk and all, and I know you're like, I probably shouldn't get any drunker, but drink this. You'd have it. Just a little bit, though. Yeah, that's right. That was incredible. What kind of incredible? What's in it? What are you doing here, Diona? I was gonna say, is the drink really "quote unquote" that good for it to have this type of response? Or yeah, I just want to know what's going on over here. What's the trick, though? I want to know what the trick is. Huh? Oh, right. I remember now. I think it was some kind of Yeah, that's it. Herbal soup. Oh, apparently. Time, Sorry, I was checking my email. I got an email from my um, from my bio professor. It's right here. Said about that guidance. All course projects, exams, and materials for those who are graduating the spring term must be submitted to this by the end of this day of finals. There, if you have one or more graduating studies in your group, have them submit a draft. Cool. Guess I'll guess I'll do that. Diona has it. You already used the soup. The sober soup. 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 Uh, yes. Drink too much again. Self-control, uh, sir. You have to watch your self-control meter. Never mind, Daddy. Self control yourself, I'm Dad. Used to it. Daddy? Can Not you call you Daddy? Self-control yourself, you silly little silly drunk person and oh, right. stuff like that and uh, I completely forgot about Alan. Uh, how do you feel, Daddy? How could you forget about Alan? What's up with you, dude? No, no. And see, Alan and I were having a really, really good time. We were going out to go do some hunting and whatnot, celebrating the hunting stuff and drinking a little bit of... Speaking of which, where's Alan? What happened to the hunt? Where am I? Who am I? Hello, daughter. And daughter's friend. Hey, you look too young to drink. Of course. Hilly hounds? Oh, you were just... Man, you really are a raging drunk, aren't you? Forget the time you begged my advice to write you a song about a hunter and his loyal hilly hound. You're a very, dis right, you're right. a very disappointing yeah. person. Hey, you know what? To each their own. Do you at least like? Do you like take care of your family? Do you take, or do you? Does your daughter have a job to make up for the expenses because you, in fact, are a drunkard? You. I mean, you go out. And, you're head of the hunters. Okay, so you probably make money from hunting things. Thanks, Daddy. You look too young to drink. Want a drink? Couldn't hear you very well. I, I don't get that response very uh, often, honestly. Okay. Some okay. would, some have said, for example, there was at least one person in my life last year that was like, "Hey, I just need to confirm that you're over the age of 15," and I'm like, "Are you kidding me?" Um, but I don't get carded that often for uh, purchasing my liquors or buying my drinks. Not very often at all. So I must have a very old face. That or the mask adds 10 years or five years. I don't know. Maybe the mask adds adds years. I must talk to Alan. Oh, Alan! I brought your hunting buddy back. And he's totally sobered up. What about you, Alan? Clearly, you can hold your liquor better than liquor liquor better than Diana's father can. <laughs> Excuse me. Honestly, speaking of more things on drinks, cocktails, and alcohol, 
I'm actually going out a little bit this weekend, hanging with a couple of my friends. I think I mentioned that already. But what we're picking up along the way is a spirit called Everclear. Everclear, eh, the one that we're purchasing, is 191 proof alcohol. That means it is, oh, you know, like 90-something percent alcohol, probably. Now, don't get me wrong. You don't drink this stuff. But what I'm expecting to pick up an extra bottle for myself is to be able to create special infusions. Because if there's a lot of alcohol in something, it becomes very easy for it to rip out the flavors of whatever's inside of it. Like strawberries or, I don't know, Expo markers, for instance. Or, or different types of candies, like Skittles and whatnot. So that way I can make my own, like, liqueur infusions and whatnot. And then, of course, after you're done with the infusion, you cut it with water at least in half so that it's not going to kill you. For instance, goodness, but you know, I was about to that's on my list of things to pick up. Because, like, I technically, any, any times I've done infusions before, I've just used just regular vodka. But it's really not that high proof. And the spirit doesn't come out very, very flavorful, honestly. Because it, does, it can't pull out as much of the juices and oils and flavor components in whatever you put inside of it. And what you're infusing then with something of a higher alcohol content. So... That's what I plan on picking up this weekend as well. As well as a couple other things. Maybe another bottle of a uh, Stella Rosa for my fiance. That's her favorite type of wine. Very tasty. Very sweet. Very sweet. Very desserty. Of course we do. I'm a professional bartender. There's no You're a professional bartender. Cool. The remainder will be enough for what I need. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, why would you use it all at once? Like, the fact that I even have so many bottles in my collection is the fact that, like, I don't use them very often. And don't drink so much. Don't drink. If you drink, I'll drink you. No, no. No, just kidding. I will not do that. Scratch that from the record. Did we really? We only picked up, like, this weird soup thing. Meatball's happy that you haven't found out how much of a lightweight you are yet. You're gonna use like half of them? Yeah, of course, half of them in any particular yeah, night. Sure no, honestly, it's only I, a, about an ounce or two down. from any one of those containers up there per drink. Honestly, I think I go through mixers faster than I go through different alcohols and stuff. But I suppose it comes to be a matter of the fact that I have a large collection itself. So like, for example, if I needed to use a rum in a drink, I don't have just one option. If I only had one option, then every single time I make a rum drink, then I would use that one rum. But I have a couple, I, at least five different types of rums that I could use. So, yeah. Dr. Livingstone, what have you got? Traveler, fancy meeting you here. I'm sure you're very busy as always, uh, but I just need a moment of your time. Could you give this to Dr. Edith for me? I was planning to deliver it myself, but something else came up. Yes, you see, I was walking along this trail right here, and then, well, I found a really cool looking rock, and I just can't take myself away from it right now. And if I enjoy this rock the entire time that I want to, then I won't be able to deliver the message to Dr. Edith. So I'm going to make you do it. <sighs> Lazy. Bye-bye. Where's Dr. Edith? Ugh. Stupid. I'll make my way back to Mondstadt while I do that. Just stupid NPCs making me do stupid quests and making me consume and... Mm. Coffee. Cameron consumes coffee. I was gonna say, like, previously, like, this is the, the mix of coffee that I've got right now is not... It's like a lot of different types of Starbucks blends and whatnot. I'm not a really big fan of their coffee and whatnot. And I've given it a good shake, so it's all, it should be, like, homogeneously, like, shaken and stuff like that. But if I make it from a Keurig, and by that I mean you, you just run water through it, like, really hot water through it, then, like, eh, it's not... It's not really that good. If you French press it, it's a little less acidic, I think, and it gets more of the flavor components out, and it tastes okay there. But, like, I don't know. I just took a big old sip of this because of the, the most recent consumption command, and it actually, honestly wasn't that bad. Got a nice flavor of, like, a like a dark chocolate. But, but without, the, without the sweetness of chocolate. Just that dark bitterness. Dr. Edith... Hmm, I wonder why my delivery hasn't arrived. I wonder if Dr. Livingstone has gotten themselves uh, preoccupied with a couple of fancy rocks again. <gasps> Traveler, how can I help you today? 
Oh, I never expected you to be the one delivering this. Well, this is a huge help. Please take these. Yay. I apparently increased my companionship level with Xiangling. I have I collected another animalculus since I've been back. Worship the statue of love! Nope. Okay. There was nothing here. Central coffee consume. MP3. It was... It was good. That was some good coffee. Very, very good coffee. It was very, very tasty. I very much enjoyed that sip. Some sips... Some sips you want to savor. That sip... That was savorable. Where's my quest? There's my quest! Where are you? The cat and the cocktail shatter over da da oopa. Back to Bonstadt. Da 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 You know what? Another thing. <laughs> you know what? Another thing that's related to alcohol and other sorts of paraphernalia and whatnot. I mentioned the other day that I printed out a tiny little fucktopus, aka a little octopus with a couple of middle fingers, right? I mentioned that, I think. It's funny. Well, as it turns out, I printed out an even bigger one. It's a little hairy right now because I haven't really actually done all the things on it. But it's bigger. And to boot, to boot, let me let me show this one off. I glued a shot glass into it. Technically, you're supposed to be able to take a shot glass out of it. It's only half an ounce, but so it's a cute little thing. This is not my design, so I can't take full credit for it. But like, it's cute and I love it. I would never actually take a shot from it, though, because it, the shot glass that's inside of it is kind of rusty like actually it's made of i guess it was, i thought it was made of aluminum because why would you make it out of anything else but apparently it's made out of steel um so it's rusting and i wouldn't take a shot out of a rusty shot glass not unless it was like a i triple dog dare you to take a rust shot and i'd be like okay i mean you triple dog dare me to but not i wouldn't be mixing cocktails with anything poured out of that shot glass and whatnot but i mean it's really just a party favor anyway like you know, you got a couple of your friends over, and they're just like, <laughs> let's do stupid things. And you're just like, want to take a shot out of the rusty shot glass? They're like, rusty shot glass? I'm a man. I can do it. And then they do it. And then they're like, ouch. This is this tastes terrible. It must taste like iron. What does it smell like, anyway? Sometimes rusty stuff has a smell to it, too. <sighs> nah. Tastes like metal. Let the record show. I didn't lick the rust. I list, licked around the rust. Talk to Diona. Diona! Diona, 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 Diona. So, like, is there... Oh, I can't actually go in here? There's just a sign. There's so many cats. Hello, Ketson. Diona? Excuse me. All right, let's go inside. <gasps> We're going inside! We're going to the bar! Yes! I love the bar. I like going to bars. Actually, I'll be perfectly honest, like, I like the bar aesthetic, but, like, I don't necessarily, like, I wouldn't go out of my way just to go to a bar unless I was there with somebody else, right? Like, well, like, the only thing that I could imagine me doing is sitting at the bar, gording myself a drink, and I guess making conversation with the fellow other patrons and whatnot, but, like, I wouldn't go out of my way for that. Like, I don't know. What was a fact? I missed it. Whatever. As long as I make the drink myself, it's bound to be delicious. I like your ego and self-confidence. That's good. For now, I've been searching for ways to get rid of this constitution. And the herbal constitution is one of the ingredients that I've been looking for. Once I rid myself of this constitution, now I'll show those old boots how What do you, what do you mean by rid yourself of this constitution really like anyway, You'll you'll I'm like you'll get rid of your constitution out. saving throws and will not there therefore you will just get Alcoholed and drunk off of any shot you take. After yeah, I'm here for a drink. Make you something special. I promise you'll never After I make you my special drink, I'll never, never let like, never watch. You'll never want to set foot in another tavern ever again. Oh, that bad, huh? You can only make delicious drinks though. Yeah, but I also said that's only for now. There are plenty of I don't know about that. I haven't tried yet. See, what she's talking about, that the whole idea of having all these different ingredients and whatnot that you want to try is exactly why I do this. It's exactly why I want to mix drinks and whatnot. Mix drinks and change lives. Oh, but there's a catch! Oh my god! If it's mixed by Diana, surely it can't be that bad. Save, I guess. Oh, I saved it in a game directory. That's cool. Didn't mean to... Oh, I did that. Was that it? Can I go inside? Okay. Can I... Can I go inside? Or is that it? Oh, I guess that's it. 
I got my picture out of it, though. That's fun. Cute! Is there more? Oh, there we go. I can get the... There's five endings. Wait, what? I can just do that again? Obtain two hangout memory. What? Can I just do that again? Oh, it can keep going. Whoa, look at that. That's like a whole quest. Oh, I see. I guess the different decisions that I make as I do line jumps. The different decisions that I make. Hi, dearest. How are you? I'll just bounce around a little bit. I didn't know that I could do that. That's so cool. So apparently, I can unlock different quests on that by doing the same thing over and over again. Awesome. Exercise is good. I don't have any more keys there, so I unlocked that at least. That's awesome. Now I have a reason to do more of those daily quest commissions and stuff like that, because it actually works. Do 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 do. Anyway, I'll do some other quests. I have, let's see, it's about... It's about 2 o'clock-ish now, 2.15-ish. So I will go at this for about another hour, and then I'll have to call it quits for the day. There we go. Line jumps. I almost sat down into the air, which would be unfortunate because then I'd fall upon my ass, and that's not really a pleasant thing to do. I don't like falling upon my tuchus. Not a very fun thing to do. Anyways, let's see. What other missions are there? Are there more things in Dragonspine? I know there's some things in Dragonspine. For example, the Great Snowball King! That sounds cool. Let's do that. Oh, I got achievements too. Oh, um, but what kind? Memories of the Hot. Help Diana find a special base drink. I did. Cool, cool, cool. Excuse me. The coffee's making me burp a little bit. So let's go to where the map says that I should go. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? What is this? What, what is what is this? Oh, that's a wind tracer thing again. Gotcha. I gotta go over here, and there's a bunch of crimson wishes available too, so I might as well. I might as well. Let's go to the teleport waypoint. Do 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 do. So I'm gonna go and find meat from the snow king. Find meat from the from the snow king by the da, meet meet from the snow king obtain the great snowboard king that'll keep me warm and then i will make sure to go to see the boar king the great snowball king himself is it around here well i suppose one of these lovely lovely boars over here must be the great snowball king but which one's the king? Aren't we all kings and queens in our own right? Are you king? Are you king? Nope, that didn't seem like king. But I got some chilled meat. Are you king? Are you who they call the king? No, you don't seem to be the king. You're lame. That must mean you're the king. Or perhaps... Another king will show up, waiting to feast upon mortals. The great king has a p holy shit! Hi there, how are you doing, fine fellow? You are ginormous. Wow, the true ruler of Dragonspine. Uh, but of course, of course, the true ruler of Dragonspine. Oh my god, look at you! You're a heaping piece of meat, quite literally. Wow, a rather large pigu. Oh, I got snow on my face. I can't see anything. I am freezing. Oh my god. Can I take that? That's not gonna help me. Is there anything to, I can set on fire over here? No. Oh my god, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freeze. Uh, I'm gonna freeze. Oh my god, stop! Don't touch me like that! It's okay, you know what? I won't freeze because I can do this. Please don't touch me in this area, okay? Here, swirl. 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 Okay, well that warmed me up a little bit. That's good. Let's do some of that. And then let's do this. And then let's... While you're on fire, I can charge you. I can overload you like this. Nope. Nope. Let me smack you. Let me smack you. Let me smack you real good. Let me smack you real good. Okie dokie. Let's do that. And then we can do this. And then we can keep on smacking. Keep on smacking. Keep on smacking, smacking, whacking, 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 whacking. Smack, smack, whackity, woo. Maybe some fire too. Wowza. I don't know what's going... Whoa! What is going on? I should... I should get some things up. My god. 
Get them pirate two boy, two boy, two boy. Oh my god, you have like fiery things. The hunter becomes the hunted. I guess I needed to be killed for that achievement to take effect. Wow, I just got totally headbutted. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible. No, stop! That's okay. No, I can come back to life. No, I can come back to life. Yeah, we'll bring it back to life. Okay, I need more food. Let's increase my attack too. Delicious Adeptus Temptation. That sounds delicious. Adeptus Temptation. That's pretty good. Uh, let's do some heals. Heals, heals, and then tiny heals with the mint. Mint heal. Heal, heal, heal. Ah, yes. Let's try to increase more fire damage if we can. That's the geo damage. Yeah, let's go with geo damage, actually. Whoa, okay, what are, you what are you doing? What are you doing all bouncing around like that? You boar! Which is exactly what you are. That's what you are, a boar. Okay, hit you a little bit. I'm getting a little cold again. Getting a little, little bit chilly again. Yeah, all right, now I can do some heals by just whacking you like this. Whack, whack, whackity, whack. Gee whiz. I didn't think it was going to be this difficult to fight the big, great snow boar. Oh, you got me. You got it. Okay, stay, stay there, and then I'll do this. No, 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 don't, don't charge again. Don't charge. There we go, now I can warm up over here. Oh, I see. Oh, Swirl's actually doing quite well, actually. Whoopsie. Hi there. You're doing a lot of good swirling ability. Here, take that. And then uh, take that. Whoops. Don't do Don't touch. Look, but don't touch your great, great snowball king lord. Look with your special boar eyes. And I will teach you the ways of the human. Teach me the ways of the human, dear human lord. Or are we really even human at this point? We have these special magical powers. Swirl! The great snowboard king is dead! I am the assassinator of kings! Look at his meat. Mm. So much meat. Maybe I can make this into some sal salami. Another chest unlocked. What do we got in the chest? Crimson Agon, some Berserker's Feather. Now I gotta speak to Harris. Where are you, Harris? Heresy! Great big heresy. Um, let's try to do this Crimson Witch that's currently up here. Great gold things are heresy. Nah, I don't really feel like it. I don't really feel like doing it. I don't wanna. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Yeah! Oh, wait a minute. Well, I can't. I still have to use my meat sparingly. I have to, or else I'll run out. Now, the boys would be rather disappointed if I just used all my meat in one place. Now, wouldn't you think so? Wouldn't you agree? Oh, it's cold over there, but it's warm over here. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll make it to the other side. Oh, I'm beginning to freeze. Well, is it this pleasant? Slowly freezing our butts off. I'm going to die. Yep, that ain't working. All right, we're gonna we're gonna teleport out of here. Let's get, let's get on out of here. That's it. Let's get out of here. Where's Harris at? Harris, buddy, buddy. Oh, you're back at the camp. Ah, fresh meat is the mission. That wasn't a lot of meat either, to be honest. Is there a little cooking area over here? I want to see exactly how much I could cook from that. Here, excuse me, Harris. I need to cook something. Um, all right, Do any of these use specifically chilled meat? I don't think they do. Yeah, no, I don't think anything uses specifically chilled meat. Not from what I can tell. I know you can take the chilled meat and turn it into regular meat. I only have 10 pieces? Real? Oh, 10 pieces of that meat versus the other one. Okay, I'll talk to you first, Haros. Hey there, frozen to the bone. Come and warm yourself up with some nice hot food. About the great snowboard king. Oh, you managed to get your hands on some of the great snowboard king meat, have you? Yeah. Well, in that case, that's all the ingredients accounted for. So while I was waiting for you to get back here with the ingredients, I formalized my recipe. If one thing's certain, it's that this is definitely a far cry from the ancient recipe I started with. But, but as long as the end result tastes good, I'm not concerned about how I got there. I think I'm going to name it Goulash. 
Sounds exotic, but it's very easy to make. Why don't you try it for yourself? Go on, give it a try. After you've made it once, you'll find it easy to remember if you ever want to cook it again. Nom, 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 nom. Got the, re the goulash recipe. I have to make goulash. And does goulash call for specifically um, chilled meat? Where's goulash on the menu? Where is the goulash? Goulash. Oh! Decreases the rate of sheer cold accumulation for all party members. Wow, that's incredibly useful. And it does use chilled meat. Let's make a cook. Nobody gets bonuses. No bonuses? No bonuses. Cook, 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 cooking up meat. Gonna cook up some food now. Gonna cook up some food now. Gonna make me some yummies. Gonna make me some yummies. Now I'm gonna put it in my tummy. Yummies in my tummies. Well, I wonder how this would actually taste. So it uses tomatoes, carrots, and meat. Chilled meat. Yeah. It's alright. It's actually rather simple. I mean, like, Harris, I gotta, I gotta hand it to you. It tastes great, but like, all this trouble for some, for some meat, vegetable, and fruit thrown into a skewer, th thrown into a little pot. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's all that, you know. But um, I respect your effort, and uh, and I thank thee for giving me the opportunity to learn a new recipe, because new recipes are wonderful, wonderful things. But now we've got it, and I've got ten of them, which means I've perfected it, which means I'm I'm satisfied. All right, Harris, make goulash. I did. Oh, it's gone. Harris, I, I did it. I made the goulash. I made some. Ah, you finished. Yes. There you go. Here's your goulash. I wouldn't, I wouldn't cook the goulash myself, of course. Only you have to play a character. Delicious. Nice one. You're a natural. Yep. Thanks for your help. And please accept these in return. I need to go cook for some other people now. Oh, one last thing. Come and see me again this evening. I'll give you another batch of this food. If you're going to go adventuring the mountains, you've got to make sure you eat right. This is true. Look for Harris at 8, 8, 18. Oh, okay. I guess I'll... I guess I'll wait then. Come back at 1800. 1800. 1800. 1800. There we go. Oh, perfect. On the mark. Love that. It's nighttime. Time to talk to you again. Right, Harris? You got some more meat for me, buddy? You got some more meat? G give, me, give me some goulash. Right on time. It's all ready. Here you go. Just as promised. Do eat it while it's hot. And remember, hot food is your adventure fuel. I'm not going to eat while it's hot. It's going to get very cold by the time I eat it. Nice. And what did I get? Delicious goulash. Yum. Love it. She's been staring at you for six hours. Menacingly. She's just been sitting there the whole time. Like, yeah, that's... Don't worry, it's it's cooking, pal. You, why are you sitting there? Why, why are you looking at me? The pressure's on. What if you just sat there and waited instead of being delicious goulash, it's just regular goulash because you just kind of creeped out the chef. <laughs> that'd be that'd be something. A little much though, I guess, but... Wind rise? Windfall? Uh, Surf for fragments to your Geo statues. Go to the highest point. Oh, that's over in Liwe. Okay. Um, la 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 la. Thief catcher. That's pretty close by. Let's do that. Let's go clean up the thieves. I'm gonna catch a thief. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get and get those thieves between my claws. I'm gonna be like, wow, you're mine now. That's what I'm gonna do. That's what I'm gonna do to you, thieves. Did you not like that cat sound? It's probably because you're a thief and you should be afraid. Wow, I'll get you. I'm gonna get you if you're a thief with my cat-like claws. Actually, I just trimmed my claws the other day. And by claws, I mean the fingernails. I, I, I trimmed them because they were getting a little long. Now I can scratch myself without any pain. Or um, I can't I can't pick things up very carefully now though. Like uh, I need to use chopsticks for that now instead of my because I don't have my fingernails anymore. I can't use my fingernails to uh, you know when you open up a soda can like it's hard to it's hard to get your finger under the tab. So you usually put your nail under it to get a little started for yourself. At least that's how I do it. I mean I use my fingers my just my fingers because like I have small enough fingers that I can actually get it under the the pop can. The little tab. But, um, to those who don't have such an advantage, 
perhaps you would use your nails to do it. Unless you have, like, acrylic nails, I guess you wouldn't want to waste it on that. Because, like, I suppose your, your acrylics would just, like, pop right off. Just one last you press down on the center first. Get some rest. Last one. Does that work? I, promise. I have cans back there that I could open up to test. Actually, Anna keeps her V8 energy behind me. Here's the V8 energy. If I... What do you mean push down in the center? That doesn't do anything. Is that really? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. If you push it... Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. I never noticed that. I didn't know you could do that. I've learned something new today. So apparently, if you have trouble opening up a pop can, press down on the center that opens, and the tab actually pops up a little bit. That is so cool. I didn't know that at all. I didn't know that trick. Damn. I learn something new every day. Wow. Huh. Wowza. Learning new things is awesome. That's the type of that's the type of thing that you try to instill in young children who have uh, only just started schooling. You're like, learning is awesome, right, kids? And they're just like, yeah, learning's really cool. Oh yeah, why is that? And they can't articulate it because they haven't learned the words yet. And they're like, learning's cool because I learn new things. And you're like, that circular logic is exactly why we love you. Oh, right, what do we gotta do? I gotta kill these guys. I have a perfect idea. Let's get it all nice and. Calm. Collected. Hey, everybody. Fire. Fire. It's your boy, Sucrose. Gonna make things all fired up. There we go. Ah, oh, that's good feeling. And then we'll just eviscerate every single one of you. It was very easy. Hey, it's a map, but what could these circled pictures be? The hunter becomes a hunted. So I guess I'll take a look at that map. Defeat the treasure hoarders guarding the camps. Oh, I gotta get... I must defeat more of them. This is useful because, like, I have, um, there were some things that I needed for the treasure hoarders, and, um, their drops are things that I need for character ascension. Speaking of which, I wonder, um, based off of the boss fights that I already did, do I have enough for any of my characters to ascend? I didn't think so. Diona! Love it. I have that character, by the way. It's great. Uh, let's see. I could upgrade these weapons, too. They could honestly all use an upgrade. You, I need another white blind for... To in, order, to, in order to ascend. Um, a dragon spine spear, I would make another one for... These are all very special weapons. Very special weapons. I was trying to see if I can ascend. What do I need for ascension? Ah, uh, I need more whopper flower nectar for you and another of those green all shards. Or I can just click the B button. You're welcome, Sis Meatball. It takes a girl not wanting to ruin her nails to know that, I suppose so. But it's easier with the bigger Coke cans being that they're rounded at the top. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I see that now. It took me a little bit to figure it out with the V8 can. But we got it. We got it. Oh, boar, come back! No, I want you to become dinner! There we go. Bring to me your meats. Bring us your meats. Meats. We're on a meat hunt. Don't think you don't know how to butcher the mouth. Weird. Oh wow, there's a big old camp down here. There's so many fanciful things. Alrighty then. Here we go. Like two people were just like, ah, another test subject. Like, make up your mind, boys. Which one of us is it gonna be? Oh, I wanted to switch characters to you, so I can do this. The power of a thousand wax. Get on up. Get on absorbed. Get as absorbed as ever absorbed. Swirl, 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 swirl. Swirl ability is good. Oh, except when you throw shit at me. That's not very pleasant. I mean, I guess it's still pretty cool even with that. Oh, stop throwing shit at me. I don't like when you throw shit at me. Do da, do da. Why you gotta do that? Makes me very sad. No, stop it! My girl, she's dead because of you! It's honestly, I'd say it's mostly my fault. I was not watching her health total, but you know what? I will take out my anchor on you nonetheless. My sucrose is dead because of you. 
And yes, I could bring her back to life at any moment here, but that's not the point! I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab you with spears. Spears do really... Spears do wonder for my problems. Any, any problem. Any problem I have, I have a lot of luck with the uh, yeah, spears. Spears, 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 spears. Kind of like that. Yeah. These are all my problems. I got 99 problems, but a spear ain't one, which is good. Get some of these lamp Did I do it? Are there more? Oh, there's more. Why, hello? There's more. Is it just you? Oh, it's also you guys. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm gonna bring my girl back. There we go. Then I'm gonna do this and bring my health back for everybody. Oh, she lost all her elemental ability. It makes me sad. Makes me very sad. Dude. Everybody get all fired up. Yeah, it's cooking time. Oh, nice. I got a little electrified myself. I got a little overloaded myself. Fire plus electric is overloaded. Overloaded is, uh... Oh, hey there. With you with the shovel. Why are you... Hey, you. Yeah, you. With the shovel? Yeah, stop that. Think of the children. Have you thought about the children today? Have you thought about the children today? I haven't thought about the children today. Except for now. Now I thought about the children. I feel bad for the children. I feel very bad for the children. That should do. Time to report back to Cyrus. But first, let's get all this good stuff. That's good, good. Let's go to all this good stat. Monstat? Good stat. Someone needs assistance. We thought about children with the lolly bar bartender. All right. How are you thinking about children? Were you thinking about the children appropriately, I hope? Because if not... <laughs> You're going to jail! I thought about it very appropriately. I'm not going to jail. N me? Jail? Today? No, not at all. That's just weird. I was thinking more of like the children who are starving in various parts of the world. They just want a little... just want a little food. I give in to them, but I feel like all my stuff would just go bad. That's why you should donate your canned goods. Because if you do, that'll go to impoverished families who, and children and the like. That's good. We do good for our community. That's that That's that community feel-good good. Your thought was that she was cute and needs to lighten up. You're walking a close boundary there. That's cool for now. It's cool for now. Watch out. Watch out for that boundary. First it's, yeah, kids are cute. And then it's, well, I need not go any further. You know what else is cute? What else is cute? I got this little solar panel thing over here. It's a tiny little ninja that reacts to the solar lamp. So, uh, he kind of does a little jiggle. It's cute. Vacuity. It's very dusty over there, my goodness. It's very, very dusty over there. I didn't realize how dusty that was, gosh. It's over there with the rest of my, uh, some of my microcontrollers. Him wiggle. That he do. That he does do the wiggles. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Ugh. Mine, maybe your ninja goes, Hwah! Perhaps your ninja goes, Hyah! My ninja goes, Wiggle, 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 wiggle. That's how my ninja go. Perhaps your helicopter goes, Fwa, fwa, fwa. Maybe your helicopter goes, no, no, no. My helicopter goes, That's also what my rafflecopter sounds like too, by the way. If you're ever curious about what my rafflecopter sounds like. It's like a sound. Scary. Hey kid, you like that dandelion? <laughs> now your dandelion dead. How do you feel like about that? Kiddo. Kiddo. Pal. Buddy. Alright, where is Cyrus? Cyrus, you in the bar again? Actually, let me see. While I'm over here, I want to see how much it would take for me more to make more of those um, special weapons, like the Wind Blight or whatever it was. 
Uh, white blind needs more of those crystals and more iron chunks, and it needs more of those little things there, the little things. Snow tuned star silver. That sounds really cool. Prototarp archaic. That's what Beto's got on right now. Uh, the white blind is what Noel has right now, and the dragon spine spear is what Zhongling has. I have no idea how to get them. Nope, I wanna. How do I get these again? Yeah, I just need dragon tooths, I guess. How doth I get the dragon tooth? Do I have any dragon tooth, actually? Uh, let me see. Because I guess I just need to go back to Dragon Spine and imbue them with the power of a thousand dragons. And no tooths. I don't have any tooths. I don't have any tooths. Do I need. Did I need to use this? Oh, no, no, I'm supposed to keep it. Alright. Uh, any tooths? Dragon toothies? Anywhere? Anybody anywhere got some dragon toothies? No, I don't think so. That's okay. Hey Cyrus, I did your thing for you. I brought you back a treasure map. You like treasure maps, Cyrus? Hope you like treasure maps. Treasure maps, good. Treasure maps, s mysterious. Treasure maps, promising. You're back. Have you wiped their camps out yet? I got them all. As I thought. This child's play for you, honorary knight. I will admit that these treasure hoarders are quite persistent. Everyone was running for cover during the storm. They, by contrast, had the daring to run out and steal things. If only they had used that perseverance for something proper instead. Dink! Where are you going? Oh, we're done. Oh, I'm like a thousand away-ish from the next adventure rank. Sweet! I'll just, I'll do, I'll just do more quests until, uh, uh, for the next, like, half hour. Awesome. Challenger, assassin of kings. Challenger, he kills the wings on the butterflies of life. Wonders of the world. Uh, be defeated by the great snowboard king. Defeat the great snowboard king while the latter is in a berserker mode. Learn to make goulash. I've made goulash. I guess, can I fight the great snowboard king again? I wonder, is that is that something that's now like on my map as something I can fight? No, I don't know if I can. Oh, I guess there was a one-time achievements then, I guess. Goulash. I like goulash. We like goulash. We don't like gulag. Not gulag. Yes, goulash. Two very different things. Let's see about what quest to do next. What's the closest? Clean up at dawn. And what about these ones? Collect the treasure? Collect the treasure. Nah, clean up at dawn. Those are close by. Oh, it's over there. Sweet. What are you? <gasps> it's the housing person. Boss of the Goth Grand Hotel. What's up, buddy? Excuse me, sir. Um, I mean, hey there, friend. Sorry, I was in work mode. Please excuse my bad manners. Um, do you know a thing or two about s furnishings? I was originally planning to renovate the hotel, but then the Fatui booked the whole place out. But now I no longer have any need for these blueprints, so take a look. Maybe you'll find one that you like. Blueprints. Blueprints! I want it. And I want it. And I want it. And I want it all. Now I have all these blueprints. Horny jail? No. Horny gulag. Finally, a break! I don't know how to do that house, though. So, like, I know the f I know about furnishings and whatnot, but I don't know where to put the furnishings. Like, I don't know how to do, like, the home. I don't think I have a home yet. <laughs> I don't have a home? Um, what was I doing? Oh, I'm going after a mission. There we go. Anybody know where I can get started with housing in this game? I have all this wood and bamboo and stuff like that just sitting in my inventory and it's making my pockets a little full. And now I've got these furnishing recipes, but I don't know what to do with them. Hello there, stone slime. Stone slime child. Child that is slime and also stone. Or you boulder. Or geode. Alas, we gaze upon the magnificent rock slime. Ah, oh, beautiful. 
We shall let it graze for today. It will not re it meet its untimely demise by my hand. At least not today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe the day after. Nah, probably not tomorrow. Probably not the day after either. Whenever the next time I play Genshin Impact is, which I'll probably do sometime next week. I like to keep Genshin to about once a week. That's what I kind of like doing. I like it. I like it a lot. I like the game a lot, which is why I can't just be playing it all the time. You gotta have variety over here. Wouldn't be much of a variety streamer if, like, if I didn't do variety. Did you finish the quest with Zhongli and Child in it? Yes. I believe so. I've definitely met Zhongli and um, Tartaglia in the same quest. So I did do that one. That was one of the ones in Liwei, I'm pretty sure. That was a cool one. I like that. That was the one. Was that the one with changing the core lapis and messing around the economy of Liwei? I definitely did do that one. I'm pretty sure. Did I finish it completely? I think I finished that particular part of it. There might be other parts that come afterwards that I might be under level for. That might be the quest that I'm still, I need to be at Adventuring 35 for. But to my knowledge, yes, I have met them both in the same quest. So, yes. That's, that's my final answer. Final answer is, yes, I think so. That's what I'm going to go with. You unlock the teapot at Air 35. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. Then I guess I haven't technically gotten there yet. It's a good thing I've got all of this stuff around that I'll be perfectly prepared for when I get there. Awesome! Oh, I don't want it. Don't want I'm just cleaning. I'm cleaning stains. Oh. Because I remember. Oh, you know what? I remember inside of that quest there was the teapot. And I guess you unlock access to that teapot after the fact. That's cool. That's what that is. That's what I figured. Awesome. I got to clean all the stains. Where are the stains? Are there stains? Are, are there stains? They got some fresh beer out here. You go to Madame Ping in Liwei Harbor and do a quest with Yanfei and the other, and after you're done with that, you get it. Nice. I definitely went inside of that teapot. I have been inside that teapot before. That was for one of the quests I did. It might have been during the Shao event, for all I know. Oh, I gotta go inside. Ah, that's what I'm doing. Awesome. Thank you so much for that information, Synergy. I appreciate that. Synergy Mizuki. Synergy. Sin, if you will. Oh, the fox and the dandelion sea. Lovely. Strange vase. It'd be a shame if something were to happen to strange vase. It looks completely out of place. Probably a gift. Probably a gift. What if I... Okay, I can't knock it over. It's gluten spot. Okay, so there are apparently stains around here. Let's find the... Hey! That looks like a stain. What do I do about that? Oh, okay. I just use a really special anima ability. There we go. I just do it real good like... There we go. Stains on the floor. Stains on the floor. The stains on the floor. We're gonna clean up this mess. Gonna clean it all up. It's disgusting. How could you leave this bunch of a mess on the floor? Of Master Duluke's Manor. How dare you could possibly do something like this? It's dirty. It's dirty! And it must be purged! And so I will purge it. Elza! We're done. Talk to Adeline. I wonder if I got the quest from her. Did I really walk in here, grab the quest, walk out? Finished? Yes. Wonderful. This is a huge help. I can't imagine how long this would have taken by myself. Like, 10 minutes. Anyway. And if I got the girls to do it, who knows how many pa items they'd end up destroying in the process. Yeah, like that strange vase. Or the owl statue. Or, or... That weird moose creature. Thank you. Please take these. I apologize for the trouble. Next time you visit, the winery will be spotless. I hope so. <gasps> Tea break pancakes! <gasps> I got pancakes. Love pancakes. Love me some pancakes. Are there any more books around here that I can pick up? Any more books that I can steal for your manor, Master D. Luke? I mean, borrow. Obviously. Anything in here? Nope. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Master D. Luke. Oh, do you miss him? Is there anything in this door? Door, 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 door. Enter, enter, door. No, okay. Nothing in door. Guess I'll go outside. I guess I'll go outside. Dun, 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 dun.
ba da ba what other quest can I do? Big business is about 500 meters away. And Wind Rise, Wind Fall is also very close by, so let's, let's do it. Oh, there's one down here and there's one over there, so that's perfect. Give me that, give me the crystal pie. Yes, crystal core. The core of the crystal. Oh, I, there was a fence? Ha, huh, there was a fence. That's incredible. I had no idea there was a fence. Lizard, lizard. Yes. I don't think I've ever actually used the, or, uh, the lizard's tail, I think, for potions, I think. Probably. I was going to say, have I ever actually used the lizard tail before? Probably. Hi, everybody. I'm going to clear up the trails. I can't switch characters. Why not? I can switch it right now. Swing, 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 and I'm making the barricades out. Get them out of here. Silly barricades. I don't need this. I don't need these barricades. Who needs barricades when you've got uh, snake kids Like bears versus barricades. And... Hmm. Everybody can go deal with that fire breathing thing for a while. That little panda bear. Yeah, that thing. Have fun. You know what? Everybody can swirl. Got a swirl? Got a swirl! Gotta swirl! You just gotta. There's no way you can't swirl. Because the swirl ain't stopping until everybody drops. The squirrel don't stop and they don't stop swirling and they don't stop swirling and they don't stop swirling. And they don't stop squirling either, by the way, as an aside. But neither of those two activities stop. They just they just don't. They just keep on going. Call the road of any monsters and obstacles. Obstacles. This feels like a obstacles to me. Including that mushroom that was on the ground oh and another mushroom look at that there were two mushrooms just kind of sitting there on the road odd that the mushrooms would be able to grow that would imply that people haven't been here for a while but maybe that's because of the fact that the paths are actually blocked off that would make sense now let's go to the other one what a cute little lantern that lantern looks like it needs to be set on fire oh perhaps Perhaps. I'm gonna go over. You wanna, wanna set it on fire? No? Okay, fine. I thought maybe I could light up that lantern. I feel like the logic was there. Lantern unlit can light it. Maybe. There's a ton of other things I can set on fire in this game. Or I probably could have used my elemental sight to be sure. Because if it's something that can be set on fire, it'll show up. Like the land. The land can be set on fire because it glows a beautiful green color. Hi, everybody. Hey, how y'all doing? I wasn't expecting to have to take any of these enemies today, but here we go. Hey, everybody on fire. Everybody fair. Everybody fire. Everybody, everybody, everybody fire. Everyone's on fire. Because that's what we like to do. Oh, is everyone dead now? Well, I guess... Technically, if they're done, if they're gone, they're dead, then nobody's set on fire anymore because the fire and anything that would be on fire is gone. It's been destroyed. This looks fun, though. Here, let's do this game. It's called Swirl. It's one of my favorites. This game's called Swirl. It's one of my favorites. Oh, I could have just fired them up like that? Oh, sweet. Could have just set them on fire. Well, let's just do that then. There we go. Did that set on fire? It's on fire now. It has conflagrated. Oh, talk to Elzer. We're done. Sweet. Bye, everybody. I'm Audi 5000. Get out of here. There we go. I'll just, I'll just want to run away. Oh, luckily, he was just at the winery, too. I must have accepted, like, a bunch of quests at the winery once upon a time and just kind of left without doing anything else. Ernest, the warehouse manager. Bye, Ernest. I'm sorry, Ernest. I didn't mean that. Here, um, let me make it up to you. I'll blow you a kiss. Blow. Hey, you didn't blow me a kiss. You blew straight into my eye. That's where the kiss landed. Why didn't you catch it? Oh, I see. I had a quest for Elzer and then a quest for... Whatever your name was. Have you cleared the merchant roads out? 
Yeah, dude. That's great, our winery's business can gradually resume now. Honestly, I should have reported this to Master D. Luke, but I didn't want to bother him. And he's upped and disappeared. I've searched high and low for him all over the winery, but no one knows where he's gone. Maybe he's joined a suave adventurous party somewhere, somehow. Adeline said something like, Master D. Luke has gone to attend a personal manner, but refused to say anything more. She didn't even look worried. Ah, forget it. Once he's back, I'll have a good talk with him. Sir? Master, Master, Sir, Sir. What other quests might there be around this lovely area here? <sighs> I've managed to crack both of my elbows by stretching my hands out in either direction. It tends to happen sometimes. It's about, let's see, it's about 2.50-ish now, meaning I've got about 20-ish minutes left before I gotta head off and get ready for my meeting. And then proceed with work for the rest of the day. Gotta do that, too. Where to go? Where to go next? Another small mission, perhaps? Something close by, maybe? Like big business. I must get the invoices. So I'll go find the invoices. And once I get my hands on these invoices, you know what I'm gonna do with those invoices? Absolutely nothing. I'm gonna deliver them. I guess that's that I'll deliver them. That's not absolutely nothing. I lied. I'm sorry. I wanted that flower. Oh, no flower for me. No flower for me. Flower for me. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Millions of invoices. Invoices for free. Millions of invoices. And they're all unpaid. I'm coming to collect your debts. I'm the tax collector. Except I'm unlike a tax collector because I've got a sword. And if you don't pay your taxes, they'll consider yourself warrant. Because I'll get you. I'll get you. Because I'm a tax collector. And, uh, did I say I had a sword or a spear? Either way, I have weapons of mass destruction. Are you okay down there? Oh, you're dead. Oop! You've perished. What an unfitting... Huh, dead. What an unfitting state for such a majestic creature of the world. But alas, that's none of my business. Ah. Lukewarm coffee. Actually tastes different now. Hmm. Maybe it's because I already had some other tea earlier today. Perchance. Do, 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 do. I remember when Zhongling took me here looking for that special ingredient and I was like, I bet the special ingredient is a frog. It wasn't. It was a chili pepper. But alas, I thought perhaps it might have been frog. But it was not frog. It was chili. Anyway, that's the story of, um, that's the story of why I'm no longer welcome at Arby's. Thanks for listening. It's all because of the chilies. It's all because of chilies that I'm not allowed at Arby's. Just kidding. I'm very much allowed at Arby's. I haven't done anything that would bar me from that lovely establishment. You know what I love most about Arby's? I think what I like most about Arby's is their curly fries. And don't get me wrong, like, it's not like their curly fries are particularly, like, special or anything like that. But they remind me of this, this, um... Italian restaurant that we would order pizza from um, when I was still in high school, I think early high school. My father worked a, a different job than he does now. But so he, there's this place down the street called Pippolo's, and we get pizza from there. The, the pizza was really, really good. It was all right pizza, as good as any other pizza place would be. But more specifically, they had these awesome curly fries and these this amazing meatball sandwich recipe. I loved what they made there. I don't know what they put in their meatballs, but it was so, so good. It was great. It was awesome. I loved that. I loved Pippolos. Oh, wait a minute. Well, okay. That was the wrong item to be consuming. There's a more easy way to get up. Just TP to teleport next to you. I mean, I could do that. But then I could also just climb up the mountain and give myself more reason to talk and talk and talk and talk. But you're right. You're totally right. But I'm already at the top. So I can get these chilies. I thought there were chilies up here. I could have sworn there were chilies at the top. 
Hey, look, a domain that I have yet to go to. I should touch that. Maybe I should try that domain. But I came for the chilies. I thought there were chilies up here. Oh, I guess I was wrong. That's okay. Let me go touch this domain. And then I'll go collect more invoices. I already collected one. Huh. Would you look at that? I collected invoices. If I touch you, I'll be able to teleport later. Wah! Teleport waypoint unlocked. Domain of blessing. Unyielding. But I don't need flowers right now, so... It's tax collection time. Time to go collect the taxes of the young denizens of the world. Did you pay your taxes yet this year? I paid my taxes left this year, but I haven't gotten my return. Makes me sad. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, well. Looks like I fell. Oh, well, that's different. Oh, I'm about to do it again. Oh my god. I almost did it again! What the hell? Actually, I'm actually kind of glad that did that because I wouldn't have wanted to climb all the way back up again. That was unexpected. You're telling me. Yeah. Didn't see that coming. Clearly. Because, like, it looked like the gray of the rock looked like... It, I, I don't know. It looked like a ledge. I thought maybe I'd be just jump over the edge and... You know what? Whatever, whatever. All's in a day's work for the tax collector. Oh, and they've got at least a thing over here. Hi, everybody. Nah, do you... Have you paid your taxes today? You have? Okay, good. If you don't pay your taxes, I'm gonna stab you. Consider yourself warned. Consider yourself warned. The tax collector will come if you don't pay your taxes. And her name's Zhongling, and she's cute as a peach, but she knows how to use that spear. Oh, am I collecting taxes from Abyss Mages? Or, um, no, it must be something else. There must be somebody else. There must be something else inside. Is it up here? Hello? Oh, it's just this house over here. Hey there, I've come here to talk about uh, an order to this address. Uh, order for Triple uh, uh, X Magazine Genshin. Do uh, you know anything about that, Bauer? Excuse me, have you seen a box? A box? Well, I did pick one up. I already got a look inside, and it was a batch of invoices. Seems like someone was doing a real huge business venture. Oh, me. Oh, my. I wonder how much the owner of this box would pay to have it back. What do you mean? Hey, don't look so nervous. I was just pulling your leg. The value of the goods on these invoices is not low by any means. Makes one wonder which big shot in leeway is who was who signed off on it. Maybe the economics guild. I got a sense of time and place. I'm not about to pick the kick the hornet's nest just because I can. Still, I don't think it's a bit unreasonable for you to just take this and leave after all the time and efforts I've spent guarding it. How about this? Let's barter. It's the most traditional way of solving such problems. You fetch me three Noctilucus jades, and I'll give you the invoices. How does that sound? Sounds like extortion. But fine, here you go. Whatever. Those are not yours anyway. Give them back. I'll get the police involved. Nah, just kidding. I, I haven't even seen any sorts of policing around here aside from the militia. Not bad. I'll take them. Here are the invoices. Take care of them now. All right, then. Best you be off. The person who hired you must be a real bottle of nerves right now. Probably. I must talk to Landa. Who's way up there. Way up there at the top of the treehouse. Ooh, look at the little uh, beaches down here. That'll give me an opportunity to, I guess, figure out what else is in that box down there. Hello, box. You got any goods for me? Mora? Maybe something more? Uh? Gia signal sigil. And Mora. I knew there'd be something else inside. Let's grab some wood from the tree. Sandbearer wood because we're close to the beach. Needs more wood. Chop down more wood. Chop down wood. Chop, chop, chopping down some wood. Chopping down some wood. Chop, 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 chop. Preparing myself for adventure rank 35 when I'll be able to re build my own house. What's in here? Oh, look at that! Enemies. My favorite. No, please move. Oh, okay. Well, I, it's, it appears that my problem is the fact that there's ice going on here and I'm in water. Therefore, if I touch both, it's bad. Swirls are always good, though. 
Swirl gives me a nice little ranged uh, opportunity. And then there's this thing. There we go. Superconduct. Uh, I've been frozen again. Nope, nope. This is exactly what I was trying to avoid, and alas, was not very good at it, apparently. There we go. Nope, no, no, no. Oh, you had to. You had to, didn't you? You just had to. You had to do that thing. Ah! I'll just hit you like this. There we go. Take away your armors. No, come back. There we go. Where'd my other box go? I know there was another one. <gasps> Yay! More Geo Sigil, perhaps? But of course there is. But of course there'd be another Geo Sigil. Oh, who's gonna pop up around here? Fishy? 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 Lotus Head? Oh, did I click that button? I didn't mean to do that, actually. I need to defeat them all. If I throw you into the water, you'll drown. Nope, just kidding. Uh, there was probably a better way to do this. I just need to knock him into the water, I assume. Penalty? Penalty? I got an achievement, apparently. Eh, I'm not in the mood for this now. I'll do it another time. Hulu? What kind of anime options do you have? Care for a bottle or two of Leeway's finest local brew? Yes. It's like liquid amber, a hint of sweetness before it hits the tongue. Wonderful metal aftertaste, you won't find one better, and it's direct from the Dawn Winery. Dawn Winery. What about it? I definitely said it was a local Leeway wine. Con. I'm gonna report you to the authorities. Nah, just kidding. Instead, I'm going to tell you that I'm gonna report you to the authorities, and you'll panic, thinking that the authorities are coming. But they won't, because I'm actually too lazy to report it to the authorities. So, lucky you. As I make my way over to the big little treehouse. Treehouse hotel! And I think I'll do that. I'll finish up this quest here, and that'll probably be where I end it for today, because of my meeting. My, go my Google Calendar just warned me about my meeting, otherwise I may have forgotten. That and I was reminded about it twice yesterday, so it was going to be hard to forget anyway. Hello, all you Healy Churls. Hello, Healy Churls. Goodbye, Healy Churls. Go about your business. Oh, flowers. Silk flag. Nope. Silk flowers, silk flowers, silk flowers, silk flowers. Flower, 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 flower. They're lovely flowers. They're flowers made of silk. No, just kidding. They just remind you of silk. Silk comes from the silkworm. Unless these flowers have silkworms on them. I don't know. I haven't found any bugs so far. No worms yet. But there have been many butterflies. Hmm. I don't want to have to go up there. I don't want to climb. But I'm going to. Because there may have been more things I've missed. I, I tend, to, tend to always find things. Oh, wait a minute. No, what am I doing? There's an elevator over here, isn't there? Isn't there an elevator? There's definitely an elevator somewhere. Maybe it's in the back. Oh. Oh, yes. It's over here. There's the elevator. Wait! Elevator! Wait for me! Wait for me, elevator! Woo! No! Oh, my God! No! Okay. I missed the elevator. Usually the consequences wouldn't be so bad. Alright, the consequences were lethal. Clearly. Because I missed the elevator. It's okay. It happens. That's just what happens when you don't pay attention to the elevator. If you don't pay attention to the elevator, the elevator will pay attention to you. And after the elevator pays attention to you, then you're in some doom. Welcome. I won't rush this time. I probably won't make it anyway. I'll wait. I'll wait. Wait here for the elevator. It's fine. It's such a beautiful day in Leeway. Why would we rush? Why would we rush? If we rush, then we may fall to our certain doom. We wouldn't want that. I wouldn't want that. Wait, I don't want certain doom. Unless I feel that I could conquer said doom. Oh, there goes Beto drinking her uh, whatever's in that little thing of hers. <gasps> the elevator's here. And now time for some soothing elevator music. <laughs> Elevator time's over. I don't want to talk to you over there. So I'll jump off the rest of 
the treehouse to get to a lower level. Why use the stairs when you can use elevator and gravity? Hi, Londa. Did you find my invoices? Found them all. Oh, thank you, truly. This is wonderful. I'm so glad that nothing went wrong. If these invoices were lost, I have no idea how angry my boss would have been. You want to ask what business these invoices were written for, don't you? Well, sorry. Really can't tell you. That's a secret. Uh, well, here's your remuneration. Please take it. Wait a moment. Why has this box been open? You met someone on the wild who took a look at it after picking it up? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm totally dead. This just won't do. I have to tell the boss quickly. Oh, but don't worry. I'm not suspicious of you. I mean, I, I did my homework regarding your... Uh, well, I, I need to find a way to contact my boss. Please carry on with your business. Carry on with my business, I shall. Wow, it was 250 adventure experience. That's good. That's very good. And yeah, I'll pick up next time from here. Thanks everybody so much for coming along and hanging with me this fine, wonderful morning into afternoon. Good times and good vibes must come to an end eventually. So bittersweet it is to part ways. I wonder if there's anybody else online that I can send the lovelies to. The lovely, lovely, lovelies. Oh, Neko's live playing some Rocket League. I could go for a little bit of Rocket League for like the next 10 minutes. Maybe I'll pop in for that. That'll be fun. That's what we're gonna do. Let's show some lovely support for Noble Neko of the Kingdom of Spring Garden. To everybody who's had Nover and everybody who's stuck around, thank y'all so very much. I very much enjoyed my time. I like playing some Genshin Impact every once in a while. I'll be back on Friday, Friday morning, for some Mega Mod of Minecraft with my buddy, Meatball Girl, Christina. Peace out to all the raiders and whatnot. I will see y'alls eventually. Bye to those raiders. And to everybody else who's sticking around for the end of the video, I love y'all. In case y'all didn't catch the conversation while it was live, come on over to Twitch and we'll fix that. That or DM me on Twitter. I'm active-ish on there. I posted a video of Luigi with a knife, the, uh, a photo of Lu my Luigi hand puppet with a knife the other day. It was hilarious, but only for me. Anyway, bye everybody.